fist. Okay. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Speak up. We found you, Mr. Save. Good to see Wheeler. Good to see Jaber. Good to see Lyra. Good to see Peter. I was just going ba 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 ho ho and saying it's good music. 10 out of 10. Uh, and yeah, so we're probably taking the day off from Heart Storm today. I'm excited about Elden Ring. I hope I don't get wrecked too hard. I hope I get a little wrecked, but not too hard. Um, but yeah, probably taking the day off from Hearthstone. We'll see how things go. And there was something else. What was the other thing? I forget. Oh, just that, uh, just as context. I've played, yeah, Dark Souls 1 I've played, Dark Souls 3. We streamed Sekiro, which nearly killed me. And, uh, yeah. Jimmy Sopi, I'll have study. I've heard about some problems in the PC version. We shall see if we have those problems. I hope not. Adjust the brightness until the image on the right is barely visible. It's pretty good right now. Camera Y axis reversed. Camera reset also resets camera Y axis. Okay, let's not do that for now. Camera auto wall recovery, probably a good thing. And cinematic effects. Configure cinematic effects used during special attacks. Well, we'll leave it on. The Vagabond. The Warrior. The Hero. The Bandit. The Astrologer. The Prophet. It's got that... Uh... What's the phrase I'm looking for? Uh, not Deadpool. <laughs> um, uh, Daredevil. Daredevil <laughs> Season 1. The Samurai. The Prisoner. The Confessor. And The Wretch, which often lets you set your stats up the most custom. Do you like The Prisoner? Hmm... I was thinking about Samurai or Bandit. Bandit is probably Dexterity. Oh, the Bandit has a parry shield, though. I don't know. Parry shields scare me. I've never been good at parrying. Confessor. Elias says Samurai is by far the most popular. You get the cool starting armor for sure. Does it tell me anything about, like, status? Oh, there we go. There we go. This is what we need. This is what we need. Numbers. So the wretch is ten across the board. The confessor has mind, equal strength and dexterity, and pretty big faith. The prisoner is intelligence and dexterity. The samurai is mostly dexterity. The Prophet is mostly Faith. Low Intelligence. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Intelligence is usually magic, not Faith. Uh, astrologer is, yeah, High Intelligence. This is the Meiji one. Intelligence and Mind. The Bandit has a high... What, what is Arcane? Is Ar Arcane must be the replacement for... We've got Intelligence, Mind, and Arcane. Ah. Huh. So they're going all astro Astrologer. I'm thinking about it a bit. Bandit has High Arcane and Dexterity. Arcane? Hmm. The Hero is High Strength and Vigor. The Warrior is High Dexterity. And the Vagabond is a mix of Strength and Dexterity. Arcane lets you cast missiles. Hit uh, help for stat help. Oh, uh, here? Level, overall strength. Oh, yeah, I actually do want to look at level because we actually want a lower level character typically to customize our stats more. Figure is HP and fire resistance and immunity, whatever immunity is. Mind determines your FP, which I'm guessing is your stat to cast magic. Also affects focus, whatever focus is. Uh, stamina will let you roll and sprint and stuff. Robustness, I don't know what robustness is. That replacement for poise. This attribute determines how heavy your equipment can be. Strength wields, you know, big swords, which you, often I do go with big sword. But I don't know if I want to do that this time. 
Dexterity does more of the finesse weapons, the, the faster weapons. Also reduces the casting time of spells, huh? Softens fall damage, makes it hard to be knocked off your horse. Can you be a battle mage in this game? Almost definitely. <laughs> it's the Jeff Windows chat. It's flower points in the in the uh, the Mario RPGs. Intelligence required to perform glint stone sorceries. Boosts the magic power of intelligence scaling sorceries and improves magic resistance. Attribute required to perform sacred incantations also boosts magic power of faith scaling incantations. Attribute governing discovery. Discovery? Also affects holy defense, vitality, and certain sorceries and incantations. Oh, wait, so vigor governs HP, but arcane governs vitality. Wait, no, I don't know what vitality is. Certain sorceries and incantations. Attribute governing discovery. Discovery. What is discovery? All right. Well, like I said, I, I would like to pick a lower level starting character so we get to customize our stats a little more. Let's look at the overall levels. Nine, eight, seven. So I like that the band is five. I can tell you for one. Feel free to say what discovery is. Is it like loot chances? You can choose one of three is what discovery is. This fix, right? Astrologer starts at level six. Prophet is seven. Samurai starts all the way up at nine. So is prisoner. Confessor starts at ten. And then we could do the wretch at level one to customize our stats the most. I'm going to say it's like luck in other games. I am drop rates. Okay. Uh, so I'm either thinking of actually starting with the wretch for full custom customizability or starting with the bandit. I'm leaning bandit, I think. We get some decks, we get that luck, and we start at a low level, so we still get to customize our stats a lot. I can start leaning towards, you know, intelligence or faith pretty quickly. We can lean on our dexterity. And I like that, the, you know, if I do want to go a little more magical, dexterity does up spell casting speed, so dexterity would be useful to us anyway. <laughs> this is wretched looking pretty hot. Thinking, I think I'm gonna take the bandit. And then we can go male or female. Eh. I would normally go female, but sometimes the armor looks better on uh, the male body. Let's still go for the, the female, though. Name none entered. Asked you that with the keyboard. Nice. We can go. I'm holding a controller, but we can use the keyboard sometimes if we want to. Uh, by type B, age, young, mature, aged. Has no bearing on ability. So this actually changes the whole class here. Bandit. Keepsake. A medallion laid with crimson amber increases max HP. The gold of grace shining in the eyes of the people of the land between, used to gain many levels. A golden seed washed ashore from the lands between, said to reinforce your sacred flask. Which is, is that your healing? Is that your Estus flask? Ashes of a small dominion of golem. Ashes are said to hold spirits within. Was that the Final Fantasy movie? She reflects you appropriately. So you get into these games lore. I'm um, a little bit. I mean, I know about Thief the Scaleless and Big Cat Logan. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, we'll, we'll look at item descriptions here and there for sure. I'm not going to totally ignore it. Three strange crackpots that somehow mend themselves. A container for certain thrown items. Two stone keys shaped like swords breaks... The seal on imp statues, but can only be used once. Five sacred branches charged with beguiling power, said to originate from the demigod Michaela? Michaela? Five pieces of bo boiled prawn boost physical damage neg negation. The crazed likeness of a noble whose eyes have been gouged out attracts enemy aggression. This one might make the game harder. All right. 
Uh, if anybody does know, there's a very good one to pick here, let me know. In Dark Souls 1, there's an item that says, you know, this item seems to do nothing, but if you take it, you get to talk to a character you can't talk to otherwise. I don't see any items like that here. Um, right now I'm leaning toward... Uh, Jibbert says the keys are actually a good thing to take, yeah? So I was, gonna, I was thinking about the uh, reinforced sacred flasks. If you suggest the keys, I might go for that. Choose base template. The warrior. The truth seeker. The aristocrat. The loner. Northerner. Seafarer. Reed lander. Draconian. Night folk. Newman. <laughs> I just, I just like Newman because I'm thinking about Seinfeld. Hello, Newman. All right, let's start with Seafarer. Yeah. <laughs> Sherry. Michael Richard Makes his voice is great. I guess that one's pretty good. Mature voice one. Alright, well this certainly looks better in the Dark Souls 1 faces, I'll tell you what. Oh boy, those faces are... They're, I think it's the same, it's literally the same engine as Oblivion, if I remember right. Alright, well I'm not gonna go too nuts with this, because we might cover this up with a mask anyway, and I don't hate how this face is starting, but let's look at the hair at least. Myra says they saw somebody spend like an hour on character creation, and I can do that type of thing. <laughs> but I don't think we're gonna go totally nuts, but let's definitely look at hair at least. Alright, that's not bad. Let's start here. We'll see if there's something I like better. I do like the ponytail, but I don't like the front of the hair as much as that. Uh-huh. So the models are hideous in one, too. They are. They are. And they're also hideous in Oblivion, which I think it uses the same engine. Face was then covered up for the entire game at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can happen. I mean, we're starting with the bandit mask at the very least. <laughs> well, you can cover up a lot of the face that way, too. That's not bad. Okay, I think I do like this one best. I like this too, though. It's a little bit of the Sarah Connor look. I think I like this. Okay. The hair luster. <laughs> I like that it goes strong. Strong luster. So I'm just imagining this is changing the shininess of the hair, right? And so this is max shininess. That's too much shine. That's too much shine. Too much glisten. Oh, there's a change by 10. Nice. Good, good, good. All right, let's... Let's go until you can just kind of start to see the highlight. We should completely blind, right? Like, like, you haven't watched any trios either? That's awesome. I've watched... Pretty, almost nothing. I think I saw one of the early trailers. I haven't seen any of the recent trailers at all. Here's the Root Darkness, which I guess we'd see up here. Yeah. Which I actually do like it at max, like it has it by default. The Number of White Hairs. Nice, nice. Yeah, let's... Let's actually have a little bit. Let's put it at 40. Just a little hint. Eyebrows. See, I said I wouldn't spend an hour, but now I'm actually, <laughs> now I'm actually taking a look because these are much better options, much better options than Dark One. Let's 
see. Let's do that. Must have everything else match the hair color. Although, wait, where do we have hair color? Hair color, there we go. There we go. Alright, now we're talking. I like the dark hair, actually. I do. Uh, a lot of times I'll go with the red, though. We can't go with blue anime hair. I actually think I just like... I like the black. I think I do. Yeah, I, I think I like the, uh, the black. Let's actually turn the luster up a bit higher with the black hair. Oh, and one more thing. Now, now I wonder how the root darkness affects if I go with the blackest hair. Does it actually kind of invert the value if I go to minimum? No, no, no. So the root darkness just doesn't matter if we're at max. Because you guys hit random until it doesn't look unpleasant on these screens. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, and that's an interesting way to start, for sure. A lot of times I'll do random until I find something that I like. They do let you do the beard options, even with the Type 2 body. Eyelashes. Man, we're, again, we're, like, never gonna see this. Alright, do that. Lash color. Well, it should still be dark. Eyes. Oh, and you can do you can do anime here, right? You can, we can do the the two color eyes. We can do the try hard. Everybody loves the anime two color eyes. Clouding color. Huh. It's interesting. So there it is. There's the heterochromia. Big anime. One yellow eye, one green eye. Big anime. I'll do it. I'll do it. You can't stop me. Well, you can try. Skin features. Pores. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with the closed pores. <laughs> Skin luster. We can change our skin shininess to. Eh, let's actually make it lower. Dark circles under the eyes. I'm gonna turn that up. The dark world. Oh, so you can you can turn into blush essentially. <laughs> actually, I do like it a little red. I do like it a little red there. Yeah, all right. Almost starts to look more like war paint, though. It's cosmetics. What do we got? Here, fire. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. All right, we got eyeliner. Eyeliner color. Shadow. Chamari affecting with the other thing, essentially. There's a cheek blush. Which will just darken up the cheeks a little. Lipstick color. too much. <laughs> That's too much. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Tattoo mark. So you got some dirt. You can probably move this, uh, this scar. Everybody loves the one slash over the eye. It's always popular, and a lot of times I'll go for it. Uh, 
Huh? Is this the actual mark of the game? Oregon's is so ready to play this game tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I'm hoping it's great. It's getting the great reviews to start. Okay, let's see. Tweak position. change the angle too now you can also flip it completely oh eye patch Interesting. You can make it with him. But that covers up our multicolor eye. <laughs> so 50 minutes and I look on the eye patch. Right, right, right. So now I've got the, the scratch over the wrong eye. The next save is going to pick a full head emblem. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, and you can change the eye patch color too. That's nice. I didn't expect to be able to change this color. Okay, but now I need to redo. Now I need to redo the scar to be over the other eye. These are very important before we cover up with a whole face with a helmet, like Fix says. Go. That makes it fairly visible. Okay. Okay, I like that. I like that. Alright, anything else we want to tweak? Ring all is awesome already. This game is awesome, and all I've done is enter my name. The real house. Nostril slant. <laughs> Nostril size. Nostril width. Like Dark Souls 3. I don't know. I don't know.
I fear it's a lot like Dark Souls in general. It's effectively Dark Souls 4. All right. Give us another Octopus Pete Dragon Queen Alexstrasza. There you go. We had to get rid of the whelps first, I suppose. The mouse chin distance. <laughs> All right, we're almost there, almost there. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, that was bad. There we go, mouth expression. I was kind of looking for this, because we can make it more smiley or more frowny. Which I'll put... Actually, I think I do like it pretty close to where it starts. I'll go exactly one point more happy. That's no good. Uh... Oh, we can really suck the cheeks in. <laughs> Music of the Dark Souls 3 by it says, uh, says Purify. All right, hold on. I want to bring the chin back down a little, and then I think we're done. There's something I've done just to this little, little bit of the line shape. Near the bottom of the face that I'm not super happy with. I don't know if I can fix it. This is a Dark Souls game. This is effectively Dark Souls 4. It's the same team. It's the same team. I'm still not completely happy with it, but I think I'll call this good enough. Ah, looks kind of gruff. I like it. Oh shoot, we got body alteration options too. <laughs> Maybe I won't change much of anything there.
Oh yeah, we can make the head really small or really big. Big head mode. Muscular or standard? I like the muscular. Look at me, like Charlie. <laughs> big kicks. Okay. Save to favorites. Alright. If I was off stream, I would mess with the face even a little more. But we'll stick with this. Oh, you know what? Switching to the young instead of the uh, mature... It did, it did affect the, the lines on the mouth a little bit that I didn't love, so... Alright, I guess we'll sway it back to young instead of mature. Keep the mature voice, though. Okay. And then we cover it up with the mask. Jefferson, this looks like a character from Divinity 2 almost exactly. I thought you meant your character specifically, but maybe you mean like a pre-built companion? Fix it, I imagine there's people who make celebrity looks like these. Oh, absolutely. There's going to be a lot of, like, uh, Nick Cage and stuff. This is, like, last first time out here. Big, big bands. Big bands. Starting game with this character is okay. I hope so. I hope so. So, okay, you see all the, <laughs> the character creation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, yeah, I've not seen the opening. I've not seen the opening movie here. The ones for Dark Souls are pretty interesting. The Fallen Leaves. Tell a story. As hype in the opening voice for guy. Hmm, yeah, Dark Souls 1 and I think 3 both have a female narrator. The furtive pygmy so easily forgotten. The great Elden Ring. Much I saw the leaves. Was shattered. In our home. Across the fog. The lands between. Lands between the Elden Ring shatters. Now, Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Godwin. Dark Souls has a lot of Gwyn. Soon. You guess that was Arthur's time, right? <laughs> demigods all claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. So instead of nine rings gifted the men, they have the shards of the ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. Snake eats brains, good stuff. Charles the Ring used to make an arc, and then they lost it, just like the Queen there. Lord arose. A war. It's one big sword, baby. Leading to abandonment. Tarantula, good to I see you. Greater will. Oh. Tarnished, ye dead, who yet live. The chosen undead. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Horalu, chieftain of the Badlands. Boss. The ever brilliant. Gold mask. Boss. Fear. The deathbed companion. Boss. The loathsome dung eater. Boss. 
and Sir Gideon Ogmir. They all know him. He looks dead, but boss. You save Gatfish, the lame work stuff, the guy stole Elden of the Ring. There's a need to get now. Now! Me too. Oh, I've got it. Okay, so they all look dead, but they'll all be bosses. They'll all be bosses. And one other. Whom Grace would again bless. With her eye patch. With her eye patch and her bandit mask. A tarnished of no renown. Boss, yeah. <laughs> fight yourself. You might fight yourself. Zelda loves to do that. To stand before the Elden Ring. The Elden Ring. And become the Elden Lord. Because no lord arose from the, the war. So, man, no deaths. Quacken does not die. I have not died yet. I suspect we will die within the first ten minutes if it has a tutorial boss like most Dark Souls types of games. New emote, the ring, which you get at the start of the game if you pre-ordered, but you can get later on even without pre-ordering. All right, here she is. Here she is. Slashy, slashy. Slashy, slashy, slashy. There's our roll. Roll is very, very important if it's anything like Dark Souls, which it is. All right. Pillage remains. The Tarnished Wizard's Finger. Though the path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. With the inventory menu, you can browse the items you're carrying, drop them on the ground, or throw them away. You can also use tools for the inventory menu. Just roll when you gotta roll. Use to write messages to other worlds. Okay, so that's how we write messages. Hey! Oh, there's actual voice with it. That's not in Dark Souls. I was hoping for yeah! In Dark Souls 1, you can get these little items that you drop on the ground that go, Hello! <laughs> yeah, the fairy's like, the fairy's like, Hello! I'm sorry! <laughs> we get a name prompt in the middle of the screen like you would in Dark Souls. An Orlando. Where's the big tree? There it is. The Chapel of Anticipation. This one of the tour. Say respawn, right? What? 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 See, so there's Crouch. There's a heavy attack. Is this PS5 or PC? This is PC. I went back and forth on which version I wanted. I took the PC in the end. So is that the queen? That's the queen that they don't know where she is? Oh, and that's... That's boss music. The Grafted Scion. Oh. <gasps> well, the boss didn't kill me. So I told you. Yep, yep. Didn't give up the boss. Good job, right? No. <laughs> Uh, is this the immediate get good we have to win, or do we only get one shot? Got this. Every hit's a victory. Yeah, I got zero hits. 
I got zero hits. <laughs> Now, if it's like the other Dark Souls games, you get a special reward for winning that fight. I did not win that fight. Did wonder if it'd make you do it again. You didn't technically die on the right thing. <laughs> Don't Here, I must finish Dark Souls 3, Trimby Undead King, Fortune need to level up. Is on her side. Torrent is the horse. We found her here after all. Is this our shrine maiden? Our level up girl? Didn't lose that fight, I guess. <laughs> I just advanced in a different direction, oh, right down the cliff. To seek the Elden Ring. The Elden Ring, we truly are the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. I hate the Golden Order. Immediately. There she is. She's still alive. Fetch a medical casket immediately. We got a little golden tree. We saw a really big golden tree. Here's a little golden tree. Flask of Crimson Tears. Flask of Cerulean Tears. So one is for health and one is for magic. So here's a punch, by the way. And here's our knife. Cave of Knowledge lies below. There's an item up there. There's, we can turn the HUD display on and off. I need a flashlight. This is very dark. I think I actually will turn up the brightness one click. It's supposed to be dark, but... Let's turn it up one click if we can. Advanced settings. Shoot, where's the brightness? And there it is, just brightness. So let's turn it up one click. Okay, so it's still dark. Actually, maybe it's better. Oh, well, I'm affected by the menu? So now there's kind of a gray color back there. You know what it looked like? I guess it's still kind of a gray color. Fix thinks the bit ray is crushing it. Yeah, that can happen. But it's very dark. It's very, very dark here for sure. I can't really see it. This is just in time. Yep, I've died one time. We have not yet killed anything. I've been doing superb. <laughs> Brave Tarnish, take the plunge of learning and remembrance. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. You can see our green eye there, though. So it said the Cave of Knowledge is below. I want to look at the Golden Tree, though. All right. Nothing to do with that. Can we go out this way? So we're gonna have, we're supposed to take the plunge, but what's in here? Ah. Touch grace. Lost grace discovered. Rest at the sight of grace. Pass time, flask, add charge to flask. Use one golden seed to increase the number of flask uses. Increase amount replenished by flask. Use sacred tears. With this menu, you can allocate the number of uses to your flasks. You have a set total number of maximum flasks. You can switch between health and magic. So you could have four health flasks or four magic flasks or somewhere in between. Alright, um, do we have any spells? 
Memorize spell menus. Memorize sorceries and incantations. You must have a staff equipped to cast sorceries or a sacred seal to cast incantations. They use FP. Your memory slots determine the number of sorceries and incantations you can memorize. You can increase your memory slots by using a memory stone. Yeah, currently I have no magic. With this menu, you can put the items you're carrying into the chest for storage or take stored items out of the chest. If you're carrying the maximum number of items, you pick up a new item, it will be stored in the chest automatically. Alright, well I guess we should go take the plunge. I guess we should go take the plunge, probably. Use Tarnish Finger to write a gold summoning slime. Co cooperative multiplayer will begin when you've been summoned by a nut player from another world. You will take the role of an ally, a furled finger, and your objective is to defeat the area boss. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the summoner, the host of fingers. And the finger severer lets you uh, disconnect from somebody's world. Okay. Is this an elevator? Yes, it is. Well, let's go take the plunge into the cave of knowledge first. And then we have some... Is this a fog door? Eh, it doesn't let me traverse the fog. Alright, let's take the plunge. The plunge of courage. Let's be a little less courageous and go here. <laughs> Press down to switch items. So here's a different bonfire. Resting at the side of grace will restore your HP, FP, and cleanse any status ailments. They'll also refill your flasks, but most of the enemies you defeat will be revived. You can find the sites of grace where light converges. These explanations are acquired in the form of info items that can be accessed at the inventory at any time. All right, I'm gonna probably, I might try to call these grace, but I'm probably just gonna call them bonfires, like you would in Dark Souls. All right, and here's our first enemy that we can beat. Should turn red for a backstab if it's like Dark Souls. Ah, huh? didn't turn red. Didn't turn red, but we did do a backstab, and we gained fourteen whatever they're calling souls. I'm gonna see if I can do like a parry. Ah! Hmm. Going too early for a parry. Oh well, we'll do it this way. I'm never gonna get good at parrying, so let's not bother. <laughs> You can guard with LB. Guarding consumes stamina. Guarding is especially effective when done with a shield, right? We've just got this little parry buckler. I need a real shield. I need a real shield because I'm never going to get good parrying. Because you could be the first boss. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, which will probably give you a special item. You can avoid any attacks with the dodge roll or the back step. Both of these consume stamina. Yeah. Usually don't want to do the back step. Usually you want to roll. If to hit L2. Oh, that's the parry. Okay, okay, let's give it another go then. Oh, dear. <laughs> too early. Way too early. <laughs> so there's our Estus Flask. Hmm. Well, let's try a few more times. Let's see if we can get the parry timing right. Hmm, <laughs> you could do it. Uh, I don't know what the timing is. There we go. That's a parry. That's what a parry looks like. I'm not going to get good at it. I'm going to be a roller. I'm going to be a roller. I am not going to get good at the parry, but that's what they look like. 
Nice. I find it amusing how these Souls games always use same mechanics and items. You'll need to come something different every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if George R. R. Martin came up with any of the names. Ooh, you're a friend, I bet. Oh no, you're gonna shoot me. No, you're not a friend. I thought you were a friend. Ooh. Can I not block arrow shots with the buckler? I can. I can. Rule King save, just the way I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna get the berry. This is our way. This is our ninja way, our bandit way. So this guy's got a shield. Wielding armaments. Each... The, this looks exactly like the Dark Souls 1 title character. Uh, each hand can be equipped with up to three armaments, allowing you to switch between... Three? Huh. Usually you get two. Secure crouch animation. Yeah, apparently there is like a stealth in tall grass I saw. Um, just on the, the Elden Ring Twitter I saw... Oh, not the Elden Ring Twitter. It was the Steam page for Elden Ring. I saw one post about hiding in grass. Armaments can be two-handed, making attacks more effective. Right, so Y plus LB or RB to wield with two hands. Y plus LB or RB. Oh, I drunk my, I drunk my last Destus flask. I've got a arrow, a bow and arrow, but... Wait, hold on, so how do I switch to two-handed? Okay, wait, there we go. So now I'm on two-handed. Hold Y, hit RB. Yeah, what was confusing me was that it brings up this other menu over here, which has our uh, way to Homeward Bone. But it did still swap from uh, two -hand, one hand to two-handed. Yes, turn around. Turn around, you fool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to learn to deal with your shield if you walk away from me. Arm well locked on, change target. Uh huh. Jump attack is super powerful as well. Yeah, I, they put something about that in the same post. They say it was good for. Like, uh, staggering enemies or something. So that would, and that's, that's not a Dark Souls 1 thing. You can't even manually jump in Dark Souls. So that's a weird thing for, <laughs> this is a change. This is a change. You know, let's try it. Equip a bow to fire bows. I don't think I have any arrows. When wielding a bow with two hands, hold LB for precision aiming. Do I have any arrows? I didn't think I did. I guess I do. I have 30 arrows. Oh, but when I started firing arrows, the, uh, the NPC switched to coming in. All right. This feels really good. Dark Souls 3 felt good. This feels better. This feels... Real good. So far. In terms of the movement. Dark Souls 1, great game. Great game. Janky. Janky. Doesn't feel good to move. This feels good. This feels right. Armaments have special abilities called skills. Skills are highly varied and range from powerful attacks to temporary effects. Using skill. Oh, using skills consumes your magic. Wow, that's different. Like I said, I know nothing about this game. I didn't look up anything. Huh. Demon Souls is even Jack here, that's fair. I never played Demon Souls, but I believe that. So our dagger here has a a little special dash that's faster than dodge rolling. So it did use some of our blue bar. This little speed evasion. That's interesting. I had no idea they were adding this magic skill for weapon system. Oh, this is interesting. Crouch makes our frames discover you, especially effective in tall grass, which, like I said, I saw this post on uh, Steam. Attacking it as it knows to will cause more damage than usual. Uh. 
up in schools. She's like, yeah, I did not hear about this at all. So I was thinking of, you know, doing some magic and faith and stuff, but now it's like, wait, do I just want to use all my MP? Do I want to use all my MP on, uh, you know, weapon skills? Hmm. We've got a left path and a possible right path now. We can only look in there. We can take a glance. And that looks like it could be a boss arena. These guys look like a good cup of coffee. <laughs> the one cure for being undead. Caffeine. Let's have some. Some attacks from American enemy stance. Right, so here's the jump attack. Here's the jump attack. That Jaber was talking about. Uh charge attacks and jump attacks are particularly easy to break an enemy stance. RT for charge attack, RT while jumping for jump attack. So there's charge attack. That used up most of my stamina, though. Uh, I imagine there's some better jump attacks on swords. This one feels a little awkward, right? And we we want something longer range. <laughs> Excellent cup of coffee brewed by some brews. Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Upon dying, we arrived at the last site of Grace you visited. However, if there is a stake of Marika where you died, you can choose to be revived there instead. So they're offering up a different respawn point that you can't, like, rest and change your skills at. Interesting. And here's a fog gate. This usually means boss. And I don't have any uh, healing items. The Soldier of Godric. Guard counters. You can perform a counterattack immediately if blocking enemy attack. Guard counters make it easy to block enemy stance. RT immediately if blocking attack. Right. Okay, he charged it for longer than I expected. Okay. I was trying to do my little dash. Uh, it didn't work out very well. Okay, so I can revive at the stake. Do we get back our heals if we revive at the stake? He says <laughs> it's a difficult I've heard. Upon dying, you visit the last great site of grace you visited, or at the stake in this case. Dropping runes in your possession at the site of your death. If you die before reclaiming those runes, they'll be lost forever. Which, yeah, you gotta do a corpse run one try. Standard Dark Souls mechanic. The compass indicates the direction of your lost souls. Or runes, they say, yeah. Alright, it did give us our flasks back, but I can't actually rest and, like, change our skills. Save dead, save dead. First, like, legit death. Let's... No, let's not use the bow, but let's see... Yeah, I was gonna say, let's see how effective my shield is. The answer is it's not really effective, which doesn't surprise me. There's our runes. There's a drink. Okay, we gotta figure out the timing. I also wanna be trying to use our little dash. So there's our little dash. Oh, wait, what the? I'm trying to jump. I'm trying to do the jump attack. And it's not working out for me. <laughs> there we go. Enemy failed instead of uh, race slaughtered or demon slain, I think was Dark Souls. This game of dodge roll, this game has a dodge roll. <laughs> Just like Shower the Colossus would have done. This is stabbed. Yeah, I was having trouble executing a jump there. I think I had stamina, so I'm not sure what was up with that. New emote, strength, strength and honor. Here's the map menu. You can look at the terrain of the surrounding areas. You can free place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. 
Lastly, through your map, you can select any side of grace you've discovered and travel there instantly. Instant fast travel. You don't get that in Dark Souls uh, 1, at least. Dark Souls 1, you don't get fast travel till really late. Dark Souls 3, you get earlier, but I don't remember when you get it. There's some dungeons and other areas where you cannot travel instantly. Secret roads find the map menu. <laughs> so, yeah, I can just transport back to the Cave of Knowledge or the Stranded Graveyard. Okay. And then, if I was trying to get our other gesture here... There's rest, jump for joy, point forward, wave, bow, rally and cry. So let's see, there's the ring! <laughs> Which is our replacement for praise the sun. John says, you guys should be smart overnight. I swear, all I did was dodge roll. He, he fell off a cliff like I did earlier. And wh where, there's point downward. Here's beckon. Where's our, there it is, strength. You get, you get the Firelink Shrine when you fast travel in Dark Souls 3. There's strength. Strength and honor. I'll put the ring on there, though. I'll put the ring... Yeah, Crimson's got the ring. <laughs> Alright, so if I jumped down there, I would be sad. Let's jump over here. Oh, and this is the top. This is the top of the Shrine of Knowledge. Does the ghost have a different line of dialogue now that we've done the thing? Nope, 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 nope. Same deal. Yeah, good to see John. Hope you're doing great. So then we can rest at the side of grace again, get our flasks back. Now, do we have enough for a level already? Oh, wait, wait there, there isn't even. There isn't even. So, yeah, we can pass time until morning, till noon, till nightfall. Wait, so I actually don't. I don't have a way to level up yet. If I said John of the Stars is coming along, it's pretty, uh, pretty close to done, I think. Use the Stoneward Key. Oh. Would I want to use it this early? Get that statue, says Jaybird. All right. I'll trust you. Stoneward Key is lost with use. Does this just put me into a much tougher area right away? <laughs> is that what it does? Has Jaybird trapped me into just dying instantly? It's a blight area. <laughs> Jaybird says maybe. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a blight area. That's no good. I almost got poisoned. Oh, hello. <gasps> Whoa! I really not going behind the thing here wasn't good enough. <laughs> Kim says, what? Well, I mean, I was smart enough to move to the side, but even that didn't work. <laughs> I did the smart thing. I did the smart thing, and it killed me anyway. Alright, so it only goes that far. There's our 500 souls. I need to wait for it to come back. Yikes! Poison Bone Dart. Front stab. Oh, 
Oh, this is dangerous because I don't know if I can run fast enough to make it in time. There was another one over there, but it died. I didn't think it made that turn. I thought it stayed up there. The stars to really destroy stars. No. <laughs> and neither can the Death Star. The Sun Crusher did in the old pre Disney stuff. There's this <laughs> one. I thought I had made it. I thought I had made it past rolling death cart. Well, I could go the other way, but I still need to run this way if I want to get my souls back. If I die again, I lose all my souls. Before even learning how to use them to level up. Here's the enemy. He kicked me. He kicked me. Gonna wait for it to pass one more time. So it, it doesn't make the... Does it only make the turn once I've passed it, or is there a second one? <laughs> you didn't make it over here last time. <gasps> what? What? <clears throat> he was falling, and he still got me. So I lost all my souls. So I lost all... What? Wait, he come back back there. There's no, yeah, so I lost my 600 souls. And I guess I'll go down the non... I'm gonna go down the non-key path for a moment. <laughs> well, there goes my souls. There goes my 600 starting souls. Feels bad. <sighs> James, I'm sorry. Uh, it's fine. We'll get them back. <laughs> or we'll, we'll re earn 600 souls. You have another one, though. Another one what? Another key, you mean? I did say I start with two keys. see the big golden tree, so we're not far from where we started. Can see anyone make it to the bottom. Hmm. Just like another way to start. <laughs> Are you a bird? Yeah. The mechanical force must have taken to lift all that stone. Here's a bonfire. Yeah, person to talk to. Now, see, this is the only thing that, <laughs> that annoys me. Is this is probably Grace exists to tide the tarnish and lead him along the proper path. Even now, some sites of Grace retain that power. The golden rays will guide you along your way. Use your map to track your current position as long as and the terrain, the surrounding structures. 
But is this level up character? Yes. Tarnished, are we? Uh huh. Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring. Hmm? I have come for the Elden Ring. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without <laughs> just hold our knife. to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope. For even the maidenless, me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with Grace? I just got a tutorial about Grace. Gives life to you, Tarnish. Works as I missed the beginning. It's a good game. What do you feel about? It? I feel like it controls really well. Dark Souls Three controls a lot better than Dark Souls One. This compares, but be this controls better than Dark Souls Three. It seems like. Like Skyrim and Dark Souls. Oh, it's Dark Souls. <laughs> But this is Dark Souls 4. Same developer. Hmm. Indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished. Level to guide. You die in the basement. Death feels too bad. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Even if it leads you to your grave. Grace's guidance will to Castle Stormvale. Stormvale. The, cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod. Up there. Godric the Drafted. It's time you set off, I should think, to Castle Stone if you seek. Alright, it's a castle if you seek. Yep. Alright, off to the castle. We have no level up, maiden. Acquire materials. And every corner of the lands between you can have fruits and flowers and other useful materials that can be used for item crafting. We got a row of flute. Or fruit, not flute. In each area, you may find effigies of martyrs. These are effigies. These effigies are summoning pools. You'll find it easy to summon other players at this location, as co-op and hostile summoning sands create around small effigies gather at summoning pools. Okay. Small golden effigy. Send a co-op sign to summoning pools. It seems a bit like Witcher 3. Uh, I've not actually played Witcher 3, so I couldn't compare it, but this is definitely Dark Souls 4. <laughs> same developers, same mechanics. This feels like it may be too tough for me. The Witcher, this is all the same game. Well, uh, if, if for Breath of the Wild, I have to be. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna get wrecked! Hit me. <laughs> okay. So I did like one tenth of his health. <laughs> Most of my watching has been watching this horse. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, uh. Now, in theory, in theory, I could beat that horse. In theory, I could beat that horse, but I think I'll go try to do other things first and come back more stronger. But in theory, I could beat that horse. My souls are over there, but there's hardly any souls. How about these wolfies, or... What are they? Goats? Are they hostile? No, they're not hostile. I could stab them, but they're not hostile. There's this boo, sensible streamer. <laughs> 
Ruin fragments. First few minutes of disguise to try and kill a whiskey guy that like three times or so. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we could totally do it. I just need to get ten times better than my first attempt, which we could do. We could we could get the proper dodges, but I want to I want to see some stuff that we actually can manage. This on this for four straight hours. That is one way to do it. Is that Santa clothing? You're tarnished. I can see it. And he's got a so utensil banjo. But you're not after my throat. I could stab you. Purchase a little something. I Here's our first vendor. Purveyor of fine goods. He's kale? He's healthy? I am of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Good for me. I'd say you're a very welcome customer. You know, Recommendation. If you can spare the rooms, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. Okay. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. I appreciate the advice. If you intend to survive out here for any duration, the kit costs a bundle. And here for I think that may be a weapon upgrade quite station. Fast. Quite possibly. But the important thing is that you survive. Every customer counts, after all. You know. You should buy okay, so it just starts off crafting kit again. Is that homeless Santa, right? Purchase. Here's the shop menu. So we can buy chainmail armor. A note imparting knowledge about the waypoint ruins. A note about the flasks. A large leather shield, which would be nice because I don't want my parry shield. A telescope. Reveal co-op and hostile summoning signs. There's the crafting kit. And it's only 300 souls, actually. Which I would have had if I didn't go down into the key area. <laughs> Goodbye. At the smithing table, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. Somewhere in the lands between, you might meet the blacksmith who can make your armaments even stronger. Smithing stone one. The smithing menu, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. You can strengthen your armaments to plus three at the smithing table, but you might make a blacksmith can make things stronger. So this would improve our damage from uh, 75 to 79. Also, our great knife causes blood lost buildup, which I didn't know. And there's the buckler. So our knife has E strength scaling and C dexterity scaling. Okay. It would cost 130 souls to level up. We need some sharp sticks. I think it's going to be better in my knife. Alright, so there's the castle on the cliff, which we're going to keep heading vaguely that way. There's a turtle. Turtle, turtle, turtle. And that looks like an actual enemy. Something up there, too. Oh no, these are still turtles, but are they hostile turtles? Uh, vaguely, they spray poison at me. I guess they're more like eggs. Ow. Great dragonfly head. Alright, they're worth 13 souls. I miss my 600 souls. What's the first impression of the game? Does it feel great? Oh, did I answer somebody else? Yeah, no, it, feel, it feels really, really good so far. It, uh, Dark Souls 1 is kind of bad to control. 
Uh, Dark Souls 3 felt a lot better, and this seems to feel better than Dark Souls 3. This seems to control exactly how I want it to. It's moving exactly how I demand it. <laughs> the Groveside Cave. So here's a new bonfire. Which I need to rest at, actually. Alright, let's go down to this dark cave. Control response is very important in these games. Yes, yeah, it never feels good to... Ooh, big wolfies. Oh, man. Okay, that went well. Got one. <laughs> but yeah, it never feels good to, you know, ha feel like the controls are failing you instead of just yourself. Like, there, I failed myself. The controls didn't fail me. If I save your order out right now, what would you. <laughs> well, it depends. Am I ordering anything or am I ordering something low carb? <laughs> oh, jeez, the wolf already saw me. my souls again. Granted, I've got like zero. Oh no. No. Oh. Alright, there's one wolf down. dead. So, okay. Chinese is good. Well, Chinese not going to be low carb, typically, if you get any type of noodles. Oh, that was what uh, Jibbert said. <laughs> it's a pee about it. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, right now, I, not right now, I just want to eat delicious souls. We'll make this mess around. Yeah, and... So the, the key is that I can take out the small wolves really quickly. So if I can take out all the small wolves and then focus on the big wolf, that would be good. <gasps> I didn't realize there was a wolf behind me. I got the small wolves. I took the small wolves out, but then I died. Let's try... Now, my buckler shield is really bad at blocking stuff. I need a real shield. But, um... Let's try holding our shield out instead of two-handing. I think it'll actually go worse, but let's try it. What is that X symbol up there? Is my great knife damaged or something? Discovery 114, equip load. Not sure if I see like a durability. I don't know what that X thing up there means. Where's the wolf that actually got me? There it is. There it is. So that's the wolf that got me before.
Okay, well that was my fault. So I was trying to do a quick step and I did a parry. <laughs> Still one small wolf alive. He's over on the left there. <gasps> I, there's two small wolves alive. No, don't go up there. No, stay down here with me where I can see you. No. All right, I think that's every small wolf. I now have heals. No, no, no. One more hit. No! No! One more hit is all I needed. <sighs> that was better, though. We're improving. <laughs> that other wolf that comes up from behind me. You could see you skip with your rage. I'm more of a despair person than a rage person. <laughs> I'm more of a despair person. But yeah, there, there were two or three different bosses that I had. I had to stop streaming and then fight off stream. And uh, one of them I beat like on the second attempt after I stopped streaming. But yeah, a lot of the bosses took me like four hours. Try to get this wolf. There's one right behind me. There's one right behind me. It's gonna bite me. Okay, big wolf down. You are stuck. <laughs> that wolf was stuck. <laughs> okay. We have accomplished one thing in this game. We got thin beast bones. Wolf cave challenge number one defeated. <laughs> or at least wolf cave room A. Now we can collect all the items in here, of which there appear to be several. Oh, geez, there's two more wolves. I mean, there are small wolves, though. More thin beast bones. The golden rune. Which I think, I'm guessing the Golden Rune is a mechanic from Dark Souls, which is that we could use this item to acquire extra runes. Used to gain a small number of runes, right, so this is a 
a number of souls held in your inventory instead of on your body. New cracked pot. Container required for crafting cracked pot items, which was one of the starting items you could have taken. Because we've done anything yet. We've beat some wolves. We beat some wolves. Oh, and then there's a boss door. Oh, no. <laughs> I've used up all my heals. The Beast Man of Farum Azula. Oh, boy. He's a Bloodborne. I gotta hit him. Every hit's a victory. Swing, swing. Snap. Oh, okay. Too quick. I was not safe to heal there. Oh. No stamina. Zippy like sidesteps, yeah. Well, we found a boss. We found a boss, but I don't. Now, I don't have the ability to level up, although I do have the ability to level up our knife. That guess just hell alive for him. Yeah. I'm just going to run past the wolves. So the items respawn instantly, the gatherables? Seeing if the jump attack would like break his posture instantly. The answer is no. I need to get stamina back. Because I can't do rolling or anything without stamina. Okay. A nice bleed effect on the boss from Dagger. That's true, it does have the bleed thing, doesn't it? I don't know what the boss's resistance to bleed is. But okay, this is good. This is souls. This is what I want. Alright, so we're just gonna keep running past the wolves and keep throwing us. I'm not gonna throw myself at the horse. I'm gonna throw myself at this, because I know I can beat this. It's just gonna take many attempts. <laughs> I think you play this on... I don't know if you used to burn enough if you died. Yep, right onto your screen. Right onto your screen. Oh, okay. Oh! I just want my souls back. I don't have to use a heal. attack seems like the best time to get him. Yeah, okay, use my last heal. Attack, attack. Attack, attack. Big attack. Now, the roar is interesting. I don't know if the roar indicates anything specific or if it's just, hey, I'm taking some damage. I don't like it. Attack, attack, attack. Big attack. 
Oh, but there was there was like the bleed through or something. Did big damage there. But I don't fully understand that mechanic yet. I'm out of heals. But we're getting better. Ah, he got me. That's the best time to get him. Use your knife for somebody. Yeah, yeah, I do want a different weapon. I think. Let me strange not me in the kingdom build with poison, bleed, etc. Yeah, but we were doing damage, doing damage, doing damage, and that went boom! 300 damage. I didn't actually get like a big stab in, so I don't know if that's the. how the bleed through works or what. I don't know what's causing that, but I do know something I want to do. I'm not using the dash step enough to want the, uh, the magic healing flask. Not yet. So let's go with four flasks in general. Four, four healing flasks instead of having a magic flask at all for now. Now if I get some magic later, or some prayers or something, then that might change. But right now we want all the healing flasks. Like learning back used it all. So we can use it to parry things, but I'm bad at parrying. Uh, maybe we'll try it once this fight, but I'm really bad at parrying. I'm not expecting to get good at parrying. But here, I'll try it here. I'll try it here one time. Like that! That's a parry. And it lets me do that when you actually succeed. But I'm not going to succeed. <laughs> Except for that time. <laughs> ah, wow, actually, is the parry window generous? Because I thought I did that way too early. No, I don't think I can parry that. I think that's too heavy an attack to parry. Okay. Well, let's try some more parrying. Let's try to try some more parrying. I'm not expecting to get good at parrying, but boy, it does huge damage if I pull it off. Here's you gonna do full deck spill or try some magic. I'll have to see how things unlock as we go along. I'll have to see how the magic feels. Right now, I can't even level up. <laughs> we can't put any points into leveling up. I don't have any spells, so... Okay... Oh! What? Was I, I think I was crouched. I tried to hit the parry button and I, it didn't go through. I think I was crouched. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> How did I do that? <laughs> Alright, well I did the parry, but then uh, I didn't even get the attack in. our parries. Right now I'm being too fast at it. Mostly. This camera spins around violently. Camera spin intensifies. Keep grabbing this cave moss as we come in. <laughs> I don't know what it's used for crafting wise, but I might as well grab it, I suppose. Oh, 
too early still. Still too early. Hmm, I didn't get the front stab there. So you can parry that jump attack too. You can parry that jump attack, which kind of surprises me. Too early. Consistently too early on that swing. All right. Trying to get good. Trying to get good. Still too early on that one. Too early. Too early. Let's heal. Gonna do a big leap. Okay. Pixie Perry looks strong, yeah. Uh I still don't know if I can go long term parries, but maybe I can actually pull it off in this game. Maybe. I mean I'm I'm seeing improvement right away. I'm seeing improvement right away as I try it. I mean we almost got him that time. He he's down to like a fifth. Yeah, Perry, Perry trivializes some bosses, right? Maybe the answer is to get good. I've never, I've never done parrying as a consistent thing in a Dark Souls game. Never. Ow. <laughs> Maybe I should just call this one a wipe. lost the souls. I know, I know. I was gonna cry. Okay, I don't know if you can parry that or not. So at the end of this, he does a big jump and then another quick slash, it seemed like. This is gonna be the charge. I still am doing that one too early. Still, I just can't get that one. I got it like the first time, and now I always mistime it. <laughs> he goes farther, further forward than I thought. All right. So I did. I mean, I had a super bad start to that fight. Super bad start to that attempt. There are no riding areas. We can't use your horse. I don't have my horse. I can't level up. I don't have my horse. But what I can do is practice parrying. Now, see, the scary thing about this is that even if I beat this boss, I can't invest the souls in the levels. I'm just going to have to carry him on my back while we try to figure out... We'll go, while we go up to the castle to be able to actually level up. Yeah, yeah, like this is the thing. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, this is the type of thing I talk about when people ask if I would do variety here type of thing. But, oh well. Oh well. I'm having a good time. Swing, swing, swing. And then he does the big jump at the end. Ah, but he changes his uh, positioning at the end of the swing. So, yeah, I, I don't know if I can parry that, because I think the timing was correct there. I know I can parry the jump attacks. Finally 
finally got the timing right on that. The timing is not even difficult, I just need to learn it. Wrong again. back off to get my stamina. Shoot, I thought I had one more heal left, but I don't. I keep underestimating the range on that. If I could get that parry, we would have got him. Save that point off the floor and your logic is unsafe, like. So like everyone knows about Safer Rang, we've no extra viewers here. And that stupid says the soul level run run, I thought. Sure ain't. Choking at the end always. Mm. I don't know if I would call it a choke or just, you know, I'm running out of heels. <laughs> I don't know, I think... I don't know if that logic is incorrect, Lightning. The truth of it is, yeah, people want to watch me play Hearthstone. Or at least people... <laughs> That's what the majority of our audience is. Not to account everybody streaming this game. Well, I guess that's true-ish. I haven't actually picked up my souls, have I? I should do that. Where are they? Where am I? Oh, they're over there. Too early. It's always too early. <laughs> That jump, the fact he hits up on the uh, jump has got me twice. I guess lightning, but I can't think about that. That's the mind destroyer. <laughs> I just need to focus on what I'm doing. Oh, right. Oh, man. <laughs> so here's he's going to do the big jump at the end. Still going too early on that. I really need to learn the timing on that better. I'm constantly going too early. I'm crouched. Dang. Wow. But really bad there. Thanks is this. I don't want to get into it, but you... You, you can't get in... Well, I'm not going to get into it, but you, you can't get into that. Yeah, and it's just not worthwhile. It's a waste of energy. And to think about... Uh, never mind, I'm just not going to get into it. it. It's... All it creates is negative feelings. And that makes you have a bad time. If you're having a bad time, then why would anybody watch you? So, no, I can't get into negative thought spirals. It's a bad idea. All right. Good starting, Barry. Good starting, Barry. It's already better than the last attempt where I got, like, no hits in. Ah, I did a second roll when I didn't need to. Which attack? 
attack is this? Okay, so this has the big jump at the end. Ah, man, that one, I am, I always go right into that rhythm. So, it's the up slash and then down slash, but I am really going into that. slaughtered flame drake talisman and a thousand souls which i can't secure because we don't know how to level up but i could go buy a shield i could buy a real shield if i don't want to try to stay good at parrying <laughs> return to entrance huh legs been out with griff uh what's what's the flame talisman do Boosts fire negation just by holding it? Because I can't seem to equip it or anything. It has a weight to it. It has a little bit of a weight. Does it just passively... Or is there some way to equip talismans? I said I can't equip it. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Right there. Here's what happens if we take off our gear, by the way. We should get a very fast roll. Now we're on medium load. We'll make sure we don't get on heavy load. It's now on the next, next boss. That one took you like three minutes. Oh, the next one took you like three minutes. I see. She did. We did it. Plus, this is... They get frustrated playing these types of games. The only thing that's going to frustrate me here, maybe, is the fact that I can't lock in my souls through level up. But we can go back to the merchant. We can go back to the merchant and... Maybe buy something. Fringe Folk Hero's Grave. Church of Ella, Groveside Cave. I'm trying to get up there, I believe. Oh, hello. Now, I think you weren't here before. I think you showed up because I fought the boss. Are you a enemy? I guess so. I thought I could talk to him. <laughs> it's more over there. How far in the game are you? We've beaten, like, one boss, <laughs> which we just did. Well, I mean, you saw it. You saw it. I mean, we're, we're two hours into the game. What are you? Skull? A flaming skull. Why is there a flaming skull here? Gold and... Oh, it has, just has some souls in it. All right. Church of Ella, which, yeah. I never... Shoot. I, I was wondering why I couldn't teleport back to the merchants, because I never actually got this teleport point. Three map against me traveled in a grave, that you, grace that you've discovered. But I, I never... I never uh, got this one. Alright, well, since we can't level up... Since we can't level up, I want to buy some stuff here. 
All right, so let's go ahead and buy that crafting kit. Expands crafting, expands crafting, expands crafting with cookbooks. I might get the large leather shield. They have a crafting kit, you make various items. They give satellites with the excellent decision. 36 months of sub. Satellites, one of the absolute architects. Biggest supporters, longest term supporters of the stream. With 20 gifted subs this month alone. Thank you very much, satellites. Hope you're doing great on this off meta, non hearthstone day. You have a crafting kit, you can make various items. Select item crafting from the main menu and make items. You can find more craft things by getting cookbooks. Oh, shoot. Well, hold on. There, there's a way to, uh,. See those tutorial prompts. You'll need cracked pots or other containers to craft certain items. You will not be able to make more of those items than you have containers. Containers are consumed when crafting, but they can be reused when emptied. Okay, that was what I missed. With the item crafting menu, you can make various items from materials you find. You'll learn to craft more items by finding cookbooks. Right. So we can make... Bone darts. And we can feed. We, we can get feed for our horse, and we can get some rainbow stone guides, and roped fire pots and fire pots. But I don't have any smoldering butterflies. What is? Is there a way for me to see? There we go. Here we go. Like, is there a way for me to see what these give me? Acquire the ability to get holy water pots, glow stones and cured meat, and bone arrows and bone bolts. Round shield covered in leather. The stamina negation may be lacking. We had metal shield. It can handle a wider range of attack affinities. It says it can still parry, but it may not be as generous a window as our little buckler. What's this little note? <laughs> All right, well, I spent our souls. I got a telescope. And I got the leather shield. I bought the note, too, just because well, I can see what it is. So I've been doing Diablo 2 Resurrected. Nice, I have been playing that Lost Ark game, which, I mean, you saw a little bit of, uh, which, you know, is very Diablo-ish. Here's the telescope. I see if there's a way for me to zoom in further, but if there is, I don't know it. All right. Uh, I wanted to look at that note that I bought. There it is. A note sold by an nomadic merchant imparting knowledge in brief. A flask of wondrous physics still remains in the third church of Marika, north of the Mistwood. Cross the highway bridge and follow the Amel Trail north. Okay. That's actually more useful than I thought. I mean, you pull up and down noises. What, here? Just a little bow, bow, bow. You don't like that? All right. Well, I'm going to... I'm gonna try to make my way to the castle now to see if we can actually learn to level up. Oh, I also wanted to, uh... try the leather shield. It's still got the parry.
All right. Sorry if the boar would attack, but no. Oh, now it's upset. An old fang. So I was gonna leave it alone if it just ran away, but then then it got upset. I gotta test someone here. Okay, so we did take damage there. We did take bleed through damage with the leather shield, but less than with the buckler, so now I can do a standard block more effectively. Here's one of those uh, temporary resurrection points. I guess that starts to go up towards the castle. There's a camp down there. There might be some worthwhile loot in the camp. Let's just still make our way towards the castle. Fixing grab the beer without crashing the stream. Oh, you know, I wish somebody had pointed that out earlier. Somebody may have mentioned something like it, but yeah. I do, you know, this is the card game bitrate. Uh, so yeah, let's absolutely increase that, but not to 50,000. Uh, but yeah, sometimes... Sometimes it does reset itself back to the bitrate I had it previously. But yeah, the bitrate should be much higher now. Guys, yeah, pixel party. Yeah, I wish somebody had pointed that out earlier. Well, I, thought, I think one person may mention the bitrate, but yeah, absolutely. It's higher for now, but sometimes it tries to drop itself back down to the starting bitrate. Yeah, grass looks like grass now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, this triggered a cutscene. This is Horse Maiden. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. Was that the name of the queen? The queen that was lost? Or is that a different name? The only superficial spam is the character creation screen. Well, there you go. And they did a scar like me. Offer you an accord. No, uh, no eye patch, though. Same voice actress as no. the Demon Souls may and makes sense to me. It sounds very similar. They serve the two fingers, offering guidance and aid to the tarnish. Accord, let's not make those two. That's not bad. <laughs> but you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of Maiden. So now we can level up after I spent all my souls on the leather shield and stuff. Strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. So, okay, so it lets you level up before you get into the castle. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. There's nothing in your hand. <sighs> Spectral steed whistle. Ah, so now we get a horse already? To traverse great distances. Nice. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Shift the ring out, right? right. <laughs> Torrent has chosen you. It's bequeath. Bequeath a horse. With respect. I'm not going to look it in the mouth. Now we can level up. My hand rest upon you. For but a moment, share them with me. With the level up menu, you can spend ruins to increase your attributes. Your with each attribute increase, your level rises by one. As your level rises, so is the amount of ruins you need. The, the next attribute increase. Yes, indeed. All right. So, yeah, we need 740 for the first level up. Use the Spectral Steed Whistle to summon and ride your steed. If your Spectral Steed dies, you can summon it again, but it will cost a flask of Crimson Tears to do so. You can dismount by using the whistle again or pressing L. Alright. 
So yes, from the pouch menu, you can use equip six items from your pouches. Four of those items can be used without opening the main menu. So yeah, I was about to go put the horse on that. And I want the horse on down, I think. All right. Not the most elegant looking horse, is it? Wait, I just used two heels. <laughs> All right, we can do some horseback swinging. Now I need to rest the fire again. Toga. Like an Assassin's Creed? <laughs> Gate front ruins. So yeah, we're gonna head through the gate in a minute, but let's see if there's stuff worth looting in here. I got a map. Map found. It's a treasure. The map? Oh, on the wagon. On the wagon. Uh oh, I didn't see this guy. Tornadoes. That's gonna be a high level miracle. I think there's two enemies over here. Maybe. Yeah. So I can stab one probably, but the other will hear it. Yeah. I didn't think that would be quiet enough. <laughs> It's a good mail gear. Bum, 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 bum. Vision mailed. I want to try backstab the knight in armor, but it's going to be tough with two other soldiers around. Interesting, the stab only does 257 damage, but they have a lot more HP than that in open combat. Yeah? I I'm not keeping an eye on those numbers very closely. Okay, well, he was more, uh, more observant than the other soldiers, it seems like. <gasps> I don't like that. Okay, big problem. Interesting. Okay, I don't know if that can be buried or not, but I sure failed. <laughs> My last heal. I don't know if it can be parried. I tried, and it didn't seem to work. Now I got some enemies at my back, which is a really bad idea. Actually, they... Everybody else wandered off? Wait, where'd the other troop go? The other troop is still there. Oh, 
Well. <laughs> well, we're gonna die, but then, you know, our souls are gonna be literally right here. Yeah, Jibber says, guys with spears join the hardest pairing souls games. Like two frames. Mm hmm. Jibber did say that we. Uh, oh, Thrifty said first impressions. It controls really, really well. Controls really, really, really well. It controls the best of any of the Dark Souls games, even better than three, I would say. That's the first impression. The second impression is that it seems difficult, but that's unsurprising. So yeah, Jaybird says there's like a treasure on this cart. Ah. Ooh, a great sword. So that's a totally different style. Which... Unable to wield this item effectively with present attributes, right? Although in Dark Souls, if you two-hand something, you can use it more effectively than one hand, but it looks like it's not the case here. But yeah, it needs 16 strength. I only got nine. So this is probably not our uh not our way. Let's use it for a second without the required attributes and see if it does, like, no damage or some damage. Yeah, a lot of times I do go great swords, but it's not currently my plan. It did uh, knock him down pretty good. these jumping slashes. Well, yeah, a lot of times I go great swords. I, I like it, but still not making that the current plan. It's really secure. All right, well, we got a big great sword, but we don't have the stats for it. Oh yeah, so this guy, he is carrying the big trumpet. I don't know if they all carry a trumpet or just him, but... Should look around to see if there's more items around here. Horny guy first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Killing these guys from the abbey, are they monks? Mm. Not seeing other items at the moment. Oh, wait, what's this? Nah, it's not a chest. It's just like a grave or something. Oh, that guy's got a wolf. I don't know what the distance they can hear at is, which is the same conversation I had when killing monks.
Got with the wolf has plus one attack, as long as it's adjacent to him. There's another wolf. Oh, dear. I got his helm. It still keeps us on medium load. It has worse immunity and worse focus on vitality, but higher poise and higher defenses in general. We still got our eye patch on in there. <laughs> Even though it's a, it's a gameplay thing, I don't think they explain. Sure, sure, sure. That's fine. Would you like the stealth aspect? I'm enjoying it so far. I can't backstab a wolf, I imagine. <laughs> oh, there, there's another uh, wagon over there, but I don't think it has a chest on it. Oh, hello. Where do you go? A door, but I can't. Oh, hello! I found this very accidentally. With a whetstone knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant your armaments new skills at Sites of Grace. An armament can only have one skill. Any skill previously able to be removed. An armament's type determines the skills it can have. Some special armaments have unique skills and cannot be granted new ones. With whetstone knife, you can use Ash of War Grand Affinities to your armaments and sites of grace. Right, I read that. Ash of War, Storm Stomp. Okay. I'd have to be at the site of grace. As he says, the, the Street West Investigator put my ass still. Also, say you would kill everyone with this camp, the game would refill your flasks. If you a big encounter, it will always do this to reward exploration. Oh, so you, so you don't need to go back to a uh, site? Interesting. All right, so yeah, I don't think I can stealth this guy. I'm going to try anyway. Mind. I totally can. But can I actually beat him? Oh, there's another enemy over there. <laughs> I thought I'd got most of the enemies, or I thought I'd got all the enemies. Curious if I could do a little run around him, but no, the answer is no. Oh, yeah, okay. 
of you guys knowing. Yeah. Yeah, I was hoping I could get a one on one shot at him, but this guy showed up. We can try this whetstone thing. I don't know if we can put the storm stomp onto our dagger or not, but we can take a look. I also need to get my souls back from over there. All right. Ashes of War. Narmic can only have one skill. Any skill that had previously lost. And sometimes you can't do it. So this... Increases the FP cost. Affinity granted... Wait, when I gain the affinity, I can switch it to quality? Which gives it better strength scaling and a little bit worse dexterity scaling. I, can I just swap this at any time? And I can go back to Quick Step. Wow, that's okay, man. It's a lot more generous than the old Dark Souls games. Try this storm stomp out. Maybe I can use storm stomp to make them drop their shields. You keep your gear. We do keep our gear. Stab there. What kind of train you hide in the tall grass? And it works. <laughs> it works. It's an actual game mechanic. <laughs> All right. Boom, boom, boom. So if there, if there, there are some enemies back over here, including the wolfy enemy, I want to test out our storm stomp. Whoa, that hurt a lot more than I thought. Okay, here's Storm Stomp. Uh, it did not seem to do much. <laughs> Storm Stomp! Storm Stomp! Okay, it did, it did interrupt the attack there. <laughs> Storm Stomp! <laughs> stomp! Stomp! You can even have to say Booze Roda, right? Oh, God. I thought I'd get a slash in there. I did not. Storm Stomp on Spearman. Storm Stomp! Oh, he hit me with his shield. I want to pull this guy back closer to the bonfire so that I can just collect our souls and go on our merry way when I die, because I'm not going to win. If I got some burgers, burgers sound good to me. Low carb too, if you get rid of the bun. Well, let us wrap. Okay. Stop! 
Stop one. <laughs> I was gonna do two. See, I'm gonna run out of MP though. Attack, attack, attack. Stomp. Oh, jeez, the stomp did very little that time. I've only got like one or two stomps left. Okay. Okay. He fixes they mow their lawn to avoid getting stealth attacked. Makes sense. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna leave that alone for now. We got a great sword we can't use, but I did get enough souls to level up, so we might do some leveling up. We might do some leveling up. Although I'm not sure where I want to put the points. Level up. So if we push dexterity, we can do slightly more damage. Does it say my number of, uh... Slots of magic anywhere? If I can increase my FP up to 77 from 71. We can push our health up by 40-ish. Supposed to have the ability to beat the spirit dude? Um... Yes and no. <laughs> we might get more effective means later. Arcane increases our luck along with some other stuff. Yeah, dexterity barely increases our damage on our particular weapon, but it would give us the ability to equip more weapons later. I might just take some early health. Get extra 40 point of health. Give us a little bit of extra breathing room. Alright, let's 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 start with a little bit of vigor. A little bit of vigor, a little bit of extra health. Okay, and then let's go this way. I hear an interesting growl. Maybe I should have stuck with Spear Guy. These guys are still shooting at me. Oh, dear. This is new. No, no, no. No! <laughs> uh. 
Ray slaughtered. Oh. The storm's not doing anything here. I never did try. I never did try. So, does that guy come back or is it a one time enemy? Sometimes enemies like that are one time. Fix this first try, actually, but I'm out of heals. I'm out of heals, so it's not like I can go that way. I need to look at the stat explanations again. Affects focus, which... Uh, what's focus do? So let's look at these stats. Immunity. Resistance to poisons and rot. The higher the number, the lower your susceptibility. Governed by attributes as well as defensive gear. Resistance to blood loss and frostbite. The higher the number, the lower your susceptibility. Your resistance to sleep and bouts of madness. So that's focus. Vitality or resistance to death. Lower susceptibility to instant death. Someone man says, someone already beat the game? I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. It might be Breath of the Wild style where you can, like, run into the final boss right away. <laughs> All right. Endurance increases our max equip load. He only does one extra point of damage with our current weapon, but let's go ahead and put a point of dexterity. Go to 14. Did I lock that? I did. Alright, so does that beastie reappear? She wants to explore everything. Well, I don't even know where the final boss is. Okay, so it's not a one-time enemy. He does come back. So we're gonna see if our uh, stomp does anything out of curiosity. Ow. Doesn't seem like he's vulnerable to the stomp at all. Alright. So, new thing we're gonna try. What increases stamina? Uh, endurance, I believe? Yeah, endurance is linked to stamina. Alright, so this time we're gonna try to run past the giant. So he's up there. He's up there. Hey, buddies in the bushes. Oh, yeah. Jibber says I got my horse. That's true. I forgot about my horse. <laughs> Did the giant enemy leave? It seems like it may have. Sam increase endurance, max quip load. Uh, ooh, I got the war pick. Which is also a strength weapon, of course. Yeah, strength required 11. Smashy, smashy with the heavy attack is what you want. But yeah, we are lacking two strength for that. Um, can I look? Can I look at a description of the item?
Is there no weapon descriptions? Because I'm lacking the button for it. Got a golden seed, which I think is used to give us more flasks. Although I have to actually find a bonfire. There must be one nearby, yeah? From the wire X. I mean, I was thinking so. So why... Why just swaps from... These stats to those stats. That makes it unequip. That goes to the full equipment screen. There we go. Large knife with a broad curved blade. Inflicts blood loss upon the recipient. One of the, and the storm stomp is one of the skills that channels Tempest to storm veil. Stomp on the ground, kick up a momentary storm. A well-crafted straight sword with the illustrious design wielded by regulars of the Lord's Army. Though blackened and damaged by years of use, it appears to have been kept in serviceable condition despite the soldiers having long since lost their mind. Simple, highly effective weapon, the weighty piercing attack casually rips through metal armor. So, I mean, this, if I had two more strength, would probably help us beat the spear guy. Now, I can push points of strength to give us a wider variety of weapons and also work for quality builds, at least in Dark Souls. But, uh, if we want to commit to dexterity, I shouldn't really do that. I don't know if we want to commit to anything yet. Where'd they come from? Ow. Is it gonna be super relaxing to watch? Probably more relaxing to watch the play. What's wrong with Wolfie? Oh, there it is. Vanquishing any group will replenish your flask. The number of types of flasks to be replenished varies depending on any group. You cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum amount. So, uh, yeah, Jaybird says they may not explain that, but there was the explanation. All right. We run, we run, we run. We're just looking for a uh, bonfire. Here we go. Although, let's grab that first. Oh, are you somebody to talk to? I will talk to you after I get this item and sit down at the fire. A stone sword key. I just don't think it pops there in the test. Maybe people complained and they add it. Maybe. Okay, so flasks. Add charge to flask. Use a golden seed to increase your number of flask uses. Add a charge to the flask of Crimson Tears. Good. Um, I, wa I wonder. I do wonder if the if the flask if the golden seed was like the best starting item. If there's a limited number, but maybe there's just a cap. I don't know. Strength, dexterity. Endurance. Still gonna push Dex a little higher. I want to get Dex to uh, 16, because that's probably a break point for equipping certain weapons. Because that's NPC you haven't seen. They just tear it away for you. Hmm. Everyone's been grafted. Grafted. Who came with me. And she's not like undead. They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. <laughs> Only to have their arms taken. Their legs taken, even their heads. Taken. Was this the thing we fought at the start of the game? Stuck. Limbs stuck to the spider, because that seems to be the thing I got no, destroyed by. You're grafted by the spider. You become a chrysalid. It's quite a lark when you think about it. A lark? Oh, and we got her. We got her. We got her pose. We got sitting sideways. You're all on your own, are you? 
It's Jaina. <laughs> we got that Red Riding Hood Jaina thing. By the one in the white mask, I suppose. Hmm. Oh, you've come to be one with the spider? Well, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off. Or legs. Or your head. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. Did they deliberate? Did they deliberately get grafted by the spider and now she wants to? Can you take this little one along with you? You got spirit jellyfish ashes. I deserve someone braver than myself. And the spirits look rather fondly upon you. It will be glad of your company, I think, the little one. Spirit jellyfish. With a spirit calling bell, you can use ashes to summon various spirits. Summoning consumes FP. You can only summon one type of spirit at a time. You cannot summon spirits during multiplayer. So this is single player companions? Interesting. Can you, see you? Oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle, tell them I love them. And that, despite my craven heart, I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. She wants to become one with the spider. They... Alright, and that's her last line. She wants to join with the spider like the people that crossed the sea with her. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Summons jellyfish ashes. Uh, hmm. Summon Spirit Jellyfish, FP cost 31. I can't... I mean, there it is in the lower left corner, but I can't seem to use it. Oh, wait, I, I, I know why. I know why. Oh, wait, no. Do I need... Do I need a... Do I need a catalyst or something? Huh. The other I am too, apparently. Alright. There's regular rest. And here is her... Her sitting sideways rest that she gave us. We've learned to sit sideways. The ultimate upgrade. Alright, we got soldiers up there heading up to the castle. So theoretically, this counts as a group of enemies, so if I use my heals, I'll get my heals back. <laughs> theoretically. Oof, that was a bad hit. Oh, I didn't mean to drink there. I'm down to two. Oh, I got his shield. I got the brass shield. Good backstab. Good backstab. Smithing stone. Smoldering butterfly. So the brass shield needs 16 strength anyway, so I'm still glad I bought the leather shield, I suppose. Um, let's still look at the description of it. On the larger side of this medium brass shield, the face has been covered in brass, commonly employed in the shattering. Shattering of the Elden Ring, or is there a different shattering ritual related to it? Oh, I tried to check my flask and I used one, so it did recover a flask, but I used it up for no reason, because I'm still trying to remember Dark Souls controls. <laughs> There's one of these uh, 
closer waypoint. You oh, it's a crystalline thing. These have weapon upgrades. Typically, if it's what I think it is. Actually has an Ash of War Wild Strikes. I was just expecting a weapon upgrade. I got something completely different. The Shattering. <laughs> Captain Kirk is climbing a mountain. Why is he climbing the mountain? I actually want to go back to that uh, Grace place because then we can look at that new Art of War. We only had 300 souls on us, so. Ashes of War. Wait, what? Oh, so maybe that one can't be learned. Yeah, so there's Wild Strikes for the Great Sword. There's Wild Strikes for this. But the Great Knife can't actually learn the Wild Strikes, unfortunately, it looks like. Oh, and you can only apply it to one weapon at a time. Right, let's see if we can still look at it, even though we can't wield the war pick effectively. Alright, wild strikes. It just continuously drains our MP. All right. This tiny golden aura is the grace of the Earth Tree. This light once shone in the eyes of your tarnished brethren, but now it is all that guides you. Or so I hear. You can see them, can't you? The rays of grace that guide you through your burden. Upon the cliff, in Castle Stormvale, is a shard-bearer, a demigod, who inherited a fragment of the shattered Elden Ring. If the rays of grace signal the castle, then the Elden Ring beckons you. As an ally by pact, I pray that you are fit to face the challenge presented by the ring. Upon the cliff, All right, and that's her last line for the moment. Ally, pray to face the Go fight boss at castle. No. I still have the war pick equipped that we can't really effectively wield. bad. Ooh, so was that. So, we have three cho we have three flasks, now we have four, yeah, so it gave us one back, but I used two. Alright. Back up to where we got that Ash of War thing. Our souls are also up this way, but there's only 300 there. And we were again shot by something. Let's see if we can circle. Eh, I don't think we can circle around. Oh, well, I can circle around and get this person. Hello. 
Oh no! <laughs> 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 These horn bearers. was not a backstab I needed. He had no health left, but I'll take it. these jump attacks that's talking about but I don't know the difference between when they'll be effective and when they won't yet use the foos roda that's true we do still have the foos roda because I wasn't able to swap to the other thing because I'm not spider-man not yet someday I will be Yeah, we're gonna be crafting with Spider-Man Sue. That's true. It's even more direct than I was thinking. There's another smithing stone which we could use to make our knife better. I'm hoping we get some other dexterity weapon than our starting knife soon. We've gotten two strength weapons. Are you just going to watch me? Really? I mean... I was hoping I could take control of this and shoot it, but it doesn't look like I can. <laughs> We died before while I was getting that art of war. And here's a place we can rest. As we enter the castle, the much talked about castle. Let's put that next point in dexterity. Get that 16 break point. At least it's usually a break point, and we've already seen 16 strength weapons. Summon Sorcerer. Roger. Alright. Pick says who? Sorcerer Roger. He's got a big hat. Gotta call him Big Hat Roger. <laughs> go. Here we go. Ooh, a little bit of a spatter there. Of the 
emboldened by the flame of ambition. What a handsome man. I feel like she was having I'm going to suffer here. Someone must extinguish thy flame. I like my flame. Be the fell. Got a big Yoda staff. The fell omen. Okay, he's got a blade of light, which he can throw. Where's my sorcerer friend? What are you doing? He's got a tail. Oh! spells before <laughs> Sorcerer and Sam they moved the sword. Right, he started using spells right after we right after we died. <laughs> it looks like them with their dehydrated. Yeah, drink something. Like we're making the mage tank. Always a good strategy. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Alright, well. Here we go. Oh, I didn't bring my sorcerer friend back. Ah! Now, can I actually parry such a thing? <laughs> Maybe I should put my ambitions of parrying to rest. So I did zero damage that time. I'm just trying to figure out the timing on a swing. Thanks, Rick, you can parry it. Honestly, I think I could. Honestly, I think you're right that it is parryable. But, despite the fact we were able to parry the first Wolfman boss, I still don't think parrying. Purify doesn't think you can parry this. Hmm. Pretty big. Oh, shoot. I still wanted to look for our sorcerer friend. I skipped it again. Oh. Trying to figure out the timing on dodging that. It's uh, not an easy one right off the bat. Plus he's got this tail to swing at me too if I try to get behind him. I'll see how effective our shield is. It's actually not bad. I lose a bunch of stamina, but I don't lose much health. Okay. Okay, this... I'm either gonna back down, or this is gonna take more than a minute. <laughs> this is... yeah. Much bigger challenge than Wolfman. <laughs> yeah, Joyce, it looks less stilty Blade Arena right now. Yep, yep. We haven't died to a dragon yet. I said it might happen in the title, but... We took you 14 to 15 tries. I will expect it to take me more than that. <laughs>
Whoa, he has a hammer of light now. And my sorcerer friend is dead, or about to die. My sorcerer friend is dead, and now I'm dead too. Now, is he dead forever, like happens in Dark Souls, or do I get to summon him again? Isn't that play yeah, this is an NPC, but are they gone forever now? In Dark Souls, he'd be gone forever. Fortunately not. <laughs> I should bear that time. We got to we got to phase two out of it looks like three. did the thing. Our co-op friend did the thing, but I wasn't in front to do the big stab. I wanted to see if our war stomp does anything. It appears to have absolutely zero effect. do the big stab, I need to be in front of him. Here's the hammer. And I'm out of heals. Well, I'm almost halfway. And like I said, my real goal that time was just to see if our war stomp does anything. War stomp doesn't do anything. I said, why are you fighting this boss? Could <laughs> be destroy horse? As you're cheating with a summon, hey, come on. Hey, come on, he's right there. He's right there. This is not a cheat, this is jolly cooperation. Got our, we got our green eye. We got our green eye. Oh, jeez. Got stuck on some bit of geometry there. able to stab from the back that time.
to heal. He wouldn't have it. They can fall off the cliff. Some bosses you can do that. In in Sekiro for one. And in uh, and some Dark Souls bosses. Okay. Well, we are cheating with the summon, like Lyra says, but that was the best one. We got him down below a third, I believe. I was doing some decent dodge rolls at the end. I don't know if I... I think I can't enter until it says summoned. I think we have to wait for their... the summoned prompt to come up to enter. But then the health bar to show up on the right side. Or the left side. Alright. Okay, good start. Good start. Great start. Somebody said, make him go off the cliff. So that's how I died to the first boss. <laughs> the, 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 the preamble boss. All right. All right. That didn't work. <laughs> There's, oh, no. Situate, it was spatial awareness is the term. Spatial awareness is the term. All right, let's go. Let's go. Ah, I didn't get my souls. Oh, no, I did. I got my souls. No, sorcerer! They kill me. Best attempts, better than falling off the cliff. Ever talks about backstabs? Well, we can't back him until he's like staggered. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it still summoned him there. I should actually try to enter the fall gate early one time and see if it brings him in anyway. I only have 500 souls over here, but I guess I still want to grab them. I get hit by there. Oh, 
wish I could save our sorcerer friend by making the boss look at me. Oh, too early. He's not super good at this. I think he's better than me. Wait, so how do you like it so far, Steve? Currently waiting for the download. I'm loving it so far. I really am. The It just, it controls so well. I keep saying it, but Dark Souls 1 frustrates me with the responses and the controls. The controls are very responsive. Every mistake that's happening is my fault. It's never the game's fault. It's never the jank of, you know, oh, that, that, the movement is bad. No, the movement's perfect. The movement's perfect. Oh, I forgot to summon Roger. Well, here's how, here's how well I can do on my own, which is the answer is not very well. I could just abandon. Oh, jeez. Like, I could just abandon our 500 souls so we have to stop grabbing them every time, but. Yeah, the tail. I attack new? He does that with the hammer later, but... Ah. <laughs> I'm just rolling, 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 because I don't know where the, where the hit is going to happen. Tried to drink mid hits, which is not a great idea typically. Actually, you can see how much we've improved. You can see how much we've improved. When that was that without the summon, we got more than halfway down. Barely. As for all the hype about the open world games, there's a plenty of linear progression from the streams you've watched. Yeah, no, I, uh, th that's the thing. I mean, even Dark Souls 1 and 3, there are more corridors. There's a lot less, you know, open plains. You know, the, the idea here is that we've got this open plains area, which is not very common in Dark Souls overall. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, one of the big things about Dark Souls 1 and 3, less so in 2, um, is that all the areas are connected anyway. There, there like, aren't any load screens, except for one, <laughs> in Dark Souls. Um, so it, it, it is, it is strange to me, honestly, the amount of playing up the open world thing. But it, it is big enough, it is big enough that you need a horse, <laughs> which uh, is not a thing in any of the previous ones. It's a hero thing for sure, but you know, that was a really bad hit for us. Oh, I'm gonna get hit there. Gonna get hit real bad there. Healing way too early on this attempt. Doing real bad. Doing worse than I was on my own. <laughs> I wish you could actually hit him when he was down like that, but he becomes immune for a period of time. Oh, I 
god, I ain't fail. Right, Jimmy there's lots of side stuff I could have done instead of going right to the castle. Fair enough. We did the little wolf den. I just don't see what the game it brings to the game. Ah, I, I think it's, you know, the type of thing Jaybird is saying, and I have fatality, is that essentially it gives the idea of, okay, here's the big thing, here's the dungeon, but maybe there's an item over here, and maybe there's a sword over here, instead of, you know, Dark Souls would be like, okay, here's this, and then right next to this is another dungeon area, and another dungeon area without the planes. So it kind of gives these open areas where you can, uh, you can poke around and level up a bit and collect some items. Um, but like I said, yeah, I, I, I would agree that it is not <laughs> uh, the most substantive thing. Way too far away from him to hit me, but he's gonna turn and hit the sorcerer. Oh, wait, what? Can I do that? Somebody said constant backstabs. I didn't think I could get a backstab in that type of situation. So, wait, what, what opened up the. <laughs> What opened up the ability to backstab there? Because he wasn't in a mid-combat animation, or... Well, there I did it again. Pure person, I knew it. Well... <laughs> Pure person was them. Well, how did I not do this before, and now suddenly I am? Ow. I could back off and get another heal. I still had two left. Yeah, I can only use back steps that are undamaged, like in the hearth zone, right? Ugh. Okay, here. I want. Let's, let's test that thing I was talking about. If I use the summon sign and then immediately pass through the fog gate. Does it cancel the summon, or do we still get them? Oh, it looks like we may still get them. Alright, so that's good to know. We can save some time. Oof. Using his little lightning blade more than usual. Really bad with the tail whips. This is a bad attempt. Oh man, this is a horrible attempt. <laughs> I'm curious about the backstab timing and now I'm missing everything up. Doing more of the tail whip. Alright, this is a dud attempt. I'm already out of heals. The death tail whips most other attack patterns. <laughs> uh, it's true. Really bad one. Really, really bad one. I was still complaining about the open world idea. Well, you know.
I, I don't got much more to say about it again. It adds the ability to do some side stuff more easily than the traditional Dark Souls map structure. Or is it never give up? I, I don't think I'm gonna give up on this boss. I think we're just gonna keep going until we win, even if it takes four hours. Oh, shoot. That one, it's such a basic attack, but it's so fast that it gets me. He's, it's, it's good, right? He's got this mix of really slow staff attacks and these really fast ones to throw you off. Well, I can't pause. You can't pause in a Souls game. But I just lost chat. I'll get that back after this attempt. Oh. There, I got the backstab thing, but again, I am not fully understanding the timing on that. Am I not fully? I mean, not at all. I think that was a completely new attack that we've never seen. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Want to heal left after this one. Now that's a faster staff attack. That's the big hammer, which I got hit by. No! <laughs> it's okay, I got it, but I was mistiming it at first. All right, well, I'm out. I'm out. All right, let me see if I can get chat back. What happened there? Maybe there's an actual person up here an NPC. This is an NPC. We could summon an actual person and things would probably be easier than the NPC, but uh, I, I, I don't... I, I think we're going to try to stick to the in-game mechanics as much as we can. This is where we chat. Now I can see chat again. I, I'm not sure if I missed any chat while it was down for a second. dodge the tail whip for once. I need to figure out the startup animation on the tail whip more, though. Ah, I got hit there. And there. Let's try to back off. <laughs> See, that's where I expected I would be able to get the backstab, but I didn't, so... I have no idea how these backstabs work. Ah, too, too early on the dodge against the big hammer. Did he... Did he use the sword and the hammer at the same time, or am I crazy? I'm probably crazy. This is the lowest we've got him. I'm out of heals. And the sorcerer's down. Ah, 
too early. Closest I've gone. Closest I've gone. Hey, that's a nice try. That's, that's the best one so far. That's the best one so far. Again, pretty close. But yeah, Jaybird says, you have nothing upgraded. Please go explore. We could leave. We could totally leave. Because of the fast travel system, I could teleport right out and look for stuff over here, look for stuff over here. We could blacksmith up the dagger because uh, the, they are free dropping. Go get your spirit summon at least. The spe Oh, oh, the, j the jellyfish thing? Can I use the jellyfish thing at the same time as spirit Spiritelagie? I wonder. Yeah, I don't know where I get the item for the jellyfish thing. Right near the cliff, there's a high chance I'm just gonna die to going off the cliff again. Oh shoot, I'm not locked on. I can't see his attacks. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, I lost the lock on again. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, I knew it. That was going super well. I had all my heals. There's any fire damage. I mean, I can craft fire bombs, but they're one-time use. Tell where you bought the crafting kit. There's a new NPC there, says Jaybird. Oh, interesting. Is his tail's weakness? Ah, oh, I mean, he has a tail whip, but just being behind him in general was pretty good. He has less attacks. A hit behind him. <laughs> I forgot to summon the sorcerer. Oh, well, let's see how we do what we do on our own. Not very well. <laughs> Holy cow! Just play like me, stubborn. Well, I've, I've got him down. I've got him down to like 25% health. You know, I know we can do it. And the fight is not frustrating me yet. It's really not. Maybe frustrating you, but... It's not frustrating me. But yeah, uh, we we maybe if, if we fail, I don't know, two more times, I'll check out the fire thing and see if we can look at the jellyfish. Ah, oh, there's the tail whip. I'm trying to roll out, but too late. All right, very bad start. I mean, honestly, I should just throw this one away. No damage with two heals. Fix and Joy is watching the save fails, right. <laughs> cool. There's the tail whip. I'm still having trouble identifying it. Oh, hello. That was fast. I'm almost out of heals. This is one of my worst attempts. Not as bad as the last one, actually, but not good. Come on, do the stab. Do the stab. <laughs> so now he's gonna bust out the hammer. Ah, too early. Steel. Let's do what we can, if anything. Not much. 
last. All right, we'll try one more. We'll try one more. And then uh, we'll go check out what Jaybird's talking about back at the merchant spot. But I'm not going to have any souls, so <laughs> if it's something to buy, I'll have to go kill some groups of enemies anyway. You try to do this and let Roger DPS. Well, I mean, I'm you can I'm right on him for the most part, right? But he's uh, often choosing to attack Roger anyway. So unless there's a way for me to actually like taunt, <laughs> my options are somewhat limited there. I mean, this attempt so far is doing kind of what you want. Ah, the sword. I'm trying to look for the tail whip startup. So there it is. He, he leans back into the left. So we need a paladin bubble. 10 seconds of immunity, although your DPS goes down. Oof. Oh, he's going after Roger real bad now. Now I get a tail whip. Oh, oh no. By this boss's hammer, by the sun of Solaire, you will be avenged. Or not. Ah, I'm just trying to back off the heel. I couldn't do it. All right. We'll look at the fire real quick. I mean, we're pretty close. We're pretty close. But let's look at the fire real quick. Are you playing this on PC? I'm playing this on PC. Yes. I went back and forth. I'm using a PlayStation controller. I'm using a PlayStation controller, but uh, I'm playing on PC. I went back and forth on which version I wanted. Ended up trusting the PC. All right, so... All right, we'll take a look at that vendor. But I, like I said, I'm going to have to go fight something, probably. <laughs> I keep reading the subtitles even after you're in lines a bunch. May I have a word? All right, hello. So it looks like she teaches magic. Pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. She's got blue skin. I am the witch, Rena. Rena. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. Oh, she likes her horse. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? Excellent. Call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. I can call the spectral steed. I cannot call. Fine. Sure. I had hoped. Why would I lie to her? I entrusted this for thee. By Torrent's former master. Oh, she's got four hands. <laughs> Spirit calling Bale. Lone wolf ashes. Oh, sorry for the jellyfish. Now I got wolves too. Summon them with it. From ash and return. Too many hands. I didn't even notice until she <laughs> tried to hand the something. But briefly, as they recall battles past, now it is thine to do with as thou wishest. Forgive mine intrusion, Tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. Hmm. But all the same, learn well the lands between. You have a kind of fancy character model if we're not going to meet again. Before the Tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers. Oh, okay. Big hat ran and gone. All right, so I did what Jaybird said. <laughs> that type of tip I don't mind. You know, don't, you know. Well, you're back. There's e it's easy to go too far in saying things. Oh, yeah, let's look at the cell screen. Because I've got a bunch of extra helmets, right? 
Yeah, so they sell for a hundred each. Goodbye. I sold one. Because, I mean, we're going to go right back to fighting that boss. Tarnish Tavern Trekking to Tear Tire Together. Hmm. Ox is interesting art style in this game. Yeah, it, it's the Dark Souls art style, but, you know, with better fidelity on the characters. They look less mushy. They look less mushy. Okay, so let's try to check out the spirit calling bell we got. So here's the wolves. Which require more to summon than the jellyfish. I need to figure out how this system works, though. Bell that summons various spirits from fallen ashes. Right. Oh, yeah, here's the map thing, isn't it? Um, why can't I use the crafting uh, thing right now? Oh, it's here. <laughs> yeah, there's the fire pots I can make, but I mean, one time use. Uh, so there's the spirit jellyfish. So what am I missing in terms of how the summons work? I've got the bell. I've got the actual summoning item. So how do we do this? I don't, I don't equip it like a weapon. What's the step I'm missing to do, like, the spirit jellyfish summoning? Maybe I can look at the description of... Uh, floating spirit that illuminates its surroundings, prone to tears, the jellyfish searches for a distant home, will bravely sue poison at foams on the summoner's behalf. Seems his name is Aurelia. Spirit wolves chase from their pack. They later encountered an animal's tar. She welcomed his hunting companions. They leap with agility. But what what do I need to summon? <laughs> I'm missing something here as far as the summoning goes. They are capable of summoning various spirits from ash and remains. From ash and remains. It generally requires FP to use. Spirits can only be summoned in the vicinity of a rebirth monument. When something is possible, the monument can be briefly visible on the left side of the screen. Okay, Rebirth Monument. Only once a pursuit it may summon it once. So, uh, okay, so I need a Rebirth Monument, which... Does, is this a Rebirth Monument? No? Hmm. I'm still not sure how the spirit summoning works. Oh, wait, now I can do it. Wolfies. I am now Thrall. Speed, yeah.
Ah, he didn't do the hammer jump. So can we do the summon once per fight? I don't have the summon sign anymore. Ow! Oh, I don't have enough FP. I'm out of FP, that's why. So if I had an FP flask, I could try to do it again. Wow, he can knock over the tree? <laughs> now oh, stamina, I'm gonna die. So can we do once a fight? I don't think you can. I think it's the fact that I ran out of FP, actually. Let's go chain gangs and said need some taunts. Consider the fire potions. Look super flammable, but I only have enough crafting materials for a single fire potion. And so they were the PC version through GameStop. I haven't heard or received anything yet. Ah, uh, maybe should have gone through Steam. Could have had preloaded by now. Yeah. It still took almost like an hour to decrypt for me after I preloaded it. But, uh, but still, we're here. All right, let's try the jellyfish this time. Let's try the jellyfish. Ah! <laughs> There's the jellyfish. It's a lot bigger than I expected, but I got wrecked while summoning it. Ow. So it seems to spit the poison at really long range. That's the tail whip. I properly identified it for once. Ow, 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 ow. Good job. Good job, Roger. Good job, Roger. I don't know. I, I don't know if I have time to do the stab, but man, Roger is doing the stagger. Now he's dead. Now he's dead, but my jellyfish is still alive. That's the tail whip. Oh, do the big hammer jump. I like the big hammer jump. Shoot, that's my last deal. I thought I had two more. Ah, I know it's a tail whip. It was too late, though. Dang, I'm wrecked. He's almost down. All right, this is the way. This is the way. Jellyfish is the way. Jellyfish got him, right? Jellyfish is the way. Jellyfish is the way. More so than wolves. Ah, we got it. We get.
He says, oh, no, 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 this is a bit of a now, now. Now we got, like, this full Final Fantasy party. We got our jellyfish, we got our sorcerer, we got me being bad. I truly am the Waka of this party. He says, that was nice, man. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Wasn't as bad as last time. Yeah, that seems like you need a stronger weapon. I mean, I can totally enhance this one. I was hoping to get a second dexterity weapon before I start smithing. But yeah, I'm sure it would help me here. Get out of the corner. I don't want to approach you in the corner because I'll fall off the cliff. <laughs> wow, early stagger. Early stagger. I'm getting better at identifying the tail whip. That's the tail whip. Oh, dang, he turned around. I just crouched. I was trying to sprint. Do the big leap. Do the big leap. I like the big leap. So the jellyfish is down. Can we, in fact, resummon it? <laughs> For a second, the jellyfish was lit up, but now it's not. Is it once per fight, or...? <gasps> oh, I know what happened. I'm too far away from the door. No. I still think I can summon the jellyfish more than once. But I'm not sure. It was lit up as the jellyfish was dying, but when the jellyfish died, I couldn't do it again. I've got a limited amount of FP. I don't know. I still don't know. I'm learning. Yeah, skin suggests something the jellyfish in the center of the arena. It might help keep him out of that corner. I'm blaming the jellyfish for that one. I had a tough time seeing. Wow, okay, that was bad. I've been doing so much better, and that was bad. One thing I'm wondering is if I can summon the jellyfish twice, do I want one magic healing uh, flask? Jim's <laughs> Lith. He must win. He must win. Ah, I'm just gonna summon Jellyfish here. I wish we could slash him there, but he's immune to damage.
Okay, I need to get out of here. I'm dead. This could be the one. I'm gonna get wrecked. the tail whip. But I didn't dodge at the right time. Sorcerer friend is down. He survived much longer than usual. I'm not close enough. No. No! <laughs> the talisman pouch. He's the the king, the king jellyfish. Hail the tents of the end. Yeah, I thought, I thought he was gonna get me. That's the talisman pouch. What is the talisman pouch? What is the talisman pouch? <laughs> not see the talisman pouch at all. Next to the cracked pot, was it? You're right. Increases talisman equipped slots. Oh, we've got that talisman of flame, huh? This is the talisman pouch is a lie. No, no, it's there. Still want a new dexterity weapon. But we got 9,000 souls. Oh, hello. Forgive me. I've been testing you to see whether or not Grace truly does guide you. But only the jellyfish guides me. Whether you are fit to face the challenge that entails. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start, whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the Round Table Hold. We did hear about the Round Table Hold. Of tarnished champions. Guided by Grace. I'll go too, is the only option. My hand rest upon you for but a moment. Table hold. Place for Tarnish Gather Guy by Grace. Combat is prohibited on premises due to a pact of non aggression. This locate outside this world that can only reach through the sights of Grace. Can also be accessed through the map to travel. There's a bunch of swords in the middle. Oh, I see you've just arrived. Welcome to the Round Table Hold. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. And a man of the incantations thing around your head the strength granted us by the two fingers which was available for the prophets explore the secrets of the golden order 
so that one day, if a tarnished of the Round Table Hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them, ensuring order regains its proper form. Heard someone about this game, feel like I'm gonna suck and regret. None of such games are at some point. You get less than 90 seconds per turn. The guidance of grace. I do see the golden light. Wonderful news. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. You are something of a rare breed. Well, what do you say? Care to learn an incantation of the two fingers? Is this magic? Or faith? Study incantations. Heals a small amount of HP for 16 FP. Heals HP for yourself and nearby allies. Do I include my jellyfish? I need two more faith for that. Here, poison buildup. Increase magic damage negation. Increase fire damage negation. Produce a shockwave that pushes away foes. Momentarily spark flames from your hand. Throw a ball of raging fire. And I mean, this is a faith fire, though. I guess I can wag wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I would certainly at least take a peel a small amount of HP not linked to our flasks. I'd certainly take that at least. I could take the catch flame. I need two more faith for the flame sling. I guess we'll try catch flame too. May the golden further study. I can happily spare the time. Applaud your enthusiasm. But there should also be a separate magic system. Oh, this is a rare occasion. I that like your helmet. It's kind of owl-looking. Tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. Then why are you still wearing armor? Allow me a word of advice. As your senior. As far in the game are you? We've beat like two bosses. A small boss and a big boss. A house guest. Yet to earn their keep. Remember your place, newcomer. There's no Nope. There's nothing. There's nothing to see. Not at the moment. We can go out that way. Is there a regular magic vendor here though? Do you know regular magic? Ah, hello. You must be new here. I'm well, just call me Dialos. The Alos. One's house holds little import in these lands. By the way, have you met a young woman named Lanya on your travels? I don't think so. Servant, but fickle as the wind. Take your eyes off her for but a moment and she's good as gone. If you find her, please be sure to tell me. Be sure to tell me if you meet a young woman. That she's a servant to my... She's been right. my companion. I've lost count of the number of times I've... Honestly. He's lost her. Suits of armor. Oh, here's blacksmith. Oh, and it's, it's he's bungled up. <laughs> Your new face. Quarreled. No matter. It's all the same. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. Oh, Ash of War duplication, but you need something to duplicate. Got the chain on your legs. So you've noticed the chains. Nothing special. Vitaly recognizes. <laughs> These are my chains. I'm trapped by the hold. I'm dying smithing for you fools. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Huh. So he's a prisoner of the tarnished. You're a prisoner? Uh, don't read too much into it. Hmm? No grudge against you. Oh, yeah? My being a prisoner is no fault of it's yours. It's really fun. Are you taking off? Well, I mind smithing. Yeah, this is just like the it's Firelink uh, shrine. Weapons get stronger all the same. Even time. Technique never fails. Besides, it helps me forget. The sheer terror of her. I might still go fight, but go fight the horse. So yeah, again, I could strengthen my little knife, but I want a different dexterity weapon. I, I want to strengthen, like, the first dexterity weapon that shows up. <laughs> Besides this knife. 
Everybody's taking off, so good job on the boss. I appreciate it. <laughs> I think it was mostly the jellyfish, though. Called by grace, I am Fia. Fia. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the round table hold. Great champion, would you allow me to hold you? But briefly. Uh oh, I don't have the mature content flag on. Me some of your lively vigor and your stout heartedness. Doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion. And you, I am sure, will bear a Baldekin's blessing. Baldekin's blessing? Darker, perhaps. Where I come from, it is a sacred act. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what this does. I don't know what this does. I don't have the mature content flag on, but it's a warning. Ah, oh, my thanks, great champion. Oh, lewd. So lewd. You are very warm. What's this? What's turn? But there's no turn. Baldekin's blessing. The light up inside you was a Baldekin's blessing. Though it is but a fleeting thing, I am afraid. Come back to me, should you require another. I will take you in my arms as often as you need. So I guess it's a. It could be a one time full heal, but if you use it, you gotta come back here. Just gonna look. I am pleased to see you. Would you like me to hold the blessing is still a flame in your breast, dear? Would you like to be held? Regardless? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> that's nice that you can still do the animation, even if you haven't used the blessing. Use FP to temporarily boost poise, but yeah, it's marked as a consumable. Okay, I need to figure out... Oh, right, it's at the bonfire. Like, I need to figure out where we equip our magic. This is nice to get a hug, right? Okay, we can come down here. It looks like a door, but I can't open it. Nobody's down here for the moment, maybe later. Oh, there's a fog gate, though. Okay, so I can't go in there right now. Oh, oh, it, it's, uh... It's locked by a key. Alright, well, I'll use my one key. Oh, and then there's another one here. I don't think I have another key. What's this, though? A black key great bow with black key bolts. Yeah, I'm out of keys. Uh, the Black Key Great Bow requires 14 strength, though. That's five more strength than we got. Hmm. Hmm. Regrets. <laughs> well, I'll probably get, uh... You know, if I get another key, I can open up that next door. Maybe there's something through there I can use. But yeah, we keep getting strength stuff. Not getting any dexterity stuff. How about you? What do you want gesture obtained? And I cannot talk to them again. <laughs> So I can mimic their pose, and that's it. Oh, you're creepy. Twin maiden husks. So they're just dead. Offer a bell blessing. No bell to offer. Purchase. Grants the blessing of an equipped great rune on use. But I don't know what a great rune is. When invaded, request the aid of a hunter. 
answers requests for summoning from hunters, so you could go help people there getting invaded. Increases memory slots, so I could hold more spells. Oh, look, it's a stone sword. It's the keys. So for 4,000 souls, I can buy a key and I could open that next door. Battle axe, scimitar. So scimitar is uh, 13 decks with some strength and has a spinning slash. The rapier is, requires less dexterity, but it scales better with dexterity in the long run. Plus, it has more crit. Longsword is a mix, and then we've got the dagger, the mace, the short spear, the longbow, the finger seal. A sacred seal bestowed by a finger man, which serves as a catalyst for casting sacred incantations. Incantations are first memorized, this I have grace, and then a sacred seal must be equipped to cast them. A heater shield, the night set. Take on the appearance of a cooperator. Take on the appearance of a host of fingers. So yeah, you can make yourself look like a helper, and then you can backstab the player you come in to come into their world. <laughs> I need two more points of faith for the finger seal. All right. Well, let's buy the rapier. Which is better in pretty much every way to our dagger, except it doesn't do the bleed thing. It doesn't do the bleed thing, and its dexterity scaling is slightly lower. But it does more damage, and it has more crit. But I can't swing it here because it's in the cooperative area. All right. Well, so I got some faith spells, but I feel like there should also be... Look at our status. So, I mean, there is a magic stat. Your defense power and damage magical attacks... Mine determines FP... So, uh, intelligence. Boost the magic power. Uh, there, intelligence scaling sorceries. Right, so there's sorceries and faith scaling incantations. So, yeah. Alright. So how do I leave? <laughs> we know we're here. How do we leave? Door is blocked shut. There we go. There we go. Lang says, what goes here? A, a pony top. <laughs> Which is one of the first Pokemon I caught. Song of Escape. That would do it in, in Lost Dark. All right, so here's the rapier. Probably very ineffective against shields, but a longer range than the dagger. We got that. And then we've got... If I go two-handed... Then we've got this. Okay, so look at the castle. Got the tree over there. It's pretty. Oh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Right, right. Like, am I looking at someone specific? Just looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Where do you learn all the moves? So well, this move came with the. Uh, it came with the rapier by default. But uh, yeah, we we found a little like wandering crystal lizard thing that did give us one extra move. We got this war stomp. Yeah, point <laughs> yeah, point toss says legs as they catch a single point toss. There's memorized spell. So we get the urgent heal and the catch flame, both of which are probably very weak.
I might put two points in the faith. Because can I actually even cast these? Hold on, wait, which, way, which band would I even use for casting sorceries? If I could use them. Right, I would have to switch to my faith casting thing, which I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> because I wasn't high enough level for it. Okay, wait, so let's put two points in the faith. So we can try some faith stuff. But that means I need to go back to where we just were. I need to go back to the round table thing and buy... I need to buy the faith casting catalyst or seal or whatever they called it. Alright, so it's the first Dark Souls game, so you're like lost. Yeah, there's a lot of mechanics to learn for sure. It is helping me out big time. Like, I know I know that I need to go get this Catalyst thing, because I've played previous Souls games. I didn't go into this room, did I? Uh, what do you need? I have little time to spare. So this is the old guy with the cane? What do you mean I'm a house guest? Are you aggrieved? At the notion you were but a visitant here. Then you visitant. Well to remember. The first words of grace given to you. Stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. I think it's a little early for that. Words held any meaning to you. Follow the guidance of grace. Lay low the shard bearers and claim for yourself a great rune. I don't have a great rune yet. And the doors to the round tables in the chamber will open and you will receive the wisdom of the two fingers. Okay. Once the wisdom of the two fingers becomes your own, I'll impart to you a proper welcome. Okay. As a true member of the round table, I have high hopes for you. I appreciate that. I'm tired of them. These Nambi Pambi Tinys think us no more than a shelter from the rain. We've spoken long enough. If Sermite somehow gives you a sword, we kill him. Dark Souls had... Uh, Dark Souls did have Silver Knights, but they also had the Black Knights. Alright, let's buy... That Finger Seal that should let us cast... Faith Stuff. Equipment... So there's our finger seal. So now we've got the finger seal in that hand, which lets me do the urgent heal, but not the catch flame. Maybe just because we're in the cooperative area. So there's the urgent heal. There's the urgent heal. Looks quite pretty on the ground. I'm thinking I can't cast the other one just because it's offensive. Wanted to look now, though. At this. So now we have enough faith to also do the flame sling instead of just the catch fire. May the golden orb. We have to figure out how much I enjoy casting magic to see how we want to distribute our stats going forward. Alright, I'll do one more thing that's a little debatable. Because I don't know if I'm going to like magic. I'm going to spend 3,000 souls on the memory stone. Because that is a seemingly permanent increase to how many magic spells we can learn at a time. So now we have three instead of two. Hopefully a good investment. But yeah, if you, if you have questions, Arist, I am not a Dark Souls expert, but I've beat two of them. Okay, so now we need to rest and learn that third spell. I might want to get uh, one magic flask instead of zero. Okay, memorize spell. And then we got that third slot, so we can do flame sling. 
we don't have enough points for level up because I spent all our points on learning magic in the first place. So let's take a look at this. So here's Catch Flame. So it's just a very short distance fire. And then here is Flame Sling. So that's our core magic spell. And we will see how much we enjoy that. If I enjoy using the magic, we can start putting our stats in that direction and try to get intelligence or faith scaling weapons. Or, or intelligence, yeah, we could go, instead of faith, we could go with sorcery when we unlock it. But, uh, yeah, I need to determine. Determine what we want to do. Ooh, you're creepy, too. You're, you're tarnished. Oh, so is this the sorcery guy? I would advise against Force blader. the main gate into the castle. It's tightly guarded by hardened old hands. Uh-huh. Oh, tr tr try the opening right here. The guards don't know about it. You breach the castle undetected. <laughs> Now I use the main gate. Uh, yes, that's the spirit. I think I trust this You're guy, despite him looking creepy. That I like. I pray for your success. <laughs> Ash doesn't trust this guy. There are untrusted worthy characters in Dark Souls. Use that opening the guards. Alright, I was wondering if maybe he was a sorcery guy with that thing around his neck. I pray. Because we still have not seen any sorceries, just faith stuff. Golden rune, just some souls. What? Ruin fragment. I want to say again, boy, the movement in this game feels really good compared to some of the older Souls games. <laughs> and just jumping is weird, because you can't do that. Can memorize sorceries and incantations, sites of grace, which we just did all this stuff. You have staff to equipped to cast sorceries or sacred seal to cast incantations. You can do it. Hello. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Jeez. Oh no, I'm just gonna lose this bird. <laughs> It's got blade legs, though. It's got blade legs. Do you see those? Who did that to it? Does that bird have a sword strapped to it? It does. I guess that's just your s s faith tutorial, because we get right to another bonfire really quick. Legs are awesome. Best hand so far. Mm, Alright, so obviously we want to go over that way. But can I jump up this high? No. I didn't think so. Some practicality, some sword sheet. Hard to land anywhere. Hard to land anywhere for sure. Oh, jeez, I equipped my sword. Hello. Marred leather shield. shield uh causes blood loss buildup presumably to the opponent so it's just a, a so it, it doesn't have parry you exchange parry for the ability to uh make enemies bleed when they hit you so there it is there it is with the thorns on it but can't parry it can't parry instead i just oh yeah except so because it doesn't have a parry, I can actually use my weapon art while it's equipped, which I can't do with the parrying sword. So if you prefer the weapon art, well then this is a big upgrade. Oh 
golden runes. Huh, so these look like that guy we just talked to. What CPU and GPU are you on? We're on a uh, 20, 2080, not like a 3090, but a 2080. And uh, CPU? I couldn't tell you offhand. It was the one that was most popular like three years ago. Told they were suspicious, eh? Might be right. Book claws. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You won't be X-Man, right? Book claws. Weapon worn on the fist comprised of sharp parallel blades favor those who lurk in the dark. Last race is called blood loss with great effect. Claw weapons come in pairs. And two handing this weapon will Ah two handing this weapon will come with both hands, you do become Wolverine. Uh quick step. So it's got the quick step like our dagger did by default. So there's one handed Wolverine claw. And here's actual become Wolverine. Interesting. Uh, oops. And I clipped them. I just wanted to look at, uh... So they actually do require higher dexterity than the rapier we just bought. They do ever so slightly less damage than the rapier. And they guard a little less if we try to block with it somehow. Um... Interesting. Hmm. It says, what's the glowing dot sometimes in the middle of enemies? Uh, that means I'm, I'm locked on, like in Zelda. It's just a lock on, so I keep looking in their direction. Missed Eagle. I'm sorry, I missed you, Deagle, uh, for two minutes. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't know if I've heard it. Do these barrels explode? They look a little suspicious. Ah! They do explode. Ah, shoot, I can't throw quite that high. I said we'd have died there. <laughs> Smoldering blood of butterfly, which you can use to craft the uh, the flame grenade things. Whoa, there's more explosive barrels. Say that door looks locked for sure. Throwing daggers. I guess I'm gonna drink a heal before we go charging into here. Another one up there, it looks like. Uh oh! What the? Come on!
Ooh. I guess that guy betrayed me, I think. Oh, dear. <laughs> so, grip he's getting charged out of nowhere. I'm glad I spent most of my souls before we came in there. Yeah, but, yeah, nowhere. Uh, here's our rape here. We got the claws too, but let's try this. Two, two, yep, yep, yep. It was still enough to alert him, it looked like. Maybe they just saw me. Did I actually run down this way? Yeah, I did. There, there was the big uh, axe enemy over there. Here's the two people who are flames. Tried to do a little push on me, but it didn't really do anything. All right, well, are we gonna fight that Black Knight again? Maybe. Like, what is even attacking me? Hmm. I still hear somebody else, too. Am I ready for that Black Knight thing? I doubt it. Oh, except it, it only does the trick one time. It doesn't repeat the animation. I say we know that guy's in here now, though. chest in there. I want to know what's in it. I was going to say that person is a little better equipped than the others. Yeah. Okay, sorry, the boss just killed you. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Bed with 42 months of sub. The meaning of life. The universe and everything. I very much appreciate it is... Maybe safer with your support, although I mean we're playing we're playing effectively a Souls game, so it's not very safe. Not very safe at all. Ooh, I didn't even see the windblade attacks before, did I? Thank you very much, Thaddy. Hope you're doing great. Ah! 
Claws definitely seem better suited to fighting multiple enemies. Sure, Claws are pretty cool. Ah, uh, Shredder. Yeah, see, we were... We were talking, uh... Wolverine. Wolverine from X-Men. Yeah, that works too. Helmet's giving Shredder vibes too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got the guts of silver and it's got the rim, sure. Alright, maybe I do like the Wolverine claws better than the rapier. I spent a thousand souls on that rapier, though. Oh, shoot. All right, am I ready for the Black Knight? No. All right, what I could do? I could... Heal up with that. Stuck on the door. <laughs> I'm not too proud to exploit geometry. I want to get the last hit in legit, but maybe I should have no pride at all. Oh, you can't just glitch bosses. I can. I get the Banished Knight's Greaves. Banished Knight, not the Black Knights, the Banished Knights. So the problem with these Greaves is they put us to a heavy load. They have a lot more defense than our current bandit boots, but they put us on heavy load. Now, I might be able to, like, remove our shield and the rapier. Yeah, now we're back to medium load. I got no shield on, but we can put on the, the heavy greaves and still have a good roll. Oh, and let's actually show this, because we haven't talked about this. So if I put back on the shield... And the rapier. Now when we dodge, we do this. We do that. We get this heavy roll, which is slow, and it doesn't go far. And that's a pretty bad thing in a game where you want to roll a lot. So I would recommend staying off the heavy roll if you can, because this is much nicer to use. Yeah, <laughs> just so we get the duck feet on. Hmm. A rusty key. Oh, we did see that locked door earlier. There was also a chest over here, though. I hope it's a real chest and not a mimic. That'd be mean. Curved Sword Talisman. We have a talisman slot available. Enhances guard counters, so when we block with a shield and we hit back, um, we do more damage. Now, I can still equip that and stay on medium load, but we're not really doing guard counters at the moment. In fact, I unequipped my shield. How's the game feel safe? More Souls game goods here? Oh, it's way... This is Dark Souls 4. This is Dark Souls 4. Every mechanic is Dark Souls. <laughs> uh, this is definitely Dark Souls 4. Um, 
But, you know, it feels good. It feels good. And there, there is a little bit of a stealth mechanic, more so than Dark Souls. So there's a little bit of Sekiro in there, and you've got a horse. But it's Dark Souls 4. Yeah, now with jumping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, look at that. There's our jump attack with the claws, which is cooler than our jump attack with the, uh, the shred. Uh, what happens if we try the rapier jump attack? Okay. You just come down like that. No more invincible dodge roll anymore, I heard? Oh, you heard wrong. No, there's definitely iframes in the roll I've been using against every boss. Nah, no, I, I... No, no. There's still iframes. There's still iframes, 99% sure. Sekiro doesn't have that, but this does. Essentially what they were saying. Yeah, I don't know if anything's changed about the rolling. It feels the same to me. There's an item up there, but I don't... I don't know how we'd get to it. And I don't see how to get to that upper level from here. Oh, there's an item there, though. St. Trina's Arrow. Ooh, and hello. I see you, too. Look at that arrow, just because I want to know who St. Trina is. Bolts used in the Black Crossbow. They bore deep. St. Trina's Arrow. Carved to resemble a water lily. Afflicts targets with a powerful sleep effect. Use these arrows to spread their chi. The, the priests of St. Trina use these arrows to spread their teachings. The sweet oblivion of sleep can become quite the habit. They make people into drug acts, huh? Lock room of the... Yeah, I think so, but... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Ah, oh, these have some firebombs too. Oh, what? Anybody else coming down this ladder? Anybody else coming down this ladder? <laughs> There's a good making people sleep sometime better. That's true. Okay, so here's how we get to the upper level. So now... Oh no, this is not the upper level. This is not the upper level. I'm wrong. This is where we fought the Black Knight guy. But there's the door that I think we unlock. And I'm right. There's the rusty key. Fine, fine, fine. Hoping there's a bonfire nearby. Well, yeah, in face is uh, jumping open some traversal fun. What? So here's one of the items we saw. Fire Grease. Does that just apply fire to your weapon for a temporary time period? Coats are and inflicting fire damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in most of these games. But can't get up there. Ah, I can go this way, maybe?
Oh, I did. That's fine, actually, but. faith. I'm out of faith. And there was an item I missed back there, by the way, and I know it. Brick hammer. Now, that's not gonna be a dexterity weapon. I can pretty much promise you. <laughs> Requires 31 strength. Weapon made from an ordinary stone brick. <laughs> Wielded by a laborer who led a rebellion and later became a champion themselves. Even among other bludgeons of size, this weapon is especially weighty. The strength of a giant is required to wield it. Let loose a bestial roar to rally the spirit and, atta and increase attack power. While active, strong attacks charge to change to savage combo attacks. The I mean, yeah, brick, yes, if you want to do a strength build... There's a weapon for you. Alright. So this is actually the weapon. Or this is the item I was saying I missed. But I thought we had to get to it a different way. Got a big statue over out there. Yeah. Not taking that drop, I suppose. Where are we going? What? Yeah, I thought we had to drop there and walk across and go across there, but no, we already found that. Oh, I didn't... Hmm, I didn't get there. But I don't think we access that from outside. Hold on, let's double check. Quit. No. I'm not making that jump. Oh, speaking of jumps. <laughs> I'm trying try to remember where where I go to get back up there. We gotta go back through the locked door, yeah? Don't I? Ooh. Oh yeah, there's the axe enemy. I never killed him on this run around. You have a torch. We actually do have a torch. I've never equipped it. <laughs> I thought we had a torch, but maybe not. Is it listed in a different section of the inventory? I thought we had a torch, but maybe not. I thought we had one, but I don't see it anywhere. There were two possible directions of glare in this room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I hear a rat. Okay, so... This is the direction we went. Let's go this way. It's a common trick, but it's a mean trick. <gasps> now we gotta redo that area. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna take a three minute break. All right, be right back. Be right back in three minutes.
All right, thanks for sticking around through the break. Here's actually, you know, I want to feel for a second. How it would feel with mouse and keyboard. It doesn't feel bad. I still think that this type of game is better played with a controller, but yeah. Dark Souls 1 was terrible with mouse and keyboard, but supposedly 3 was okay. I don't even know how to jump. Because <laughs> spacebar is assigned to roll. I don't even know how to jump. <laughs> anyway, uh, give me just a second here. We're going to still play for like two more hours, I think. This is real good. This is real good. I needed a snack. Get a traditional peanut buttery snack. Get some calories. Yeah, this is real good. I think I am going to make a minor commitment to our shredder claws here. And so when we get our souls back, hopefully, assuming I don't die on the way up there, um, we're, next time we hit a bonfire, we'll teleport back to the blacksmith and upgrade these claws a bit. John, John says exclamation mark snack exclamation mark PB works. Exclamation mark PB does work. All right. Bit more heavy cream than peanut butter, right? But the more heavy cream you add, the lower carbs it gets. But it becomes harder to mix. The more heavy cream you add, you start to you need to use like a a hand blender or something instead of just mixing it with a. Spoon or such, real quick. Ah! <laughs> I'm not gonna get my souls back if I get wrecked here. Okay, I'm not gonna get my souls back. Wow. Here guys get good. No kidding. Those guys gave me no trouble before, but uh, I lost my souls. So I guess we can have to get new souls to uh, invest into these claws. <laughs> Saberine. See <laughs> 23. I am definitely not a weapon. Clearly. I let myself get surrounded. Wish it gone more like that the first time. I wouldn't have lost like 3,000 souls. Oh well, it's fine. Mark that first the last time or I'm gonna break some souls are in line. Yeah, that that's what that's what did, isn't it? I lost the rhythm. Alright, back up we go. I guess I'll stab this guy in the back. Oh, I'm gonna wake that guy up too. Yeah. So here's where we get stabbed in the back. We didn't already know they were there. And that's where I fell off, and that's this is where our souls would have been. If I didn't mess up. The silver pickled foul foot. Oh, you know what I bet this is? I bet it's one of the feet they chopped off to make those blade bird we saw earlier. Also, temporarily boosts item discovery. Four toed foot of a fowl. Pick up a silvery medical solution. Consumable item. Temporarily boosts item discovery. 
since old times and they would scrape their meat clean from a foul's claw. Oh, well, maybe it's not about the blade bird. I should explain so much. I thought so, but you think it would talk about it there if they were connecting it that way. I guess there's gotta be an item over here. Nine hundred percent chance. It's just some mushrooms, unfortunately. Maybe I'm gonna reorganize this a little. So now I swap between weapon and magic. Now I've got my shield on or off over here. Let's try this for a bit. The camera's is tingling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm no, I am here though. But I do hear something stomping and clomping around over in there. Hello. So let's do some Sekiro. See if this guy's gonna walk all the way around, if we can stab him in the back. Help us out. I'm gonna stab him in the back, and I'm gonna try to light him on fire. Step one of plan succeeds. Step two of plan kind of succeeds. <gasps> no! Okay. Hey. That worked pretty well. Maybe we will get more faith. Maybe we will have more fire. Here's our magic flask, our single magic flask. All right. All right. That works pretty well. Doesn't seem to be anything down here, but there is an abyss. Mission success. <laughs> On to the next mission. Alright, now that I've got my shield back up, I'm gonna try the rapier again. Over the claws. I'm gonna, you know, we're gonna upgrade one of these, I think. I need to decide which one. Ooh, contraption cannot move. I figured we could pull the elevator up to here. Not yet. Put. Drawstring flame grease. Okay, so that puts fire on your bow. We can go up higher here, or we can go in this way. There's a bonfire. Let's get that. <laughs> so, safe, safe, you have fun so far. This is great. It's super good. It's super good so far. How are you doing? Actually, want to go fight that enemy again, kind of, just because I want to try the rapier out more. Because now, if we die, I mean, we're right next to the bonfire.
Oh, too early. Whoa. So he used, like, the stomp thing that we've got. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. He spent six cameras on character generation to make him look like the card. We're actually using the female body type, so... <laughs> I could have tried to do Janeway. <laughs> or Michael Burnham, but... Now, here the, here's who we end up with. Black Knight's no joke, yeah, yeah. Here's who we ended up with. Is is eye patch black haired girl. Alright, so yeah, that was the rape here. I'm gonna try the hook claws again. I'm just trying to determine which one of these I want to upgrade. So let's try again with the hook claws and see how I feel about the damage and the range. Ah. <laughs> like, I switched to the... It's incredible, because I don't actually have the rapier equipped. It oh, hello. My, in terms of if I want to still have a shield up, I might like the rapier better. I'm gonna try one more go. And again, uh, th this is. <laughs> if we want to win, I can throw fireballs. This is just an attempt to see which weapon we want to upgrade. I'm starting to lean towards the rapier, I think. Wait, shoot, my souls are still upstairs. But there's also other enemies upstairs. I like it, the ring game so far. I'm liking the game a lot so far. I think it is quite excellent. I, keep, I, I, I bring it up every time, but yeah. Dark Souls 1 I thought was kind of a clunky game. Uh, Dark Souls 3 improved it a lot. And I think this appears to have improved it again. The movement is moving exactly how I want it to. Rapier's great in Dark Souls 2. Great movement. Yeah. I think I'm going to lean towards the rapier rather than the claws. All right, let's try to get those just like 600 souls up here, and then we're gonna run back to the bonfire. Maybe I can get that item too while I'm up here. Yeah, 
don't know if I can actually make it across, though. Eh? Okay. Yeah, just some throwing dagger. But yeah, really enjoying the game so far. We've taken out a boss and a half. <laughs> <laughs> and the bonfire is over here so if we can teleport out of here and back to our uh, home base we'll upgrade our sword probably not much we probably can't upgrade much I need more souls but let's see if we can get I'm going to do a stamina build. By stamina, do you mean dexterity? <laughs> yeah, we, we put a couple points into faith a moment ago so I can throw fireballs. And then, um... But yeah, we're, we're dexterity, and we put a few points into faith. And that's all we've really done so far. Well, I took you, no matter it's took you for dead. Let your your um, strength and armament... So yeah, so we get one, 96 to 101 damage, and we upgrade to Rapier plus one. And then... I need four stones to upgrade to level two, apparently. So I can't even get to Rapier plus two at the moment. I've only got one stone. I thought we picked up a few more. Oh, well. We got a slightly improved rapier. Very slightly improved. <laughs> Let's go back to where we were. How much do you rank all the FromSoft games? I think Dark Souls 3 is my favorite that I have played, but granted, I have not played Bloodborne. I have not played Bloodborne. Um, but I think Dark Souls 3 is my favorite. And then... Of the ones I've played... And then maybe Sekiro and then Dark Souls 1 below Sekiro. Because, yeah, like, it, like I said, Dark Souls 1 has a lot of great stuff, but it's just a little too clunky for me. Yeah, I guess we're going this way. Well, hold on. So we can come out here to the castle ramparts, or we can go around this corner that I didn't look at. I haven't played Bloodborne. Uh, I've seen I've seen a playthrough of Bloodborne. I've seen a playthrough of Dark Souls 2. But Dark Souls 2 is not the same team. Okay, it looks like we just can't do anything with the elevators yet. Oh, wait, unless this works. Nope, Contraption does not move. So we've got two elevators that we can't operate at the moment. Like, no one cares about Dark Souls 2. Well, it's a different team. It's a different team, so it's not quite as nice with the shortcuts. And, yeah, I believe it was Dark Souls 2. We've talked about this before. Dark Souls 2 had a super messed up uh, bug on PC. Where, oh, hello. That bird just threw a barrel at me. Ah, these blade birds. Ah! <laughs> I thought it would get stuck outside. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> I guess what's like, I thought I would get stuck outside the door. There you go. Never gonna throw that barrel at me. There's still two more birds, though. Do you more because you live craft oh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> does not show up right away in Bloodborne, but it does certainly show up. These blade birds with barrels! They got the triple B! <laughs> oh 
man. <laughs> it rained the bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where it, oh it, 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 it's right there it's in the barrels like I'm not even sure where it put our souls not that we have many are merciless. <laughs> so I was trying to use the short range flame to see how that did. Not very well. All right, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, we're gonna, okay, we're gonna shield up. Gonna shield up and see how it does against the blades. Imagine Hitchcock and the birds with these blades. <laughs> Oh man, alright, hold on. Let's try some shield stuff. This one we can consistently burn. <laughs> I think we'll be back at Hearthstone tomorrow. I mean, I'd actually be into playing more of this, but you know, we're gonna get more viewers for Hearthstone. And Link's more Dark Souls 2 in there. Do you think so? Interesting. Yeah, the, the, yeah I think it was Dark Souls 2. It had the really messed up bug on PC, though, where uh, durability was based on the frame rate that weapons would hit monsters. And so because the frame rate was twice as high on PC, weapons decayed twice as quick. And that was really messed up. <laughs> so I don't think I can throw this at that range. Nope, too far. Too far. All right, let's try. Let's try some shield stuff against blade birds. Oh man. Jeez. Birds are wrecking me. That's the most grand most streams are doing on ring right now. Well, I mean, which you know, if it, I don't know if anybody else that plays arena usually is doing Elden Ring right now. If there are, then I could take advantage of that and get more arena viewers than usual. Um, but yeah, no, I mean we got like 50 people here, which is honestly better than I would expect. So I appreciate you being here. Can you chain barrel explode the others? Chain barrel explode the others? Oh, I see what you're saying. I'd have to use a bow for that. This puts us on heavy load. But... Oh, right. Those barrels are not themselves explosive. It's just we keep seeing things that explode hit them, I believe. I need more faith for a stronger fireball that has better range.
Holy cow, they, I lose so much stamina when that happens. Okay. All right, Mama Tribe. These birds, <laughs> they're the first dammies by the fire. They're not supposed to be this tough, I don't think. Edward Scissor Talon works out. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I just really want to play a lot of Elden Ring today. We could have played like two hours of Elden Ring instead of like six or seven hours, but during Hearthstone I'd be thinking all about Elden Ring. So I really wanted to go big. Big one day on at least. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Trying to see what true progress is. I think that's true progress. I think this is just an item. Ah! They use pick, it's super effective. It's so effective. Let's try one other thing. Now we just upgrade the rape here. Let's see how the hook claws do comparatively. I think they'll do worse because I think they have a shorter range, but let's try it. I'm willing to try anything right now against these stupid birds. Yes, I'm assuming you do super multiple runs of the game as well. I mean, it's not impossible. Um, in terms of this time, we appear to be doing dexterity, possibly with faith mixed in. Um, and so, you know, I could do a strength run off stream eventually. But I, I I've never played through a FromSoft game twice, just because I'd usually rather play something I haven't played at all. Yeah, the claws seem worse. The claws do seem worse. I want to try it. <gasps> oh! I thought you were gone, buddy! Is that the same bird or a different bird? <laughs> I'm having no end of trouble against these birds! Vitaly enjoyed some armor options in Dark Souls 2. <laughs> oh, man. I know, one thing I was going to do was I, th I was going to... Oh, I, I can only do it at Bonfire. I was actually going to unequip this Catch Flame. For some I've played it all, it's just for stream play. Yeah, it's multiplayer, though. That's multiplayer. Multiplayer is different. That didn't work very well either. <laughs> I'm just... These birds are a boss fight to me. Zero card steel. I, I need either a longer range fireball or a. I need Sephiroth's sword from Final Fantasy. It has an ever so slightly longer reach than this. I only need a little tiny bit of extra reach. Maybe 
Maybe I would do better if I had the if I had the great sword. I don't know what to do about these birds. I'm serious. I don't know what to do about these birds. I know what to do about that bird. Alright. I'm gonna... Dang. I'm trying to do something about it. I'm messing it up. I'm messing it up. Like we were playing XCOM on stream before. We played all of XCOM Chimera Squad. I did XCOM 1 and 2 off stream. Yes! However, um... I mean, here I'll show. Uh, we've done. We've. I've tried it a couple times, but my my warm up on the fire flame sling is slightly too slow. I was like, "Shvet, one at a time." I can't. They both come at once. Uh oh. But yeah, see, I'm slightly too slow. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to try my catch flame, which is faster but shorter range. Fix <laughs> did you beat uh, that particular boss? So we're not here when we beat it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did beat that. We did beat that, and now I'm getting slarred by these birds. Pump says good try. This is not a boss. This is three basic enemies. <laughs> I do not believe how much trouble I'm having with these birds. There has got to be a better way than I'm doing. And I just stopped moving after that bird got me. One of the lost three birds with swords. I I, I want to just know what that item was ahead of us. I want to know what's through the, the door over there. But... It's, I'm not getting a chance to see that. There's just the eagles in the Lord of the Rings movies. They could have. See, they, they don't stagger at all was one problem. When we hit them, you'd think they would flinch, and they don't. <laughs> okay, I've got another idea. I've got an idea I haven't tried. Nope, the idea doesn't work. I was trying to use my fencing stab art, and it doesn't work. <laughs> He's got a crowd, yet yeah, I was the saying the same thing. I should use the brick hammer. I don't have the strength for the brick hammer here. Here's what happens if we equip the brick hammer. You have a bow. I do have a bow. I mean, that would mean using arrows and then having to recraft arrows. That's not a huge problem, but... There's what happens if I use the brick hammer. <laughs> Can't you snipe these two? Do you mean with the flames, or do you mean with the bow and arrow? Because, I mean, I, I could potentially equip a bow and arrow. But. Shoot the barely sin on. Oh, yeah, that's an interesting idea. 
Somebody said ch chain explode. I haven't tried shooting the barrel directly. There we go. I'm like, how do we do the manual aiming with the bow? Right now, I've got the heavy roll, by the way, which is going to be a big problem. You get a flaming bowstring? Yeah, it's, it's a one-time use thing that I have it. It doesn't even explode unless they throw it. Pretty much damage the bow does do out of interest. It knocks him down. <laughs> and then, then they're on top of me. And I've got my slow roll. Something just did. <laughs> Try get in here just to unequip the bow and get a faster roll. Knock down bird that ignite barrel. Well, it only ignites if they throw it. It looks like. <laughs> yeah, there's the major character difference. Yep, yep, yep. Johnson, yep. merciless birds. I am just astounded that I'm having this much trouble with a basic enemy. I mean, I could potentially run past them. That's an option, but I don't want to do it. I, sure can work. Maybe you try. I, I did try it. I mean, they, there's no chain explosion because they don't explode at all if I destroy them. They only explode if they destroy them. Was that a new attack with the scraping along the ground? Flame spell. I don't think I can manually aim the flame spell. I don't think like I can an arrow. Not good, but it was better. These the birds are over the place hard. I refuse to accept they're hard. I only accept that I'm bad at these birds. In which they fail to bring VR. The Half-Life Alex was the closest thing we had. So there's another bird over here, but this time I know it's here. on no no Now, see, what's funny is the boss didn't annoy me at all. I never got tilted at the boss at all, even though it took me several, several, several attempts. But these birds are tilting me. These birds are tilting me because I refuse to accept they're difficult. Birds don't show me in these games. The very first thing we fought was that den full of wolves. Yeah, fix this if I summon the sorcerer friend. Yeah, I mean, I, I could summon a human buddy, but I, I refuse.
least that bird got pretty stuck on the wall. Through five more random direction with Turkey Amy. I'll, I'll, I'll throw the flame at one of these barrels just to see it. I don't think it's gonna really work, but. Maybe we a break? We took a break 40 minutes ago. I'm not even that. I'm, 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 the only frustration is I, I feel like there must be something I'm doing super wrong. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing how to get better. But yeah, I mean, if I just throw this forward... I mean, that one explodes, but they don't chain explode, and then, then they're on us. Whoa, I'm alive! <laughs> Is the tech band feels pretty strong? Yeah. Go the left bird first. I was not the rake shot. I thought for sure I was dead. No, I was dead. Uh, how, how do you intend to kill the left bird first? It's further away than the right bird. See, I can almost do that. Can I jump while casting? No. <laughs> like that would that would do it. And can almost do that. Almost. Oh, new tech! Right at the very edge of this, I can make that throw. Sword out. Dang. Ooh, whoa. So I mean. Did I get rid of him? Yeah, but I used up three heals. <laughs> sleepy arrow, one bird, kill the other. Sleepy arrow, we do have a couple of sleepy arrows. works too. That I can chain explode. Silly bird. <laughs> uh, hey, I got two smithing stones. Actually, hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We can start working towards upgrading our rapier again. Get the plus two. Well, at long last, I get to see what's down here. I bet it's gonna be another bird. <laughs> yeah, th I was gonna say, there's only one thing that would justify this. There's a bonfire over there, and then there's these four birds, which I refuse to accept are difficult. I think I'm bad. But if there is a bonfire through this door, that is the game saying, oh yeah, those birds are tough. You used all your heals, right? You need to get more heals on this side of the <laughs> this side of the wall. If there's a bonfire here, everything is justified. But I don't think there will be. <laughs> He's like, you're really bad. There we go. At least somebody's on my side. No way to pull the elevator up to here. No. Just trying to see where that is. If it's where we just were a bit ago, or if not. I can already see a blade bird over there. Uh. Uh. 
There were some annoying gargoyle enemies in Dark Souls 1. In An Orlando. Oh, hello. Yikes. <laughs> I thought they were gonna go all the way over there. There's a fog gate over there, so that might be a boss. Bike would killed him already. I know. I literally, literally, from this angle, I'm thinking about doing the giant stab assassinate, 100% after finishing Assassin's Creed Origins. I'm gonna run this way and leave those guys alone for now. this? No. Huh, I can't swing in the church. I was, I was wondering why my shield wasn't up. I can't do it. Ooh, hello. A lot of big hat characters. More than just big hat Logan. We've talked to like three big hat characters. Ah, nice to meet you. The pleasure's mine. Roger is the name. A sorcerer, <gasps> as... Uh... You might have guessed. It's him! He helped us at the boss! Here in the castle. When I'm not hot-footing it from the troops, that is. It's Roger! About me. What are you doing here in Stormbell? It's Roger the Sorcerer! This place is bristling with tarnished hunters, you know. They sacrifice our kind for grafting. Not exactly a place I'd stroll into. In the flesh, yep. In mine. I'm here to defeat Godric, I can't tell you. Huh. I... I I trust so I trust Roger, he helped me. Upon a great rune, are you? You can see it then. I take it. The guidance of grace. Well, enjoy it while you can. I'm tarnished, like you. Right. But unlike you, I've seen neither hide nor hair of this guidance for the longest time. That's so sad Still, for you. I won't forget how it felt when I first came here, to the lands between. I'm privy to a few magical battle arts. Would you care to learn one? So here's your first sorcerer trainer instead of faith trainer. I'd love to help you out, if it please. Ash of War Glintstone Pebble, usable on swords as well as pole arms capable of thrusting. Glass weapons ex 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 accepted. Glintstone Magic Pebble. Grants the arm armament the magic affinity and the following skill. Skill that employs the glintstone sorcery of the same name. Follow up with a strong attack, chain the skill into a lunging burst while perfor performing while the armament is still imbued with glintstone. Now these... They don't list a requirement like faith, right? The faith ones had a listed requirement number. These don't seem to, like pyromancy in the older Dark Souls games. Um, I guess these are all Ashes of War. They're not actual sorceries, are they? They're magic affinity weapon arts. This grants the element the magic affinity and the following skill. Carrying royal prestige and body dance skill, transform blade into magical great sword and swing it down. Can be charged to increase its power. Usable on swords, great sword, colossus weapons accepted. Nice game there in the Pokemon game. Do you get a ponyta? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lang says they got Mime Jr. pretty easy. Uh, let's see. Back to the bonfire to front of shields before we venture further. I can't. If I go back to the bonfire, then the birds respawn. I need a new bonfire. This grants the magic affinity and the following skill. Spinning weapon. Defensive skill employed by carrying princesses. Lifts arm into midair that makes it spin violently. Try spinning. That's a good trick. Those it touches will suffer successive attacks. Yeah, <laughs> fixed with the spinning. Right, so that, that, that could be cute. 
He's on small and medium swords, axes and hammers, as well as polearms and staves. So yeah, I don't know about the glintstone pebble and the carrying great sword. Does the rapier count as a sword? I imagine it does. Standard slash pierce thrusting sword, okay. But I don't have enough uh, souls to buy any of that stuff and try it out. There's also not a bonfire here, it doesn't seem like, but there may be one close by. There's the ladder, so that's where we were just sneaking through. Uh, it feels like there should be a bonfire right here if you want to come back and talk to him. But I don't see one. Alright. Man, like, so they're leaving point out to last. The ultimate bio weapon. You go up the stairs outside this chamber. If, do you mean these stairs right here? Because these stairs I can't climb. Fix it okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, well, we gotta go this way. No other options, no other choices. Is there any tall grass I can hide in? I don't think this is enough to hide in, do you? I'm gonna try it, but I'm guessing they're gonna see me. Kill the birds until they no longer respawn. Not a thing. At least as far as I know. They actually not gonna see me? Wow. <laughs> wow. So what's the plan? Is it to try to backstab the knight and then have the torchbearer come up behind me? Or is it to kill the torchbearer and fight the knight legit? I don't think stabbing the knight's gonna work out. And this may not work out either, but. I don't think I was going to win anyway, but apparently there was a drop behind me. That's the third time we've fallen like that. Third? That's not too bad. What? What? There's no item here for us anymore, but... It's a chance to kill one more bird. These souls may fall off. Yes and no. Yes and no. My souls are where we fell off. And I have to go get my souls back. If I die again before I get those souls, they disappear forever. Bird kill him. <laughs> Improved. So right there, that yellow mark by the torchbearer, that's our souls. Or runes, but I'm gonna always call them souls. So that's the soul retriever mech. Yeah, so it's a corpse run, you only get one chance.
I'm gonna make a run for it this time. <laughs> Maybe. I'm gonna let him pass me, and then I'm gonna go that way. I mean, I can kill that knight, and he might drop his gear like the other one did. Oh, maybe I'll kill him. It's gonna take a few attempts, though, I bet. Yeah, heals, I didn't even realize. I thought I had one more. That's where I dropped before. I didn't drop anything, besides souls. Alright, well now I'm out of heals, I'm out of magic. I might want more faith. Faith seems to solve problems for us. First try, second attempt. More golden runes. They have souls inside of them. Something is raging down there, blowing stuff up. So there's the limb spider that killed us at the start of the game, and there's limbs hanging everywhere. He died. I died. Well, this time I'm gonna try to sneak past the knight. If these birds don't kill me, which they very well might. No! That's a fire. That's a fire, not a heal. those souls. I mean, it's only like 2,000, but...
it's through this door. Oh, it's another night. Got no chance. Got no chance. Oh, man! I couldn't even stab him. Look at him. Look at him go. I was really hoping we'd find a bonfire soon, but no. Not yet. I mean, I can always back off and go in different directions, but, you know, I want to make the castle run. <laughs> There, alright. Can I... Still throw a fireball to kill this bird, because they're actually worth quite a few souls if we retrieve our souls, which we may not. <sighs> I guess we're going to our yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to cost me 10,000 all in advance. We can almost buy our own Elden Ring for that. I guess I'm gonna have to wait for these guys to pass by. There is a thing we could do. Come to think of it. We could go over here. You throw the fire from these guys on top. Ah, uh, maybe. Possibly. I haven't tried oh, that. Stopping by. So this, like the carrion greatsword thing, costs 2,500 souls. We could go into our inventory and see how many souls these golden runes are worth. 200. So if we pop some of these little souls, I could buy one of these. Oh, Fix was the fastest in the draw. Oh, I did not mean to drink that. Oh. So, let's look at the description of the glintstone again. Flies the glintstone sorcery, same name. Also, the magic affinity. I don't know if magic affinity is good. I don't have a whole lot of intelligence. What was strong attacks change the skill and the lunging thrust? Form of the armament is imbued with great stone. Well, maybe I want the great sword one more, but I took this pebble thing. Next time we're at a bonfire, we can try equipping it. <laughs> this. I, I can't do that. I'm going to 
gonna let them pass by. I'm gonna let them pass by. Still have all four of our heels. This is Assassin's Creed, yep. Yep. Got the hiding, we got the backstabs. But we don't have the Ubisoft, which is probably a good thing. As your card would say, coward! It's fair. Can I just make that jump and skip to the boss now? I'm wondering if there's a bonfire that I'm like just missing. It's right around here. What the? Are you alive? Guess not. I really didn't see it. Now they don't see us. There's that guy, but I guess I could ignore him. Boss is down beneath us. And there's a knight here that's gonna give me infinite trouble. It's also right where our souls are. I think we're a duck, says Ash. A very shiny, shiny duck. So that's the problem. He turned around right there. It's not that he heard me, it's that's the natural end of his turn. Ah! I didn't know. I thought I messed up last time, but it's that that's the natural end of his turn. He doesn't walk all the way around. Ah! I lost those souls. I didn't pick them up, they were right there. There's a treasure behind him. I know! I know there is. <laughs> and there were also like 2,000 souls, but they're gone now. Now they'd be gone anyway. Should I leave and do other areas? Quite likely, but now I'm committed. I'm committed to at least seeing the boss. Well, we saw the boss, we just haven't fought them. behind you. Oh, yeah, man, it's like 33. <laughs> Plus 16. It was literally 69. It was literally a nice amount of souls. If it's something. What's well, nothing if I die twice? Uh, but yeah. I do start to wonder, you know, if I'd be doing better with strength weapons instead of dexterity. Traditionally, I've used strength weapons. They're better at breaking through shields and stuff. 
spot. I don't know. I think I'm gonna commit to Dex. I mean, we already kind of have. We've put like four points into it. Oh, there are some strength weapons that require a little bit of dexterity, too. Mm -hmm. You can get favorite strength build. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Those guys have got the barbs all over them, which is interesting. Same with our shield. Well, at least now I learned. <laughs> Now I learned about the patrol pattern of this guard. I've learned one thing. But he walks this way. I figured he made a full circle, but he doesn't. He walks this way and then he turns and he walks this way. So coming in right now is how we died twice. further than I thought he went with that. I thought he went a pretty long way, but not quite that far. <gasps> no! No, 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 no! It went right over him. To dodge more. Oh, what? <laughs> I didn't actually explode the barrel thing. He was like in the process of picking it up and it said, nah. That time I did. Can't see him. up all my heels on this single bird. I shouldn't even go. I shouldn't even go here. I should just go back and get my heels. You know what I also haven't done? I haven't equipped that magic weapon. That magic weapon thing we bought, I haven't equipped it. I bought that magic weapon thing and I haven't even tried it. Thanks so they finally finished a particular quest in Pokemon. Okay, I have, I have a new plan here. I have a new plan. Happiness-based evolutions? Well, I didn't even know such a thing existed. Oh, you're disgusting. We fought one of these guys before. And it's all chewed up. Alright. I have a new plan. 
I have a new plan. The plan... ...is to run past him and see if there's a bonfire here. I think there is not. You know, it is something I haven't tried this. Oh, I, I still need to equip. My goodness. I... okay. Well, I just learned something new. And learning is good. And learning is good. Uh, so one thing I wanted to do was see if we could equip this magic... pebble. So this... Adds intellect scaling. It makes the dexterity scaling worse. But it doesn't hurt our damage. Actually, it ups our damage by quite a bit. And actually, I can still have the flintstone pebble and leave it on standard scaling, which is interesting. But actually, this appears to up our damage by quite a bit. So, it's the A for learning. Learning is good. Learning is good, and so I just learned that if I don't lock on, I can free throw these magic missiles much further than by locking on. Now I need to learn about the aim. Oh, okay, it's based on my character's direction, though, not where I'm actually looking. Huh. So I need to be facing the bird, but then I can change the height. So I need to figure out where things line up. So if I aim my... If I have my helmet right at the bird, and I free throw it, it goes like that. And if we stand on this pillar... Let's try the same thing. Let's just align it with our helmet for the moment. Let's see where that goes. Okay, so that didn't go far enough. But if I look up... I land it with my waist. Oh, geez. Well, now I threw in the wrong direction. Alright. Oh, now I'm out of magic. Oh, no! It looks like it dissipates. After a certain distance. Oh, well. I need to be here. Okay. And could I do this one, too? Will it go through that tree area? Okay, well, we learned something. We learned something pretty important. That I can throw this further if I don't auto-aim it. It's sweet. Hey, we're learning a thing. We're learning a thing... Plus, I want to see what this sword does now, damage-wise, as we swapped it over to magic. It might be doing about 40% more damage now. Maybe. Guess I'll try it on this night. Oh dear. I don't know. Is it doing less damage? See, it sh it, I thought it would be doing 70 plus 70, but... So we saw 35 there. 40. See, now I would need to compare it to the non-magic scaling. 
Bang. He gets me real- he does the stomp that we learned. He does the stomp that we learned, and he got me real good. Okay, but I- so I wanna compare. I wanna compare, so we were doing- we were doing like 40 damage a hit there, against the heavy armor. Against the heavy armor. I ain't tried against the birds either, did I? Alright, but let's... So let's swap it back to regular scaling and see how much damage we do comparatively. So, standard scaling instead of magic scaling. But I should still be doing the magic art. Try to use our newfound aiming capabilities. Try to. Good. Good. Now we want to see how much this damage this does comparatively to with the magic scaling. We were doing like 35 before when we had the magic scaling on. Jeez. I was gonna dodge that. You know, I don't get to test the damage if I die immediately. So it looked like 42. So I guess I'm not understanding how the damage calculation works. Because here, I'll show you what I'm talking about if you haven't seen it. I thought this was how it worked in dark as well. Uh, but here's what I'm talking about. When we go here, and I say Ashes of War, and I look at our rapier. So I'm on stand- I'm, I'm using this magic glintstone pill, which we still haven't tried, but... So it says we're doing 101 damage plus 15. And if I go to magic, it says we're doing 73 plus 2, but th on physical, but then 73 plus 5 magic. And so I, th I thought in dark it would do both of those numbers together, and we'd actually be doing more like 140 instead of, you know, 115. But... That, that didn't look very... <laughs> it looked like we were doing more damage while I was just on the physical. So... If anybody knows the game better than me, it could have to do with... You know, I would think that the armor of that guy is more vulnerable to magic than physical. But if it's actually resistant to magic, then maybe our physical damage went down and the magic damage went up and he just ignores magic. But, uh, yeah, it's not what I expected. Oh, jeez, well, I wasn't lined up for that. Or that. Well. Things went well last time, but now... <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> so, oh wow, it actually does pretty good damage. So they were, they, they, if you saw it, there was the glint stone pebble, and it actually did 145 damage, 
It fires pretty decently quick. Interesting. So that's the glintstone pebble we equipped. Gilbert 17. Yeah, the birds. The birds. I mean, now... We haven't eliminated the birds as a problem, but they're much less of a problem than when I got here. Now the night's the problem. Swag talks about the Angry Birds. They're very upset. kind of impatient, so I want to get this guy as he's passing by this way, but we know we've got got twice that way, so not really a good idea. Might try the glintstone pebble, though. It's only doing 97 to him instead of 145 it was doing to the birds. Just from higher defense, I'm guessing. Dang. Dang only has a few more Pokemon, but needs more happiness. So this was the Mimic's Veil. All along, which is that? What is the Mimic's Veil? Make me look like a Mimic Chest? Use FP to mimic nearby objects. Which... It says it's reusable. <laughs> So this... This is a multiplayer item. Well, actually, actually, I don't know. I don't know if it, uh, NPCs would see us if we're not moving or not. If it's a mobile stealth. But it, uh, that is for uh, tricking players. Tricking players. They run past you. You unmimic. And then you kill them. <laughs> it's a cool item. Our little glintstone pebbles. Not open from this side. There. It's like an NPC mourning a fallen knight, though, it looks like. <gasps> I did not mean to drop down that far. Exalted flesh. Temporary boost physical attack consumable. I assume it's consumable. There's two enemies to our left. Yeah, consumable. Right, there wasn't really anything here anyway, but I didn't... Oh, hello, you woke up? Oh, no, you didn't wake up. You're a third enemy. <laughs> hmm. 
Hey, where'd he go? Did he drop down behind me? Where'd he go? Slip soon, yeah. It's I don't know what time it's getting to be, honestly. Yeah, it's getting pretty late. But I wanna check out this guy, but this Man, there's gotta be a bonfire across the other way, right? So we're gonna sneak past him and hopefully there's a bonfire on the other side. Yeah, they're pretty creepy. I said, shoot that lady with, give me some mesmerized, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We move through limb room. A Highland Axe, which is presumably a strength item most axes are. Is there really not a bonfire in here? Highland Axe. Oh, it actually scales equally with uh, strength and dexterity. But it does require 12 strength, which is a little more than we've got. Single side axe used by the Warriors of the Highlands. Called out their names as a battle cry. Increases attack power. Just similar to another weapon we saw, the big stone hammer. This is very dark and full of terrors. Go out this way first. Ooh, there's enemies out there, though. Okay, never mind. We're not going to go this way. I think this is the front gate they talked about. To not go through this way. I think we want to go out that way, which means my only option is to go through the flesh monster. I really thought we'd have a bonfire before the flesh monster. It saw me, I think. Yep. back there, and there's a door in front of me. Somber smithing stone. It'll be a higher tier upgrade material. There is a fog gate here. Oh, no, it's not a fog gate. This is one of the things that requires the keys, which I don't think we have a key. Huh, so I wonder what's in there. Another door there. Oh. So this is the one below the the creature there. There's like three items here, but it's guarded by these two wolfy type enemies. Let's try this door. This is the elevator. So this may be our shortcut back to the bonfire. Now the elevator will be operable. There it is. So assuming that made the elevator permanently operable, that's it. And that's what Dark Souls is all about. <laughs> Big shortcuts. It's super fun. The, uh, you know, I got a little frustrated with those birds, <laughs> but the exploration and the unlocking of shortcuts and stuff is fantastic, because now we just bypass those birds, we go back to where we were. With the flesh beast, which we could now try to fight, because we're safe now. We're safe by a bonfire. I assume I can't backstab it, but we'll see. It 
doesn't have like false music, but it has a lot of health. I'm gonna try to lay it on fire, but I wanna get some distance. That wasn't enough distance. Jeez, how did I miss with that? Is it immune? Maybe it's immune to that glint because it's not doing any damage. The fire was doing some damage, but not much. But yeah, it doesn't take any damage from the glint. That's interesting. Alright, alright. Yeah, like I said, unless I'm very, very wrong, we should be safe now, <laughs> and that elevator should be operable. If the operable still, if the elevator still says inoperable, I'm going to scream. <laughs> but no, there's our shortcut. There's our shortcut, so we can get right back there. Let's look at the items by the wolves, though. But yeah, at this point, there's really only, like, two things we can do. We can fight this flesh thing, which doesn't have any boss music. Or, we can go out to the area with a billion enemies. Jeez, oh no! <laughs> they sure caught me there. Chrysalid's memento. The lump of flesh. Cold Dark Souls frustration streams, yeah, yeah. The Chrysalid's memento. Did I pass it? I don't see it here. Here it is. And it just says a brooch wrapped in red velvet. It must... Oh, maybe I can give it to the, uh... The woman. Who said she wanted to join with the spiders. She. She was after the church. Was she in the Storm Hill shack, possibly? to see you. Did you give the little chrysalids the message that I love them? 
and that despite my craven heart, I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. Give the memento. What's this? A keepsake? From my men? Oh, goodness me. I can't. something of myself me who can't do anything i think i'll head to the round table hold oh she's gonna come back to our base now that we gave her the thing I think I'll head perhaps off. ah okay let's see what she's up to there Although I'm not sure where she's positioned herself. Here she is by the fire. Greetings. Nice to see you again. My name is Roderica. I should have told you sooner. Isn't this place impressive though? The round table hold. Covert quarters of the two fingers. And gathering place of champions who vie to become Elden Lord. I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us tarnished had such fantastic roots. Although, it's all a bit much for me, in truth. Bit much. I'm still looking for my own purpose. Oh, and please allow me to express my thanks for giving me that keepsake from my men. It was as if I was frozen with self-pity. I failed them at every turn. You have my gratitude. Please. Where do I go? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, cool! An extra heal. <laughs> it's all a bit much for me. I'm still looking. All right, the mat's super worth it. We got an extra heal. flame for now. Flasks. Add charge to flask. Yes. Alright, so now we've got an extra heal. We've got five plus the one magic flask. Alright, we're not gonna go too much further. It is getting pretty the darn late. But let's take another attempt at the big fleshy monster. Let's try to throw more magic at it. Because I mean this thing can't get through doors, right? It would help if I was better at doing the aiming. Oh, but look, it seems to dodge our fireballs intelligently. That's something that hasn't really happened before in Dark Souls, I don't think. It was only moving once I actually was throwing fireballs at it. Cute. <laughs> but it can go that far. Now it's not as intelligent when it thinks it can reach me. I could have done like twice as much damage just through our magic. Oh dear! <laughs> Let's 
certainly attacks quickly and pretty unrelentingly. I don't know where our opening would be. Swing, 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 swing. There? Nope. <laughs> screamed at me, though. <laughs> All right. Well, we could still do try that, but... Let's go to that courtyard with a billion enemies, because that's the only other path I see right now is the courtyard with billion enemies. Uh, beside, in here, in here. Obviously we can go out to the map and look up this way, or over on this lake, or back here. We have things we could do, but they're outside of this castle area. Oh, shoot, this was the wrong way. Shoot, where was it? Was it... I thought it was... This way, but... Apparently not... I guess it has to be past him this way on the left. Hey, it's on FPS on console and PC. We're optimized the game is. I haven't seen that. I, I saw that there were some problems in like some sort of a test or beta with the PC version. There was stuttering, but they put out a patch and I haven't noticed any stuttering at all today. So they may have fixed that. But we are running on a really strong video card. We're running on a 2080, so... There's that. Alright, well this is the only path forward I see right now. There's about a billion enemies, several of which have giant, like, ballistas. go here. Maybe here is the path. Not through the billion enemies. Some rats in here. Probably cause disease. No disease. I think there's somebody behind me shooting arrows. Is there? Yep, this guy came up. This guy came up to say hello. Fireproof, fireproof dried liver. Probably just another consumable. Yep, temporary boost fire resistance. We've got a, yet another thing we can get through with a key, but we do not have another key. I think that's everything in here. I thought this I thought this might be the way away from the billion enemies, but maybe not. I can sneak around them though to a degree. Oh, and you know what else? 
It says this is an area where we can summon help. We can summon our jellyfish or our wolves. Okay. Stab him. I got some magic grease. Did the jumping attack and end up getting a front stab. There's another fire bearer up there. Jellyfish is still shooting at somebody. Oh, that guy. That one I was able to backstab. That guy with the torch up there started moving. He might be coming down to us. Oh, geez, and this guy's still alive. <laughs> So not all of them are aimed at me. These two are aimed this way. And I think this still may be the front gate that we had the option to come through. Four golden runes. So yeah, this may be the front gate. Oh man, my jellyfish! <laughs> my jellyfish is gonna make a direct attack on them. I was gonna leave them alone. Maybe it is going to leave him alone. Okay. <laughs> we got a pike. We got our first spear type. I thought Jellyfish was shooting at somebody. We got a pike. We got our first spear type weapon, which I think are balanced between strength and dexterity, typically. This one's actually strength loaded. 20 strength, 14 dexterity. Long spear featuring a specially lengthy handle. Jellyfish float here. Longs are featuring a special lengthy handle, specialized for use from long distances. It boasts the longest reach of any melee weapon. Incredibly useful against foes on horseback, but hard to wield in cramped spaces. So it's got a charge fourth special. There's a big enemy right there. I hope Jellyfish can help me with. reminds me of the headless enemies in Sekiro. That wolf took the shot. <gasps> oh no! <gasps> oh no! <laughs> I'm stuck in this corner. I want some space. Oh, he can attack the wolf. Jellyfish ain't gonna last long there. Alright, there went jellyfish. Oh, you can grab. Okay, I do have a magic replenisher, but just one. No! Oh no! <laughs> Here's my last heal. 
Ooh, he dodges it. But not consistently. Oh no! <laughs> I'm not aiming correctly. Need to get one or two legit hits in. Ah! Oh boy. I got his weapon, the Omen Cleaver. Everything's strength, though. Why'd I go dexterity? Every weapon we're getting is strength. Where is it? Did I go right past it? There it is. Curved Greatsword. Actually, which actually requires 16 strength like we have. Requires 19 strength. More balanced, actually. I'm close to show the fight. <laughs> He's on a lot of ranged attacks. Heavy Blade Sword of Colossal Size. Award to Omen as a tool of war. Omen capitalized. This weapon is made to take advantage of brute strength. The pattern etched in the blade is reminiscent... Is a rem the remnant of a deteriorative malediction. Indeed, when bestowing a weapon, preparations must be made for taking it away. Because the, the creature was decaying. Hmm. Spinning Slash, favored by dexterous warriors. Interesting. It needs 11 points more strength than we got, though. But I got no health and no heals. But I don't want to do any fights. <laughs> I just want to see what we can see without getting into a fight. This looks mystical. Examine the floating portrait. Is it going to take us into the world of the painting? They've pulled that trick before. New prophecy painting. What is a prophecy painting? <laughs> Work of a wandering artist, reminiscent of a painting titled Prophecy. Reminiscence of a painting tale prophecy. Parents said to capture the landscape seen during the last moments of those who welcomed death's embrace. Or those welcomed in the death's embrace. The soul of the painter and vestiges of the dead's last moments can be discovered by visiting the location depicted even now. Ah, so if you go to that particular trees looking towards that, you can maybe find something? Like a treasure map. Possibly. Alright, there's that torchbearer, and I got no health, so... Just looking for any enemies, and then... Seeing if we can go a different way. Summoning the players. Using the furl crawling finger remedy to reveal summon signs of players from other worlds. Gold signs indicate an ally. Red signs indicate an adversary. Multiplayer session will begin once either type has been summoned. You will take the role of the host of fingers. Oh, there it is. There's a bonfire. Thank goodness. We got no health, no potions left. Oh, what a relief. What a relief. Go back and upgrade our rapier again if we like the rapier. I feel like they gotta give me another dexterity weapon soon, right? We're getting all these strength weapons. <laughs> but you know, honestly, there is something here that's a good point. Which is, you know, the weapon we just picked up. 19 strength, 16 dexterity. I mean, that's way above what we can do right now. We're picking up a few other weapons like that. Um, we may be, you know, 
it may be saying go go look at these areas before you come back to the castle here go level up some in terms of we're getting gear that is outclassing what we can actually kind of do we get one point of dexterity maybe I will go and prove the rape here I can always, the, the, these types of low-level upgrade materials, I can always farm just from those knights in the starting area. Let's, let's just do it. Okay, this is not where the blacksmith is, is it? Where's the blacksmith? <laughs> Did I go through here at all? It's a grand hall we can overlook, but uh, I'm assuming we can't actually go down there. Yeah, I don't. I didn't come through here at all. There may be other areas here that I've not uh, taken a good look at. Well, where have you been hiding? I took you for dead. No matter, it's all the same. Out your arm. Okay. What? Really? I only have three smithing stones. I thought for sure we had more. Uh, if we... You can actually strengthen your finger seal, which slightly changes the incantation scaling, but barely at all. And yeah, upgrading the shield just makes it do more damage if you actually tried to hit an enemy with it. Oh, you can talk about Red Riding Hood, though. Can scarcely swing a blade. Crestfallen is one of their favorite words. For spirit tuning. I saw another one like her. Spirit ago. tuning. Their eyes share the same hue. I'm assuming we can't get any uh, inf other information out of her. It's a pleasure to see you. Thank goodness. I'm still looking for my own snot. Nope, easy. same line. I don't know what spear. Oh, wait, there, there we go. Tell her what the blacksmith said. I'm still looking. Tell her what the blacksmith said. Don't tell her, but tell her what the blacksmith said about spirit tuning, I guess. I choose not to tell her, but I'm going to tell her. You're telling me I possess some kind of gift. I don't believe you. But if I do have this talent, and goodness knows it would be my first, I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. Certainly, he does appear intimidating and holds no love for us tarnished. But I know he's trapped here at the Round Table Hold. So, I can tell. He's a gentle soul underneath it all. If I do have a talent for spirit tuning, I suppose I should try last... Okay, so Sherry said that. Let's try to talk to... I'm assuming Hugh is the kind of guy in charge that we've talked to a few times. Doesn't like us very much. <laughs> See if he has a different line of dialogue for that. We've spoken long in. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll teleport out and we'll teleport back in. Sometimes that triggers stuff. I want to see if we can get the spirit tuning. Uh, but yeah, it should, they use the word crestfallen. And there's the crestfallen knight in Dark Souls 1 and Demon Souls and... I forget if there was a Crestfallen Knight in two or three, but yeah, they're they're usually these people that laugh at you for trying. We could try and fight the horse. <laughs> they there's people that usually try la they laugh at you for trying. They laugh at you for trying, and then they eventually fall into despair. If there is Chris Fall 9, Dark Souls 3 as well. He's trying to summon my horse. <laughs>
Actually, where is the horse summoning item? There we go. See if we can fight the horseman. Oh, oops. my wolves. close to like first try i mean first try when i've actually got a horse I thought, yeah, so did I. So did I. I still had plenty of heals, but I wasn't expecting to do that much damage in one hit. As you were killing it, it was, it was, I was really excited about doing it first try. I was going to be like, man, Lyris it took to Disguise Toast like four hours. We're going to do it first try. Now, maybe Toast was doing it without a horse, though. Knocked off my horse with that time. What the? What? Oh, resummon Steed by consuming a flask of Crimson Tears. I didn't have to do that last time. Because I got knocked off without the horse dying. Alright, well, this attempt is worse so far because my wolves did not do quite as much. <laughs> I'm just slightly too far from him. Dang. 
This is about the health I was at last to me one shot me, unfortunately, but I don't think I'm. And this is from all the spinning, yeah. I not not too much I can do about that though. <laughs> Unless you want to ask the boss to stop moving too. Knock down a tree. Yeah, that attack I don't like. Super wide range. Man, so I got no health. Okay. So yeah, that attempt was not as good as the first try. But it's still super luck that we can get. You know, we did 80% the first try. Still did over 50% this time, even though it was a little weaker. So let's actually try the jellyfish instead of the wolves. I think the wolves look pretty work pretty well if I get in there. It's pretty strong shield dash. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's... Summon out the jellyfish instead this time. Let's see how that does, better or worse. Gonna take a ride at the jellyfish. Okay, so it pretty much looks like the wolves are better. Because the jellyfish is just doing like 10 damage. It's gonna die pretty quick here anyway, it looks like. Alright, so yeah, I think the wolves are better for this fight. <laughs> oh geez, I'm coming up on other enemies over here. So this time on some of the wolves. <laughs> the wolves do better. Here's are still going. Yeah, yeah, we're we're, uh, yeah, we're coming up on midnight, so I think we're gonna beat the tree sentinel and probably leave it there. We unlocked a new bonfire in the area we were exploring. We can come back with that. Yeah, I bought the rapier from the shop. More than more than found it. <laughs> right, hold on. I want to get. I want to get the jellyfish actually off of this list, so we just have our flasks there. Let's summon our wolves. Let's summon our horse. Alright, hopefully we can make this as good as the first attempt. <laughs> He's not even noticing me because I'm not hitting him. Right away. Oh, man. How'd I do so well the first time? <laughs> I 
Then we may not be able to just fight. Well, yeah, we got that spear thing, but I don't have the strength of the spear. attack is really good again if you're too close. It's a really good again me anyway. Yeah. There's the shield dash that does a billion damage. Whoa! I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I might give someone a try. I don't think it'll work, though. Doesn't it look like it even affects him? No, I'm, I'm hitting him. Oh, wait, no, it did do some damage. Oh, but he put, look at that. He puts up like an anti-magic shield. Oh, interesting. Well, I'm glad we at least saw that. I'm gonna use the heal. We're at like 90% health. I'm gonna use the heal because I got three left. And I don't wanna get like one shot by that shield dash like we saw before. You get your weapon, his weapon as expected, which is another strength weapon. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight strength weapons. So I bought two dex weapons. Everything is strength that we get as loot. Everything. <laughs> give me a dex weapon. I should give you me strength. I guess, you know, I'm like, oh man, I, I always do strength. So let's go dex and everything we get is strength. But yeah, that's a good wish. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I gotta put more points in decks. <laughs> Just to be stubborn. <laughs> sure you'll find some, yeah. Alright, let's just put more store points in decks. Okay, well, like I said, we're coming up on midnight, but I might play right up to midnight. Let's not go back to the castle. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and run around a little bit. Try to go down that tower again from the beginning quick. Try to go down the tower. Down the tower. Oh, oh, you want the key area? Oh, the, 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 where we use the key? Chris says, yeah, yeah, I kind of forgot about that. I kind of forgot about that, so I guess we could try. It should be a little easier to beat those uh, enemies along the way. I'm still gonna maybe get wrecked by the rolling... the rolling thing. Let's see, where was the...
Which they didn't make it to the bottom. They tried. Hmm. Let's gonna do an all intelligence build. Just over the science wolf. <laughs> The, uh, yeah, no, honestly, we got the intellect, the magic scaling weapon stuff already. Uh, I could see maybe doing that. I'm, I'm pulling in a lot of different directions right now. Until I get to like 20 dexterity, we're not really hard committed to anything. This game's left on. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I've, I had a little doubt. I mean, eventually we'll get to a blight swamp, and I'll hate everything. But until then, <laughs> yeah, so these guys are significantly easier to kill now than at the very start of the game. said significantly easier and then I still got killed. So that guy. Alright. Well, I guess we'll take a few runs at this and it'll be the last thing we do. Today. Today. Play more tomorrow. I think we'll probably also do some Hearthstone tomorrow. <laughs> I can't switch to this, uh, you know, full time. <laughs> Lose all our viewers, but we'll still do two or three hours of this tomorrow, I imagine. Oh, right, I'm gonna die. These guys can actually, like, teleport around? Just hoping it gets run over here, though. Yeah. So, we got down this far before, and then the thing either took a turn, or... a second one spawned. I guess it... Did it start taking a turn? Yeah, I guess it starts taking a turn once we're down here. I was never sure if it was a second one or if this first one starts coming further. It's coming back already. Oh boy, that was close. And there's a smaller degree of clearance. Shoot. So what am I supposed to do there? Hmm. Take another look at it. I'll take another look at it, but I don't have an immediate idea of how I solved that. Poison lasts forever, yeah, that's pretty common. <laughs> it's also annoying. There's 
you can build however you like well yeah I mean <laughs> in a fashion in a fashion you know people people do beat this game without or these types of games without uh, getting any level ups so you know that means anything you build is technically valid for winning <laughs> takes the turn. Oh, wait. Huh, it didn't... It's not coming down here right now. I mean, I don't trust it to continue to do this. Let's at least wait for it to do that. Now it's coming this way. So with that glitch, go for it now. We figured things out. Here's my souls, technically, but there's, like, nothing here. So, like I said, I don't have an idea yet on how to solve this. We have a path here. It turns around real quick. I can't outrace it. Here, let's see how fast we are compared to it. Not very, is the answer. Not very fast at all. Is an idea. I will accept your idea. I will accept your idea because I have no ideas currently. It is on the floor around the corner. Make it all the way down. What, you mean now it's too late? I had to do it earlier? Now I'm locked into an unwinnable state, is what you're saying? So says, yes, it is an unwinnable state. Huh. Just jump on the back of it from a higher level. Fall in the middle. I I don't imagine you can jump on it like that. I think it will just kill you. Thanks, you can make it back up the hill. Do you really think? Yeah, I just like to go up more. I mean, I do need to go up more currently. Like main non wimble state. Only if I can discover, like, a Dragon Queen Alexstrasza, which I'm going to have trouble doing here. comes here and it goes that way so while it passes there I need to either drop there or I need to try to come over around the corner I think I need to drop all right next time it comes that way I'm gonna try to take this fall and just run as far as we can What's 
see how far back it goes. Not very. So we may still... I may have had to have run further, because we still had time. Oh dear. Um... Okay. Am I going up or down? Ooh. No, I thought that was an Alco. I'm not gonna make it. There's a damn, it's big, yeah. All right. So, I mean, my best guess right now is that the up path has some type of minor item and the full and the full down path has what you're really looking for. I like this section. It, it, it's frustrating to a degree, but it's unique. Expecting to miss that first hit. This thing for stream two can't argue that. Mm. Oh no! Need one more hit, and I didn't take it. She's gonna be so crazy at the bottom. Maybe it's a T-shirt that says "I survived the fallen hero's graveyard" or whatever. Where am I? <laughs> All right, so this is actually the up path instead of the down path. Which I don't know if there's anything up there, if that's just the place to trap them while you make it down to the next one, which is, I think, on the right side. If I ran past it. So there could be something up there, maybe, but I think it's just a place to trap them. We need to find the next alcove, because I went too far last time. So I think we're just going to hang out in here. With these buddies. Oh man, they're going to kill me. Maybe I'll go on that side. <laughs> Maybe I'll go on that side. And let them walk across into its path. When do we fight this wolf man? <laughs> Guess what he's got? A strength weapon.
I guess. <laughs> it's a strength weapon. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, wait. Am I coming too far? Oh, I guess not. Or, yes. Based on weight. I don't know if that's a hundred percent true, is it? I mean, I mean, in terms of, it's not one to one. They they scale it how they want it, but I mean, yeah, it's a big sword, so that's why it's strength. Can it be strength of the least or things? I mean, if I'm going dex, we want a dex scaling weapon anyway. So even if I have the minimum strength to wield something, if it still scales off strength, I generally don't care. Yeah, I know you're there, buddy. Dex weapons? Well, this is a dex weapon, the rapier. You know, a light. A light sword. Alright, so this time I'm gonna go into that left section instead of getting wrecked by the two enemies spawning on the right. time until we get a good dex weapon well yeah, i'm sure i'm sure eventually we'll get you know something i didn't actually look at the description of that uh, other bossy weapon we got did i all right now with my luck this is actually not going to be an alcove on the left no it is actually a very complete alcove Oh boy, I gotta be careful. Oh, am I gonna die anyway? And this enemy is not tough, but I'm scared of the fact we're right on a ledge. shot him. Hmm, those shots do not go very far at all, do they? Neither is that. I'm out of magic. Where is the... Where is the cart? Is it still rumbling through here at all? Or is it off somewhere else at the moment? Alright, so I'm out. Oh, actually, I can recover some magic. Now it feels otherwise. There he is. There's gonna be three ghosts that spawn here when we walk down there. I wonder if I can spawn the ghost and have him run them over. I think I can. Where's the chariot? Yeah, here it is. I'm gonna try to spawn the ghost and then run back here. Yeah, that's about as far as I feel safe going, so now I gotta reconsider. It's just nerve-wracking. Well, I don't know where the next safe spot is, but I don't think we have any options here but to run after it and look for one. 
look for one, I can grab that item on the way down too, but I don't know where we're running to. There's the ghost. There's the alcove. I'm not gonna make it. Okay. So now I know where it is. Now I know where it is. We know about those spawning, and there's one across the other way. Alright. Good to see Krillin. <laughs> Hope you do well. There's the other well now I know where it is. Now I know where it is. I know I can be on either side. It's 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 that uh, Tom Cruise movie. It's live, die, repeat here for sure. More so than even most of Dark Souls. <laughs> Hi, buddy. How are you doing? Going down this path? That's cool. Oh, geez, wait. I, I stop in this one, don't I? Do you like pineapple on pizza? I'll eat a pizza with pineapple on it, but I'm not going to order it myself. If somebody else ordered it, I'll eat it. Well, I won't eat it, actually, because it's not low-carb, but if I wasn't eating low-carb, I'd eat it. Everyone's not happy. Some people aren't happy. Some people aren't happy. I'm fine with it. I eat such pizza. It's still pizza. It. Oh, jeez. Pizza's like Star Wars. Even when it's bad, it's good. This is oh well the, the the pineapple debate is always live. I lost a couple of seconds there. Hopefully it's not enough to destroy us. Ah, we still had plenty of time to get around the next corner. Plenty of time. All right, so we let it come up this way. We come down. I want to be on the left side. Then the next time, it really doesn't matter if we're on the left or right side. We just need to hopefully not die to all the ghosts. You're still alive? Oh no. He's coming back up. We need to be on... No, he's going down! Gonna be on the left side. The three ghosts are gonna spawn. Hopefully he's gonna run them over. If he hasn't run them over, I mean, we're gonna die. Oh, no, I'm crouched. <laughs> Should I abandon this run? Too late now. There we go. I mean, that's what's supposed to happen. <laughs> that's the gag. Now. Now we have to find the next step. It looks like there's an alcove there on the right side, at the very least. I don't know how many enemies are going to spawn.
Maybe none. Checking to see if there's just like a secret here or a bonfire. Does not look like it. Alright. I mean, this is a boss door, yeah? Got healing flasks, but I don't want to come back down here to fight a boss. Yeah, I don't want to redo the run. Oh my goodness. The tree spirit. So yeah, there is a stake here. I was wondering if there was. I didn't see it, but I assumed there was a stake. Now the problem is it's just a stake. I can't teleport back here. So, I mean, to fight the boss again, I have to make the, the run again. I assume I can't beat this one right now. It, you know, it's an area we're not even really supposed to be in yet. He's taking out almost all my life in one hit. <laughs> He ate me. He ate me and lit me on fire. <laughs> yeah, he ate me and he lit me on fire. And I did like 20%, 5% of its sale. 1 20th is what I mean. Yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna have to come back down here later, but hopefully I'll remember the run process. <laughs> Eat me. Jeez. Oh, the tail swipe. progress. I got like one-fifth. <laughs> There's this room with the shield. Well, the shield on my back. I don't have the shield up. I don't have the shield up. But the land with... Well, I mean, we could try the claws here and see if it does any better. But I'm, I'm two-handing the, fence, the, the fencing sword anyway, which should up its damage at least some. I think it's the claws. Well, we'll see. Ow. I haven't actually seen that, like, head... head collapse. He moves around so much for such a tiny area, you know? He's way too big for this room. One, two... Ah, I was gonna roll. One, two, roll. One, two, roll. <laughs> roll. 
Roll. Roll. Roll, 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 roll. One, two, roll. Roll. Roll, roll, roll. One, two, roll, roll. One, two. Roll, roll. One, two, roll. Uh. I actually did do a little more damage that time. I mean, it didn't seem that much more than the, uh, than the rapier, but I actually did do a little more damage. I don't know if I survived longer. Just a very happy plan. Yeah, clearly. There is one improvement I can make for our odds in the fight. I can get I can get rid of our magic potion and get one more heal. Roasted. Roasted. Why are I supposed to be more agile? The, uh... I think he might kill me in one hit, but you're right. I would get the light roll instead of the mid roll. But I'm worried we'll die in one hit. All right, we'll, we'll try it. We'll try with the light roll. Can I put on any gear and keep my light load? I can put on my bandit boots. Or the helmet, 4.4. Put on my bandit boots and my bandit gloves, but not my bandit chest and not even the bandit mask. Now if I take off the shield, then I can put on the bandit mask. I take off the shield completely. Yeah, so now we get the light roll. Oh, but I can't reallocate my flask, so I can't get rid of the magic flask because this is not actually a bonfire. All right, here. We'll try it with some lighter armor. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, at least he didn't kill me in one hit. At least not with that type of hit. But that, that hit was bad. You see, same damage. I don't know. I, d I died a little quicker there.
Oh, right, the claws cause bleed. Ow. The claws do actually cause the bleeding, unlike the rapier. I forgot about the bleeding. Boy. Oh, it's bleeding. Yep, yep. I forgot about the bleed. I forgot about the bleed. Ooh. Sprugus. Well, sort of. <laughs> I did about as much damage that time as the second time. Ah, shit. <laughs> with the glove. Hopefully Cosmic doesn't cause bleeding. That's the thing about the bleed, is you have to attack pretty relentlessly or the bleed will run out. Yeah, I saw that coming. I didn't see it coming quick enough. I think, but he didn't eat me. <laughs> this is gonna be a tail whip. Here's the bleed, so I got him down to 50% almost. Oh, what is this? That's a body explosion, I bet. It sure is. Well, I'm not gonna have enough health to eat another hit. Hey, Bog, when we saw phase two, we saw phase two. All right, so he does a body explosion, and that's all I know about phase two, because it pretty much killed me. Yeah, we know he usually opens with that. to cause the bleed, but there we go. There we go, but I took a hit, so it's not worth it. should have seen coming. He just, okay, I'm in a position where he just wants to repeat the claw. He just wants to repeat the leg hits right with one in front of his, uh, right in front of the leg there. We still got him almost 50%, but I'm getting a little too greedy. Now, greed is good. Greed is good because it causes the bleed, but getting a little too greedy. Yeah, because you need to roll more. Well, if I roll too much, I'm not going to get the bleed, and then we're not doing the big extra damage. Now, one thing we could do, semi-legitimately, is I could try just to dodge until he uses a fire attack, because during the fire attack, it's really easy to hit him. I managed to get the bleed there, though. too late. Oh, well. I didn't think he'd do the same attack so quick. That's why I said he's doing it. No, I died. No, I died.
If I was reminded of Secure Attacks in Dark Souls 3, if I saw an image. Because he's thinking like four bleeds, and that's pretty accurate. Rolled way too early for that tail. Yeah, I was going to say, this is just a flub. Okay. So I'm going to do an attempt. I'm going to do an attempt where we put our armor back on and do the mid-roll mid and see how that goes. Because I just want to see. Maybe it won't help. Maybe it will. So now we're back on mid-roll. Kofin does not approve of going back to the mid-roll. Oh, jeez, how'd I get hit there? I, I, that's what I'm... <laughs> I know about mid-roll versus light-roll versus heavy-roll, Kofin. Vince told you, I just lost in two seconds with the light-roll, too. I just want to try the mid-roll a bit. <laughs> Taxes out so far. Oh, it's great. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. The, uh, I don't know yet, you know, like, seven hours in if it's better than Dark Souls 3 or not, which is my favorite. But, it's really, really good. It's really, really good. It's very Dark Souls. Oh, it's Dark Souls 4. It's Dark Souls 4. It's all the same mechanics. <laughs> it's Dark Souls 4 for sure. Too late. Dang, I'm, uh, the foot is getting me more than anything. I need to be a little further back on him so he does not do in the foot attack. Give me the bleed. No. Yeah, I knew I was getting too greedy there. Whoa. There's the bleed. Whoa, so I actually had not attacked for a while there. Maybe the bleed buildup lasts longer than I think. Oh, he's going to do the body explosion? We got to back off. Oh man, it's huge. I need to run, not roll. All right, thank you very much, Doc, by the way, for the, uh, was it 31 months of sub? I super appreciate it, but <laughs> I'm trying to get some more hits in. Oh, so he does the body explosion again, so it's not a one-time thing. All right, Dr. A, he's nuts. Yeah, I need to run from it, not roll. You forgot to pick up your souls. My souls are at zero. It's a marker, but it contains zero. <laughs> is this switching the magic while he's doing the body explosion? That's a good suggestion, actually. That one's good, because I do have time. Possibly. Yeah. It's the big wind-up tail. We didn't see him do that very much, honestly. It was 31 months of sub. Thank you very much, Doc. Hope you're doing very well. Late tonight. Playing this all night, eight hours. I don't know if I'm gonna succeed at being this boss, but it's gonna be the last thing we do regardless. Ow! Now, if I dodge the leg consistently, the leg attack may actually be very good to trigger, <laughs> but I need to get good at dodging it. Oh man, it's still a leg! That's still a leg, it's just a different leg attack. Actually, they're very tired but need to unwind. You watching me fail. Watching me fail is probably more is probably more fun than failing yourself. Even though it's at safe future attempts. Yeah, well so 
<laughs> Kruin does not approve still now. I like this better. This is giving me a lot, uh... We still made it to phase two. We still made it to phase two, and this is giving me a lot more uh, freedom in terms of uh, the healing, because it's making certain attacks not make me need to do a double flask. Oh, I wish I could have got some hits in there. Here's the bleed. Ah, so many times, right after I do the bleed, I get caught by the foot. Now I'm in front of the foot again. Yep, see? You're starting to learn when he does certain attacks better and better. See, because I'm just right there. I'm right there under his foot. And so he says, foot, 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 give me the foot. No! I, I got nowhere to run there. Oh! That's a big... Oh, it's a big tail swipe. I thought I was ready for it. You're getting good at this. We're getting better at reaching phase two. Go on, I'm not gonna do it. And if you say that one again, I'm gonna time you out. Because that one I've already said no to. I appreciate the magic suggestion, though, but it looks like I don't have time. I have no idea what attack this is. <laughs> he's getting close to the... Oh, no, he's already at the body explosion. Man, he seems to go faster sometimes. Am I crazy? Whoa. Oh, no. See, right there. That time my armor saved me, but... Keep learning more about this phase two. Dang. Caught me with the foot again, but it was the other foot. So this is the body explosion, but I can't get out of there in time. Can I roll through the explosion? Because I do not have time to run. No way do I have time to run from that. If I can learn the exact timing, can I dodge roll the whole explosion? Heels. It's the best we've done by Mav Heels. If he does the body explosion again, I don't know the timing well enough yet. we've done by far best we've done by far but this is it <laughs> this is what 
Dark Souls is all about. I walked into this room, we died with either zero hits again, one hit in. And now, now look at us, just like an hour later, half an hour later. Look at how much better we know this fight and how surmountable it looks after at first. It's like, this guy's just rolling everywhere. There's no way you can figure this out. <laughs> ah, but that's my fault. That I should have <laughs> dodged. Exactly what he's going for here. There's bleed number one. Ah! Oh! I thought I was gonna get hit by that. I got hit by that one instead. There we go. Now it's fair. I deserve to be hit by the first one, so I got hit by that one instead. There's no jellyfish. Oh! <gasps> David Super Right! <laughs> <laughs> David, super right. I can summon wolves or a jellyfish for this fight. I've never even tried. I've never even thought about it. He nommed me. The nom is a great animation. I've never even tried to summon. And it's right there. I can do it for sure. All right, so we'll summon wolves. <laughs> I'm dead immediately. It sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't get lit on fire. <laughs> I forget what uh, my wolves are on. I think I have them on the left button. Max says, ha ha ha, yeah. I, I, I did, I pressed the down button and that summons my horse, which I can't do down here. All right. I think wolves are on left. Yeah, wolves are on left. <laughs> All the wolves are dead! Jeez, I didn't catch that tail swipe at all. The next time I'll try summoning the jellyfish, which I assume will die just as quickly, but... Yeah, David said, you know, no jellyfish. I was like, oh man, I haven't even thought about summons. That's gonna push me over the top. Nah, it's gonna do like nothing, maybe. I want some more wolves. I'll try the jellyfish instead. All right. I'll try the jellyfish. I don't think it'll survive any longer, really, but let's try the jellyfish instead. Oh, shoot. Ah, I can't I can't even change that. I use I use the heal. Accidentally. So there's the jellyfish. And I'm already dead. Now the jellyfish took a hit, unlike the wolves. But yeah, I wasted a heal before I even walked into the room, so. But yeah, the I guess the jellyfish is not really gonna help. It's just skin undulated on. I'll still put it in there, but I don't think it's gonna do anything.
What's Joe do? It shoots poison. It shoots poison. It can distract the boss, but... <laughs> All right, I can still summon it, but I can't summon it at the, uh, I can't summon it at the start of the door, because I just get hit. I just get hit. All right. I thought that was a safe time to summon the jellyfish. It looks like it's been okay, but... Is the jellyfish going to do anything? Boy! Why am I getting wrecked by these attacks that we're not wrecking? What the heck? I... I... I was doing so well, and now I'm just getting wrecked by the head slam. What happened? What is happening? Where have my skills gone? We were doing pretty well. corner. That's not where I want to be. Dang! Mm. Alright. Ten minute timeout on Krill, and I told you, stop making that suggestion. I'm not doing it. The extra armor is helping me get need one heal instead of two, so... I said if you kept suggesting that, I'd time you out. It's only ten minutes, but stop making a suggestion that has been heard. <laughs> ah! I'm aware of what the light roll does. I'm doing better with the armor on. Ah! Now, right now, I'm just doing very badly, but it's not due to the armor. But yeah, the extra health. The extra health is essential. That's just killed. I was doing a lot better before. I started trying to summon things in, and then I started messing up. I'm doing everything too early now. You know, I wonder, honestly, I wonder if the jellyfish is kind of messing me up, because it's changing his attack patterns as it starts to attack the jellyfish. Alright, no more jellyfish. That's what you do there. I think the sweeping claw. I think the sweeping claw, but yeah, I'm going to stop summoning the jellyfish. I mean, I was able to get into, you know, right behind his claw on the side and get him into a pretty consistent attack pattern, but because he keeps targeting the jellyfish, now he's no longer predictable. Oh, but he still got me there. He hasn't done that version of the fire in a long time. Alright, there's bleed number one. Oh! Oh, jeez, I thought I got eight. I thought I got Ian right there.
careful. There's bleed number two, which means he's going to do the body explosion, I think. Yeah, so I... I need to figure out a way to dodge the body explosion, it seems like, because I... No, you just can't get out of it, it seems. So I need to figure out the exact timing on the explosion and dodge roll it. Dang, I got eight. I got eight. I feel like I made this boss too fast. Too furious. do an attempt with the light roll now but I think like I said I think the uh, it makes certain HP thresholds worse I wonder if it'll make it easier to dodge the body explosion because the light roll has more invincibility frames I believe it goes more distance too but the invincibility frames are what matter to us right now dang I see my health now is too low. Yeah. Uh, no, we can still try with this. We can still try with this, but I think I need the extra armor. Because we're getting just slightly too much damage where I end up needing two heals in some places where I was needing one. I mean, I'm curious. I am curious if it'll help with the body explosion. Whoa, what? I didn't think he had me there at all, but I'm two seconds in, I'm already two heals down. the body explosion so or I think it's gonna be so let's see oh now this time I was just far enough away so you can outrange it if he's on the right side of the room but you also need to be aware of the 50% HP threshold now is there a 45% HP threshold or does he just do the body explosion on a timer ah shoot because if he does it 25%, then we can time it. No, 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 there he goes. No, there he goes. That's not 25%. That's not 25% at all. Okay. So the body explosion is not at predictable thresholds once he gets to 50%. You can outrange it. But it's so big and it's so fast on the second ones that I think... Dang, come on. I need the extra armor. I need the extra armor. But I also want more iframes for trying to dodge the explosion if it's possible. We haven't actually proven it's possible. attacks here. This is a bad spot to be. Okay. 
so that's 50%. So we're gonna run. I wonder if there's a sim a signal of when he's gonna do another body explosion. If we could see it really early, we could start running really early. back on again see about those HP thresholds but it's th still now despite every other issue the body explosion is still the biggest issue we kind of solved the first one to a degree you know what? I'm just gonna we've done no damage I'm just gonna let him kill me we've semi solved the first body explosion because we know he does it right at 50% and we can run really early but I need to solve the other ones. So let's, when he's getting the 50%, I'm gonna, I still have to run, but let's see if we can look at the animation as he's preparing the body explosion. Really? Now, I'm wondering if I should just fl scrub this attempt too, down one eel. This may be our limit. My reaction time is maybe getting too slow. Due to being up too late. Why am I getting hit there? It's happened three times in a row. That was not happening before. Is it because I'm dodging forward instead of to the right? Maybe. What the heck? Uh, uh. Uh, my determination. Turn off the console if not be on Dead King like 10 times Dark Souls 3 because it's frustrated too much. Hey, if you're too frustrated, it's a good idea to turn it off. It's a super good idea. Man, I can totally beat this guy, but I'm once again messing up things that I wasn't before. Why am I getting hit here? I was not getting hit by this before. I was rolling through and we were fine. Should have got hit there, I think. Ah! I didn't have enough health. Even with the armor on, I didn't have enough health there. <laughs> oh, well, this, the, getting hit by this initial snake in is really annoying. Because I was not getting hit by that before. Or not taking damage by that before. So, Alright, hold on. Here he comes. Now, see, now I'm trying to dodge later. And of course, I still got hit. Got a really early bleed in there from a billion hits in. Do I have all my armor on? <laughs> I know. I know it's me, not the game, but I feel like we're dying to things we were not dying to before. Do I have all the armor on? Chain Helm, Ash Knight's Greaves. Yeah, I'm not wearing like the Bandit Greaves.
See if I can sneak in another piece of gear somehow. So I can do this. What does this give us? Eight physical. Nine physical. Hmm. Oh, the, f the faith thing actually does have some weight to it. There we go. That lets me sneak on the bandit mask and still keep the light load. Hmm. And I said, man, I really shouldn't be. I really shouldn't be, but I know that I can beat this boss. If I just execute properly one time. <laughs> this is the run. I I did another heal and got hit by the head slam. I was hoping I was far enough to the side. Still, this is probably my favorite combination that we've snuck a third piece of gear on. I guess I got sleep well. I hope you were able to unwind a little watching me. Why? Oh, why? Am I getting... I'm going to let myself die. I'm going to let myself die. Yeah, hope, hope you're able to unwind a little. Thank you again for 31 months to sub. Hope to see you soon. Hopefully after I beat this boss. <laughs> Instead of giving up for tonight. Which I may have to do. I'm sure I'm slowing down. I, I don't understand. I really don't. I was not taking damage from that before. Yeah, we may have to call it. My reaction times may be slowing down. But that first hit, that first hit, I'm not understanding. <laughs> All right, well, that time I went far to the right, and I didn't take the damage. Yeah, wish we could have got those hits in. Yep, now he's gonna get me with this leg sweep. Not safe to heal there at all. Dang. This is with that Scruffy to bedtime. Oh, Scruffy was, in, was asleep, I don't know. Probably four or five hours ago. I should probably give up. I don't want to give up. I don't want to give up. I should probably give up. Deal. I'm gonna let myself die. Like I said, th this is 
The body explosion is the most frustrating part. Not knowing if we can even dodge it or not. But, um... In fact, I'm taking damage on the opening here. Now, maybe it's because I'm running in. Because right there, he didn't do the same attack. when he does the fire we get like six hits in <laughs> no I hate when he does the tail slash I said what they're gonna do with your character yeah I said as long as I try again or stop trying either way So I'm just going to stand here at the store and see if he walks in instead of doing that. No, he did that opening, but ooh. What? Uh. I was going to say it's way easier to dodge it to the left and then his head snakes left and gets me. hoping I was far enough to the left to get that tail swipe. It goes all the way. So here's phase two. I, I should run to get out of the body explosion, but maybe too late. It's too late. <laughs> At least we got to phase two again that time. What is it going here to start with strength? We can't shift an end for a spell, a shield spell. Advanced defenses. Hmm. I haven't seen that yet. Still haven't seen any true sorceries at all yet. No! <laughs> It's a tail swipe, but I'm very bad at dodging that. Oh no, it's the body explosion. I thought... So he kind of positions for the flames, even though it's the body explosion. Whoa, surprised that didn't hit me. So there's the flames. I only hit him one time. Oh, shoot.
Oh, no, no, no. I mistimed it. It's my last heal. No. We need like two or three more hits to trigger the last bleed. All right. All right. As good attempt it was, it was so close. <laughs> that's it. Oh, I, see, see, that's why I didn't take the damage. We took, we took damage there like five times. I couldn't understand it. Dang, it's my fault. damage in, but I didn't... Di oh, no! I didn't think we'd cross the threshold. That would have been a good chance to try to dodge roll through the explosion, but I, I didn't think he was there. I didn't think we were at the, near the 50%. That's not 50%. No, that, that was earlier. That was earlier. It's been very easy to predict when he's gonna do that, but I missed it that time. How did I get hit by that? I went right through the tail. Like I just went right through the head there. <laughs> Like I said, this game controls great. It controls great, and there's been almost no times I've blamed the game. It's my fault, but I thought I went right through that tail. And there I get hit by that again. Uh, we had such a good attempt. We had such a good attempt. Now it's messy. Now it's messy. Glad the load screens are super quick, though. You know? Not on the side of him that I likes to be on, because I don't know what he does. <laughs> I don't know what he does on this side. This is the side I like to be on. This is the side we've trained on. But I still got hit because I was too far in front. <laughs> Such a good attempt three attempts ago. <laughs> then, what's the tough boss? We sit through like a dialogue or load times before we attempt. Yes, that's true. If I run this way, ah, I mean, that's just me being stupid.
Oh. So he's insanely hard. Uh, it's it's not easy. It's not easy. But I'm surprised he caught me with that foot. I know we have it. I know we have it. We just need one really, really good attempt like that other one that was really, really good. I don't know what he's going to do here. Is that the fire? Ooh, good chance to get some hits in. Early bleed. We haven't actually taken any damage yet, but that's going to change right now. So he's gonna hit the 50%, he's gonna do the- Oh no, I'm caught behind his claw! I knew he was gonna do it, I tried to get out of there, but I was caught. I was caught behind his claw. I couldn't run out. Not at that angle. Damn it, this game's gonna do everything else, but I've seen people. Finish reading that sentence. <laughs> oh, careful, careful. Not careful enough. Oh, these people. I think this looks nice. Yeah. So I mean, we're in an area that you. You have to go out of your way to reach early on. You have to go through a locked door, and then you have to do a puzzle. And one reason I really want to do it now is because we can't teleport back here. I have to do the puzzle again to get back here. Now, granted, I know the solution to the puzzle now, but it's still kind of an annoying puzzle. First bleed real quick. Careful. Careful. So he's gonna go into phase two now. I thought for sure he was gonna do the body explosion. I was just gonna run out and heal. <laughs> I, I every time we do the second bleed, he does the body explosion. I'm surprised I'm not dead at all there, but I'm gonna be dead now. Shoot. Your face looked at his surprises. I so was so confident he was gonna do the body explosion. That was a good start, but then I got caught up. I got caught up there. I'm bad at the tail swipe. I'm bad at the tail swipe. I dodge it too early. Oh, 
Okay. Ooh, I don't think I, I don't think he had the angle for that. There's the second bleed, but is he gonna do the body explosion? He didn't do it last time. There it is. Right off schedule to mess me up. you there. Oh, no. I'm so unprepared for the body explosion. After all this time, I still have no idea if it's dodgeable or if we need to identify the animation really early to be able to get completely out of there. I just panic. I panic when I see it, and I don't get ready to do the dodge test. Got a really early bleed there, but then I also took damage. That happens a lot. I let my guard down after we get the first bleed in. I knew that was gonna happen. So I've used up almost all my heals right away. We did get that early bleed. if that was distance or dodge. <laughs> Whoa. Not used to that attack there, and... There it is. You can dodge it. Confirmed. Ah! Dang! I should recognize that. Got no heals. fire. Oh, jeez. Ha. Huh. It's nice. Well, at least we know it is possible to dodge it. Uh, but all right. I thought it was... Maybe maybe the fire AoE changes during the second phase. I, w I was very surprised to be hit by the fire damage there. I feel like I've attacked him a lot there. Think he'd be throwing out in the fire. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I must have been. I was very surprised to get hit, though. I wish I knew where to be to trigger the fire. Because we know where to be <laughs> to trigger the leg attacks. But the fire is the best chance to hit him. Dang. I mean, I'm in the spot to trigger the leg attack, and I still don't see it coming. There's 
lead number one. Tail. I need to see that coming. Now that I knew was going to be the foot, but the tail is getting me so much. When he pulls around to the left and the tail comes this way. That's getting me so often. I think he's going into a roll and then the tail comes. Oh, okay, my mat's on that time I'm in front of his mouth. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that hitbox. Right there, I thought he was gonna do the tail, but it wasn't. I should have seen that coming. I got greedy. I got greedy. I thought I could get the second bleed. I got really greedy there. Far too greedy. for that second style of leg attack. Oh, what is that? Whoa, there's the first style of leg attack. That's the one I'm ready for and he still got me. The after attack is a good time to get him too, but uh oh. Whoa, okay, hello. He's getting closer to me with the flames than usual, for sure. I know he's gonna do more leg hits here. He still got me. Dang. This one should be moving moves around real well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a like a alligator death roll or something. <sighs> Purify talks about being in the corner on a previous attempt. Yeah, I got I got kind of in the wall that time. I knew he was doing leg attacks and he still caught me. the leg. This might be the forward slam. Nope. Well, did he bite me? No, I'm, in, I'm still in here. I don't know where I am there. <laughs> Gonna do here either. Oh no! Oh, I didn't get hit though. This is the body explosion, which I'm gonna have to dodge, but I get it too early. Oh, 
What? Was that a new spin attack? That's... <laughs> I was not expecting that one at all. That was really fast, and I didn't think I was in a position where we didn't see him do tail swipes. Number one. There's leg attack style one. Ooh. See, that's a really good time for me to use fire. <laughs> There's bleed number two, so he should do the leg exp the body explosion soon. If not now, then soon. There he goes. It does these secondary explosions. Now, I, I'm pretty sure he has a body AoE alongside those other fires, but I am not 100% sure, honestly. It's just a positioning thing. With those fires in the ground, we could handle it totally differently. But I think it's a body explosion, too. Bad position, can't see. <gasps> it was the body explosion, I thought that was fire. Bad position, can't see. No, no, it's not. <laughs> I thought it was a body explosion. So there's the second to last bleed, but I don't know if we can get the last one in. I'm out of health. Yeah. If I get out of the corner. Yeah. All right. It's another one where we got him down to basically the last 25%. But yeah, the positioning really got me there. I thought he was breathing fire. I thought I was safe to attack, but he was about to explode. I could have tried to roll if I knew if I realized what he was doing. Whoa! He never gets me with that. to see what happens if we go on the other side, right? We've been going on the side where he does the leg stomps. I'm kind of curious what happens if we go over here. He seems to do the writhing a lot more often. And he does the tail swipe more too, and that would be a problem. Whoa! Leg. more damage in there if I was closer. Let's not get greedy. Let's not get greedy. Too early. Too early. Tried to dodge it. It's that, that last hit was greedy. Thought he was getting. 
getting ready for the body explosion. Is this it? This is it. Too early. Does it? Is it actually a body explosion, or is it only related to those marks on the ground? If it's related to the marks on the ground, we can completely change our strategy. I gotta look at those marks on the ground. I gotta look at those marks on the ground, because if we just need to get out of one of those, and don't even need to dodge roll it? So I think it's the marks. So the dice is hard to tell maybe both. Yeah, I'm thinking both, but I need to, I need to try. Oh, wow. I could abandon the attempt there. But really, I just want to get into phase two to check the ground flames. I think I can do that. That was too early, but we were okay. There's bleed one. We need the next one. That was the tail swipe, and I got lucky and dodged it. Oh, I didn't think I was going to get hit by that then. Positioning seemed off. During the flames, yeah, we can get him to the 50%, so let's look at the ground. Okay. No, no, no. There are not any marks close enough. <laughs> we tried. We tried. For the from the good gaps in lines, it's true, but yeah, there were no lines there at all. It is still a close-range explosion, plus the longer-range fire. But it's good to know. It's good to confirm. I might need to count. I might need to, like, count the body explosion, you know, like a one, two, three, four, five thing. Like, starting from when he starts glowing. Oh, jeez, I shouldn't have got hit by that. I shouldn't have let myself get hit by that. Those were just two head slams that got me. Nothing special. Whoa, hey buddy. on the tail swipe there. I'm actually trying to get us on this other side now to see if it's actually a better place to be. It's, it seems to be tougher to get over there in general. coming. Okay, it's like he doesn't... Oh, no, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I didn't even have enough health to endure it and survive with like one health. I wasn't ready because the second bleed hadn't gone off. 
So the body explosion actually triggers at 66%, but the bleed often kicks us past that. Or maybe it's not even a hard threshold. Maybe it's a chance to get higher and higher as his health reduces. Yeah, so on, on the right side over here, he doesn't use leg attacks at all. He just goes into the roll. Now that I'm on the, uh, the other side, he will use leg attacks. Dang! They might be sick. I hope not. And if you are, I hope that you'll have a swift recovery. At least that's what I'm assuming you're talking about. Uh. Uh, so there's a really early tail sweep. I did dodge it. forward slam, not the leg hit. the second bleed, so he's probably going to do the body explosion. Half a second too late. Half a second too late. Because he might finish the explosion. Wait, we're standing when he does that. I don't have much choice. It's so fast. We've gone out of there a few times, but uh, but when he does it, 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 when he does it after the first one, the first one's rather predictable. But when he does the, the ones after the first one, I uh, I don't have time to get out of there. At least I'm not recognizing the animation correctly to get out of there in time. So I've been having to do the dodge roll. But maybe maybe it is still viable to figure out what the animation looks like. I'm gonna get hit. Dang, I mistimed that. That's a good time for him to breathe fire. Get a f now only two hits in. He's gonna do the explosion. Uh oh, uh oh, I'm not ready for this attack. Good 
hits, but I'm gonna get leg slammed. Impossible. He's still alive. That's my last deal. What? No. <laughs> I was I walked forward, swung, walked forward, slung. That's some really weird piece of his geometry that I couldn't even get range. So I don't know if he can last this long against the guy as he worms around. You have to figure out which worming arounds you're actually safe to not get hit by. Ah. like that warming around we're safe over here but you're not safe in front of him so there's a good early bleed which we haven't even got hit for the moment Actually, what I want him to do, I just I thought he was gonna do more of this move. There's the second bleed, so this should cause the body explosion. Now this one we can get a range of like for sure. Although I nearly ran into the fire, then I oh. no That was such a good start, and he just swiped me with his leg and his tail. That was such a good start. I ain't like used any heals. Huh, you can like see a little seam into his body there. It's just a piece of bad uh, geometry on the character. If it's so close, it really is. It's a couple of different things holding me back. Like the tail swipes. I have to heal on that one. I want to get hits in, but I need to heal. There's the second bleed, so he'll probably do the explosion. Which he did. I'm crouched. I don't want to be crouched. <laughs> Is he exploding again? No, he's not. heal. I've got a lot of heals to spare, but I don't know when he's going to do an attack that might cripple me. It's the explosion! I thought it was the fire. Mm. That's the fire.
Tempting it greedy. Let's try not to get greedy. Yes! <laughs> Does that bleed work? If it works like the other games, when we hit him, it builds up a bleed meter that slowly decreases. And so if you don't hit him for a long time, he stops building up the bleed meter. But, uh, yeah, you just bleed, 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 and that just a big explosion of damage. It appears to be how it works in this game. <laughs> Smug with the first time sub. Hey, hey hold on. I'll, I'll go over to this screen for one second to hit the button for a first time sub. Excellent decision. Thank you very, very much to Smug. And five gifted subs. Very, very lovely. I appreciate it on, you know, this off mid day. I had a lot of fun. I know, I know we don't get as much viewers for variety stuff as Hearthstone, but I love these games. I love these games. I want to share these games. And I want to play a lot of it on release day. And it's good to end on a victory. I thought about giving up. I thought about giving up. Oh, we actually get, we get a new summon as the unlock? That's interesting. I just found this nice change. Well, thank you very much. Sludge got one, so it quantum zombie. Balls <laughs> and then Hawk got one. Your first heart was being fast. I had to just keep dodging those legs. I didn't want to get greedy. I didn't want to get greedy. Bassa, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. You might also want to follow Save File Variety. <laughs> Save File Variety, because that's what we'll be streaming most this game. We mostly do Hearthstone over here. So if you're watching the Elden Ring, you might want to follow Save File Variety, since that's what we'll be playing tomorrow. All right, uh, let's look at that item. Let's look at that item, but we are done. We are done, 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 done for the night. It is beyond, well beyond midnight. It's like almost 2 a.m. Drop anything good. So we got, well, so this he dropped, which is great. A golden seed found at the base of an illusionary tree. Increased the sacred flask number of uses. When the Elden Ring was shattered, these seeds flew from the earth tree, scattering across the various lands as if life knew that its end had come. And so, uh, yeah, this, this, uh, this gives us an extra flask. Or no, actually, now we need like two for an extra flask. As you stream Battlegrounds are standard. We stream Arena, actually, so neither, neither. Very occasionally I'll play some Battlegrounds, but for the vast majority of it, uh, we play Arena. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I wanted to look at this description that we got off the horse knight. Weighty halberd forged of gold, wielded by the Order of Tree Sentinels, heavily equipped knights. Deals holy damage, oh. Mastery craft a weapon that lives up to its heft, but is difficult for one of mere human strength to wield. Skill golden vow, skill plus from antiquity among the knights of the capital. Raise armament aloft and pledge honor to the Erd Tree in battle, granting self and nearby allies increased attack power and defense. Attack and defense, huh? Yeah, it requires 30 strength. This thing required 31. No, oh, this needs 12 faith, too. It's a strength faith weapon. Neat. I'm actually interested in dexterity faith, maybe. Uh, where, oh, where would we look at the, the banished soul thing, though? I might have to... Here we go, here we go. Summons the spirit of banished knight Oleg. But I don't know if we have anywhere that we can summon him. Forget Arena was still a thing. They're getting rid of Arena in, um, in in Rune Terra, but fortunately not Hearthstone. Not yet. Ashen remains in which spirits yet dwell. Used to summon Oleg, the banished knight, one of two knights known as the Wings of the Storm. After his banishment, he attracted the notice of Grace Given Lord, and ha later, having slain a hundred traitors as the Lord's hand, Oleg earned the hero's honor of Erdtree burial. Uh, so yeah, we can put that onto our bar here instead of the wolves or the jellyfish. So the charges are what? Yes, yeah, so we we can do it like once per boss fight and once per certain arenas. We're able to summon the jellyfish into a certain arena. Let's actually go back to that arena and see if we can see the summon knight here real quick. It's never busted for years, though. It's never gonna not be busted. <laughs> That's how it works. New busted cards sell, sell for money. 
Uh, what was I trying to do? Oh, I was, I was gonna put my... Oh, the horse is on. It's just very, very hard to see. There's an item back here, too. Didn't see anything on that boss. It turned out that when I was summoning jellyfish, it was messing me up. Oh, return to entrance, actually. Alright, and there's just kind of a... Skeleton statue back there, which I guess is... This is the Erd Tree Burial? Yeah, it's a coffin, so this is where Oleg was buried. This is the Erd Tree Burial being buried beneath the Erd Tree. Interesting. Uh, but we don't... yeah. I mean, I guess that's everything to do down here anyway. Why would they give you a bonfire here if there's nothing left to do? <laughs> it's 4 a.m. and you're tired. Yeah, but we beat the boss. We beat the boss, and I appreciate the sub and the five gifted subs from Smog. Very appreciated. Real quick, let's reach out the boss fight with no clothes. Actually, I was doing it. In the end. In the end. Even though I was tired of the suggestion. Uh, in the end, we did do it. With essentially, with what, with what uh, Krillin was suggesting. That's how I did in the end. I uh, took off our even our little si sacred seals that weighed a little bit to sneak on our bandit mask. But yeah, we've got uh, right right here, light load. So we were doing it with the fast roll. So it says, it's almost 5 a.m. here. <laughs> Why does he do it? And we did it. I almost gave up for the night. We did it. Uh, let's, yeah, let's see if we can just see that summon th that we got real quick. If we load to our latest bonfire. Once in some love, was waiting thank you for it. I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I got it. Alright. Let's let's see if we can summon Oleg into this arena. Like we summoned our jellyfish. I might only be able to do it from the other side though. Let's me summon a leg down there, but not up here. What? Oh, what? I can't summon a leg. I can summon. I can summon the jellyfish or the wolves. Are the rules different? It on the board. No, 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 it was there. It was there, I swear. Oh, David suggests that it requires more MP than I possess. Are you right about that? I bet you're right. So it costs 100 FP, and I've got 71. I've got 71! <laughs> so if I want to summon Oleg, we need, uh... What do we need? We need... We need mind. Attribute that determines FP. They okay, said so Oleg must be pretty good. So I'm, if, I, I, if I want to summon Oleg, I gotta build up some mind stat. So I want to see him. Yeah, me too. Me too. Uh... I assume I didn't get enough souls from that to gain a billion FP. Actually, did I not gain any runes from killing that boss? Huh. But yeah, I need 1882 runes to get a single point in mind, and because I can't put anything there right now, I don't know how much FP it gives me, but to get 100, I'd have to put a lot of points in the mind. So when we got your dinner, we were serious business played armor when I got back we're fighting a giant tree wearing a paper bag what happened the well we were not in that serious of armor really but yeah we're still wearing almost all of our bandit clothes except for the pants this gives us a fast roll here's the fast roll boom 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 he dropped 5,000 souls go pick him up before you forget to 
I dropped 5,000 souls? Oh, oh, that's what happened. You're right, from the fight we just did. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I need to grab them and then evacuate. They're right there beyond the rock. Now I just want to get out of here and get to the bonfire. <laughs> There's 10,000 souls. I'm like, how did I get no souls from that tough boss fight? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, right, because I died right there. Jeez, thanks for pointing it out, Purifier. I wasn't even thinking about it. All I was thinking about was a leg. So, yeah. Mine gives us three FP, and then three, and then three, and then three. So, if I push mine to 15, we have 84 out of 100 to summon a leg. I don't know if I want to push that stat before I push in you know, on more decks. If I push more decks, I can get our damage up to 108 instead of 105. <laughs> Alright, but yeah. Yeah. I want to get our health up to 572. Need 10 upgrades, yeah. I would like to summon Oleg, though. I mean, we just did a fight kind of probably earlier than we were supposed to. And yeah, you can also see as we level up, you start needing a lot more runes per level, a lot more souls per level. 1882. When we go up from level 16 to 20, it starts costing 2800. It costs a thousand more than it previously did. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll think about it. I'll think about building up the mind, get Oleg, but I think we need to build decks faster. <laughs> but yeah, maybe, maybe mind later. Well, I might only need 20 decks. If we go for, like, Dex Faith... We might only need, like, 20 decks, then we get some faith scaling weapons. Uh, if I increase strength. If I'm gonna increase strength... Well, I could do it with this much decks, but I would probably want to, uh... Or must hit harder. Uh, dexterity makes us hit harder. With dexterity weapons. Do you see there? Attack power, 105 to 108. So when I increase strength, the, the dex weapon uh, that we're holding does go up a little bit, because it scales a little bit off strength. But I'm holding a dexterity weapon. So dexterity is actually what pushes our strength with the claws. With the claws. Although strength would unlock all those other strength weapons. Uh, but yeah. Anyway. Really appreciate people being here today. Especially so late. Really appreciate Smug with that generosity. Thank you Doc with 31 months of sub. We also had Satellites with uh, 46 and Thaddy with 42 today. And yeah. Just had a lot. Really good time. Really good time going deep on the Elden Ring on release day. Didn't want to be doing like an hour or two a day on Variety until I did a deep dive. Did a deep dive. Got some of it out of my system. Um, oh, let's, let's put one point in Dexterity. Let's put, let's put Dex to 20. And I'll save the rest for now. I am curious. Oh, wait, that leaves the bonfire. If we go back to the main menu... Do we only get one character slot, or have they opened up multiple character slots? There's us. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna go make sure. I'm curious if I if I can make another save file, and you know. Maybe put some points in strength and see if I like it better. But uh, I'll, I'll make sure this is backed up first. I don't know how the load system works. Well, if I say... This is slightly risky. If I say new game... It's not going to overwrite the other file, yeah? No, it's going to ask for my name. It's going to ask for my name. And we'll get a different file. I'll still back this up, though. I'll still back this up. Backing up save files is good. Okay, everybody have a good night. Thank you for being here for the off-meta day. Had a really good time. Had a really good time, even when I was dying to birds. Even when I was dying to that rolly boss. <laughs> Hope you had a good time, too. And, hey, we'll, uh, we'll throw a raid to Thrifty Anvil, who is also playing Elden Ring. Oops. Don't want to raid 
thrifty slash videos. Thanks, Dip to beat that boss. Stayed up too late to do it, but it was kind of worth it. <laughs> and that's Dark Souls. That's Dark Souls. You just, you get, you see the patterns, you get better and better, hopefully. And you push through and win. Take tomorrow and save our variety before it's to more Elden Ring. No, that's the plan. That's the plan, although. Uh, hey, smoke some more next time back to Hearthstone, but yeah, follow Safe Hour Variety. Because tomorrow Elden Ring will almost definitely be over there on the Site B 